Hello, 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 folks. How are we doing today? Oh, my word. How are you all? How, how are we? It's been... How many hours has it been since I last streamed? It's been 15 hours. Have you survived 15 hours without me, chat? Have you been okay? You done okay? I've got my orange juice. Have the people saying he, he's given up on Football Manager? He's quit Football Manager. Not true. It's a, it's a Football Manager. It's a Football Manager glass. So, you know, I'm still keeping my allegiances. Just because I don't stream Football Manager anymore. I'd say. <laughs> I tweeted out 10 minutes ago on Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com. Work the space. You know the deal. At work the space. Um, tweeted out stream. Question mark. I get like 10 people go, FM? No, no, not today. Not today. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe, maybe Tuesday. Maybe never. Who knows? Keep it down. I'm at the bingo. Sorry, twisting up Muppet. Sorry, mate. Uh, Guy DN, thank you for some of the Prime an hour ago. And also, Cami Lord, mate, thank you for some of the Prime right now. Right on cue, Cami. Thank you, mate. Welcome aboard. Now, according to my panel, we had a raid from the cult of. But 14 hours ago, I wasn't live when the raid happened. So I think someone raided our channel whilst we weren't here. Which is a little bit awkward. It's like when you get a package delivered and you're not at home and the neighbours don't take it. But thank you to the cult of. It's the thought that counts or something like that, right? Uh, Ganja Man, thank you for some of the Prime. And Star Viper 6, thank you for some of the Prime as well. Ah, oh, what did you guys make of the Grand Prix? He did a split screen and stream both FM and F1 simultaneously. Good, good idea, to be fair. Not sure how that would work. I've not bought any of the Gunther shirts yet. Tomorrow, chat, I'm meant to be getting a package from America of Has stuff. So that's exciting. Then I'll have, some, then I can actually, you know, wear some Has bits. Hey, Grey Seven. I'm not not signing Lord Mick. I've I've kicked him out. He's driving for Williams. He's in a better place now. So much dodginess. I don't, can we address the con should we address the conspiracy theories? Do I really want to talk about this? It's so dumb. I mean this in the most polite way. If you genuinely think that Alpha Tauri with Sonoda were intentionally causing a VSC to ensure that Max won his home Grand Prix. I, 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 no, no, Alpha Tari just messed up. There's so many reasons that I could pick apart as to why that's not what happened, but I don't know if I want to go into them. I don't know if I could bring myself to do it. Hey, Grey Seven, thank you for subbing, mate. I appreciate it. Do I want? Do I want? Do I want to? Do I want to talk about it? Like, apparently it was a differ an issue with Yuki's differential. Now, okay, let's talk about it, chat. Let's talk about it. So, Yuki pits for hards, and he's going to the end of the race on hards. And he doesn't think the tyre's been put on correctly. So, he calls, I'm pulling over, car's not safe. Now, firstly, Yuki is the one who says he's got the problem, not the team. So, for first things first, how does Yuki Tsunoda, who's been driving his own race, know that Max Verstappen needs to pit again, knows that Mercedes wants to go long on a one-stopper, and that if he pulls over for a VSC, it's the perfect time to do it. Unless that is on radio, there is no way that's been communicated to him. There's no way he can know that the race is going to play out like it to that point. There just isn't. No one thought the hards were going to work as they were. The one-stopper didn't seem like it was going to be the fastest strategy. So that's the first one. The team didn't ask for him to pull over. He pulled over initially. So, unless you're going to tell me that Yuki Tsunoda is best mates with Max and somehow knew how the race was playing out ahead of him, bearing in mind that he is in a car driving his own race. He doesn't have the, the times on the left. He doesn't have all the information. So, his team say the data looks fine to us. Now, there was an issue. They've come out and said the issue was with his differential. So he goes into the pits, and some people say, well, he was in the pits, and they were doing his seatbelt, but then why would they send him back out? Well, firstly, they couldn't spot the issue initially, and secondly, they put him onto softs when they pitted him, which Gasly ended up running at the end of the race. And the reason you put Yuki on softs is so that he can get data for Gasly. Even if you think Yuki's race is completely run off, it's useful to have him run the softs at the end just to see how they're performing on a green track. And I've seen people talk about the radio message to Yuki where they told him, like, you know, to exit the pit lane and find a safe place to stop. Rule number one of motor racing, 
You do not stop in the pit exit under any circumstances. Unless, unless you completely break down, you don't stop in the pit exit because if you break down, if you block that area and there's an incident on track, the safety car can't get out the pit lane. The medical car can't get out the pit lane, which is why Yuki has to go onto the active track to then pull over, which then causes a VSC. Now, the reason it caused a VSC, not a safety car, is because he actually found the best place to pull over. Unlike Bottas, who was stranded and they needed to neutralize the race completely with a safety car, Yuki actually found a good spot to pull off because at Zanvoort, it's very sandy around the edge of the tracks and you, most of the time you need a crane to recover a car. He said he had an issue with a loose tyre. They did, did they, they, well, it wasn't a loose tyre. It wasn't a loose tyre. It was an issue with his differential. It was an issue. It wasn't a tyre issue. But I can understand why, as a driver, an issue with your diff would feel like that. Especially on a, on a track where you are probably looking for a little bit more oversteer to help you through some of the higher speed turns. Anyway. Basically, for a load of different reasons, it's not a conspiracy. If anything, Bottas stopping where he did to help his former team, that's a bit sus. Why didn't he drive back into the pits? Because he had an issue with his differential. There's a reason why he was so slowly driving back to the pits the first time. And also, if they wanted a VSC or safety car, Yuki could have just not started again after he pulled over the first time. But I don't know what there is to disagree with what I've just said there. And, it did, and on top of all of that chat, if Max Verstappen had pit... Bear in mind, Max Verstappen on the lap that Yuki pulled over, the lap before that, Max Verstappen had gone the fastest lap he'd done in 20 laps. He was actually pushing to get ready to stop again anyway. I think Max would have just closed the gap. The gap after a pit stop would have been five seconds. And I think on the old hards to the end, I think the Merc probably would have been overtaken anyway on race pace by a Red Bull on fresh mediums or softs. There's so many reasons why it's a conspiracy theory. It doesn't hold up, I'm afraid to say. Uh, Architect EU, mate. Thank you for sending the Prime. Jaffa, thank you for sending the Prime. And Schalke? I hope I've said your name correctly there, Schalke. Thank you for sending the Prime as well. It was all right the first time. What do you mean, Jay? What do you mean, James? Yuki drove back to the pit slowly on his set of hards because he knew there was still an issue. He, 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 at the time, he thought it was a tyre issue, but it was a diff issue. Either way, can we all just agree that uh, Merck got very unlucky, but when you're running a one-stopper, you know that if a safety car or VSC happens in the last stage of the race, you're in trouble. But that is the price you pay running a one-stopper. Lewis could have boxed and kept P2. He could have done. I don't know if there would have been enough time to two st uh, to stack the drivers for Merck. Although Merck get that good spot in the, the pit lane, don't they? In terms of it, there's more space for them to two stop. What's he talking about? There's no real F1, only this. Valid point. This is our universe. This is our universe. I'll make sure when I'm driving with a dodgy tyre. He didn't have a dodgy tyre, Fizzy Mint. Do you know what the differential is, what a car's differential is in an F1 car, Fizzy Mint? It's like the clutch. It's like a clutch for an F1 car. It's a very important part. And if you've got an issue with it, it would feel like a tyre issue, potentially. I find it more puzzling that Alpha Tari couldn't find the issue with the diff, with all the data they had before he was in the pit exit. Who told you it was the diff... But Alpha Tauri have come out and said it. I'm not replacing Teo, Smudge. I'm not replacing Teo. They've confirmed it was an issue with his differential, which is why to Yuki it would feel like it was a loose tyre. Because especially on a track like Zambot, with some fairly high-speed corners and the banking, it would feel weird. The only suspicion spit is him going out again and starting up. Well, kind of. But if the engineers haven't found the data and the driver said it's a loose tyre, 
And also, the front left did take longer for the engineers to take off, right? And the reason you'd send him back out, if you're like, okay, well, the driver said it's a loose tyre. We can't see that on our data, but we can't see any other issues. Let's put some softs on him, get the data on for that tyre for Gasly, who's going to use the softs for his last stint. And then when he gets to around the pit exit, you go, oh, shit, there is actually an issue with the diff. You need to stop in a safe place. I don't think that's that weird. I appreciate that in the moment, especially because there was all the seatbelt kerfuffle where they had to tighten up his seatbelt. That bit looked odd. And I guess that to some people might look dodgy, but I, I can... I, it's not the weirdest thing I've ever seen on an F1 track. And, and on top of that all, what to Red... Uh, people... I think Red Bull probably would have won the race anyway. Why would Red Bull jeopardise a driver's championship and a constructor's just to win Max's home Grand Prix? Like, without the VSC, they were still going to gain points on their nearest driver rival in Leclerc. So unless you're telling me that they decided that Verstappen winning his home Grand Prix was more important than potentially jeopardising both the driver and constructor's championships by cheating, because that is the allegation. Like, do you really believe that that is a thing that a team does in that situation? Like, when you're in the lead of all the championships? It just... It, no, he, it's not like he hasn't won the tr the track before uh, the race before, and it's not like he didn't stand a chance unless that happened. I find it bizarre. Either way, Merce I think Mercedes fucked Mercy, uh, <laughs> fucked uh, Mercy, <laughs> fucked Hamilton more than uh, more than. Uh, uh, more than the, say, the VSC did, to be honest. Because the other thing to imagine is, irrespective of the Yuki issue, Bottas would have just broken down on track anyway. So there would have been a safety car or VSC for Bottas. So, nothing else really mattered. Formula One is back in Montreal. Let's hope it's not going to All right, Canada's a mad game. race, the and there's ra there's rain for uh, the race day, which I'm not looking forward to. We might need all the tyres ready for this. Okay, I'm going to give Sergeant the drive. For people new around here, I'm about to offend you. I simulate qualifying. I know. Boo me. Boo me. Hey, OMP, how's it going? After 20 years, I wake up to watch an F1 race, and that's all thanks to you. It was a nice comeback to an old friend. Hey, how did you find it watching it, OMP? I feel like there's quite a lot of people who are maybe watching F1 for the first time off the back of these streams or the YouTube stuff. Welcome back, as we the sport's changed a lot again. in the last few years, Practice really. Today's race was interesting because of all the split strategies. Like, Zanvo well, isn't usually the be best track for actual racing. There is still so much to be contested no, it's a very technical today. track, Qualifying but all the split strategies made it interesting for sure. Constructors and their drivers, as a strong performance now, will put them in good stead for tomorrow's race. Strap yourselves in. This is Formula One. If there wasn't a VSC, a gap between Hamilton and Russell would have been a large enough... Uh, a larger to double stack than both on softs in the safety car. If there wasn't a VSC, would have the gap would have been larger. But when there's a VSC, Dominic, the, the race is neutralized. Uh, the gap is maintained. The gap doesn't change with a VSC. Yeah, the F2 race, the the, re, the safety car restart on the F2 race, I wonder if that played into Hamilton's restart, because Hamilton did get that restart pretty horrifically wrong on Verstappen. I think he thought that between the start-finish line, which is the place you're only allowed to overtake on, there wouldn't be enough time, but Max timed that to perfection. That move was really good. Radio check. Radio is good. Green light, green light. If it wasn't for the safety car, Red Bull strut, the Red Bull strut doing Max already. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. If Red Bull had pitted, they would have pitted five seconds behind Hamilton, with Hamilton not pitting to the end, and Max on fresh tyres. And you saw the difference between Max on fresh tyres and Hamilton on fresh tyres on the restart. I think it's pretty disingenuous to suggest that Red Bull's strategy couldn't have worked. It would have been much closer... But the Red Bull was just a faster race car.
Right, let's see what we can do here. Canada should be straightforward until the race this week, and we should be getting into, hopefully, Q3. Oh, Albon's going to block us here, isn't he? Yep. Cheers, Alex. Love you. If you block Magnussen as well. Do I'm climbing in the tree outside oh, your window, cool. Alex. Don't do Shut this. I think Verstappen probably won the, the race anyway, chat. Verstappen, the lap before Sonoda pulled over, Verstappen pulled out the fastest lap he'd done in about 20 laps. He had been pacing himself on that car. There's a reason why when there was a gap after Hamilton couldn't get past Aston Martin, Red Bull didn't immediately pit Max while the gap existed. And it was because Max had a lot of life left in that set of tyres that he was on to push hard to then go on to softs at the end. Now, if you look at Max's lap times, the lap that Yuki pulled over, Max absolutely floored it. It was like his fastest lap for a long time. If they can't fix the blocking, can they at least have the drivers calling people idiots? I'd pay money for a DLC that is just drivers swearing at each other in this game. Would anyone else pay for that DLC? I would actually, I'd actually be all over that. Yeah, are there any sides in the next year could be more competitive? I mean, this year was this year has been competitive until re like the summer break between Red Bull and Ferrari. The biggest issue is Ferrari just keep playing themselves. Yeah, Merck strat. The thing is, Mercedes' entire strategy revolved around there not being a safety car or VSC. And even if the VSC hadn't have happened, Bottas's engine still would have gone boom at some point during the race and caused a full safety car or at least a VSC which would have played into Red Bull's hand. Like, ironically, like, I don't think Mercedes could have won the race anyway because they were going for the one-stopper, which is a strategy which works if you don't get a safety car. I mean, if you want to look at real conspiracies, chat, Perez been in it to stop Hamilton getting onto the front row. Maybe Perez crashed on purpose at the end of the uh, at the end of uh, Q3. <laughs> Anything can be a conspiracy if it benefits one team and not another. Right, please, no one have a moment and go off because Pacher is actually really on the margin here. This is going to be kind of close. Both drivers have gone green in set to one. That's good. Magnussen's got plenty of pace, but Pichere got blocked badly. Pichere's got to go faster, chap. you got to push, Teo. you got to push. All right. Pichere, on we go. Can he do okay? Is he going to go better? Yes. Okay, that was not as comfortable as I'd like, but K-Mag 8th, Pacher 13th. Definitely performance that we can get out of this. Hey, DeCosta, how's it going? How's it going? I fell asleep last night. How's the team doing in Monaco? We got seventh. Was it seventh in Monaco? I had an um. I'll be honest. Monaco was like a fever dream. I was using an umbrella indoors because it was raining in game. I was taking my job very seriously as a manager. He wasn't the, uh, on for pole position at all. I said he was on for front roll PSV. And I think Hamilton would have been pretty close. I mean, we can't know for certain. But Hamilton's lap time was quick, and they'd done some tweaks to his uh, front wing ahead of his final run of the session. Like, he'd, he'd, they'd been looking at the Sector 3. Of course, this is all ifs and buts, so we can't really talk about matter of fact about anything. And just to be clear, chat, when I'm like, Perez crashed on purpose. I think we all know this. Not serious. Jokes. Funny. It's not that, it's not that deep. 
I reckon Hamilton would have done the lap in 50 seconds, chat, if, if Perez hadn't crashed. I, th I think it would have been comfortable. How many tyres does a car have, guys? Four. Four wheels. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. I thought it was funny. I'm a com comedic genius, chat. Right, for sure. Can you have a faster lap to kick things off here? Yeah, Ferrari have three wheels, to be fair. Sonoda was on purpose, though. Ren Igu, go back to the start of this stream, VOD, and uh, allow me to dissect why Sonoda's thing was not on purpose. I'll tell you what, the front three are very close here. Where's Magnussen gone? Fifth. Both cars into this next session might be difficult. Aiden, mate, thank you so much for resubbing for 10 months. I appreciate the love, dude. Thank you, mate. For, so, for a person out of the loop, why is Ferrari's strategy a meme? They all, every weekend, they fucked something up for like the last... I want to say every weekend. Most weekends, they've messed something up for basically the last... What, three months? Of the Even though they start earlier on in the season. But like today, they had like an unsafe pit stop. They had a pit where they one of the cars pitted and they didn't have all the tyres ready. Julian Brandt! Sijitsko yeah. Krejnerun! What the hell are you doing?! What are you... Thank you for the... That is mad. Right, chat. We have to... I don't... What do we do for this? Another Julian Brandt. Just write Yar. Just write Yar in the chat. 20 gifted. That is mad. Thank you. I appreciate that hugely. Get the dubs and the Yars in the chat. We need some F1 themes, themed emotes as well. JF Jackman. Great name. I need to make sure I send my drivers out at the right time. Mate, thank you very much for some of the Prime. An OP Market Guard. Is this in reference to Mark the Market Gardener in TF2? Is that is that what your username's a reference to? I've sent the drivers out early here by mistake by a minute. It's fine. Everything's fine. Ever chat, I might have balls this up badly. Um, I'm not able to watch for long as I wake up around four to five in the morning, but I'll watch the vlog then. Hey, I'm happy to hear that you're able to catch up, mate. Let's see how we get on. Oh, Operation Market Garden from 1944. That makes more sense. See, I'm I'm a child, so I hear Market Garden and think of the spade weapon in TF2. Please tell me I'm not the only one who just thinks the Market Gardener. Love TF2, RIP, Valve, please fix. I mean, both our drivers are going through as things stand, but Verstappen and Norris have been blocked. I think Gasly must have been blocked too. Oh no, back markers ahoy. Although, if we hit them at a good time, we might be able to block them on their flying laps. That could be good. Uh, we have managed to claw it back a little bit being fired. If you approach to help develop a game for next year and have the choice between FM24 or F123, which would I choose? Probably F1. Because I've worked on Football Manager before. So, I'd rather do the new experience. Is that a boring answer? I realise that's probably not the... Has Pacher gone faster there? I don't think he did. Okay, Mag. A little bit. Let talk on. Okay, Blo block whoever this is. Is it Norris? or Oh, it's Danny Rick. Block Danny Rick. Just block him. Just get in the way. Compromise his lap. This is genius. If I send my drivers out a minute earlier, we can block everyone else. Block him. You know, mission failed. We'll get him next time. Jan Mocker, thank you for recent with the Prime. Uh, for seven months. That's a long, long time. When's the Pentagon? Uh, in the future. I don't know when, is the honest answer. I must admit, chat, like with F1 Manager, I didn't know how popular this game was going to be. I didn't know how it would be as a game to stream. I didn't know, like what kind of community there would be behind the game, but I've been like blown away by the support over the last two weeks. And naturally, as a result of that, I've had to kind of pivot plans regarding content. Wow, Russell's out. Russell is out of the session. If Pacher could scrape for it, it'd be mad. He hasn't. Ricardo got blocked, though. 
11th is bad, but it's less bad because Russell and Gasly and two of our rivals' cars are behind us. It's weird how jumbled up this grid is. We've not seen the Alpines have this kind of pace before this weekend. Uh, Teo, Teo, Teo. Oh, it's going to be a wet race. Chat, are we going to be doing another safety car prediction? Because we've not had a safety car yet this season, but I've seen people have mental races at Canada. I think Canada is one of the tracks where safety cars are more common than others, from what I've seen. Okay, Magnussen's going to get a lovely clean opening lap in this session. That's closer to Bottas than we have been, which is good. Am I streaming for a while? Uh, I've not got any plans for my Sunday night, although I haven't eaten. Chat, if I get pizza on stream or order food, is that obnoxious? Will you guys mind if I just sit and nom on pizza during the stream or like something else? Uh, how late do I send the guys out here? You know what? K Kmx is sick for right now. That's pretty big. ASMR pizza stream. Yeah, people like listening to people eat, don't they? If you win Canada, I'll buy you a kebab, right? I'm holding you to that, the dim donut. Chat, I've got screenshot it. Put your camera emojis in the chat so we've got it on ca camera. If I full screen it, would you like it full screen like this as I eat the kebab? That that might be a bit TOS dangering. You know, might might get banned off Twitch or banned in terms of service. <laughs> I've lost 80k betting on safety cars, Mr. Wednesday. I'm so sorry. Maybe today's the day. A bit, I can get a bit closer, chat. <laughs> the Nerd Panda. Thank you for gifting out sub. That is incredibly generous of you. Mike ABC, you're now a sub, my friend. Welcome aboard. Okay, Ocon has gone quicker. Ocon went out really early. I've won about 60k on channel uh, safety cars, says White Will Smith. I'll tell you what, some people are winners and some people are losers on the uh, the, the safety car predictions. Is Verstappen going to be able to improve here? Hamilton looks really quick, which makes me surprised that Russell struggled like he did. If we could get ahead of Ocon, that would be big, but I think it's going to be tight. Ah, just, 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 just. That was a bit delayed there, that update on the scoreboard. I got nervous. I didn't think we'd done it. Give him back what I've been gifted. Oh, that's incredibly generous of you. Okay. Do we get a prediction going on this race? I kind of want to do the safety car prediction. We've not had a safety car. All season. This is the ninth race. It's a wet race. It's at Canada that has a lot of safety cars anyway in game. The board do still want third. USA, this. Can we do a prediction on safety cars? It has to be a real safety car or red flag. I think. What's the what's the forecast? Oh, oh. There's going to be one shower in the middle. Hmm. Have I tried Great Fanta yet? No. I'm sorry. Bazaar, are you going to ask me every day if I've had Great Fanta yet? Am I going to have to tweet out me drinking Great Fanta? To lap 22, there's probably going to be rain. Softs might be the play. But if the rain doesn't come, you're stuck on soft. I think mediums are safe. I think the medium is the safer strategy. But is there a temptation to get punchy with Pusher? Like, if the rain came at lap 24, he probably would be okay. If it doesn't come by lap 24, it's just not arriving, is it? There's going to be one... There's going to be one shower. Right, chat, predictions live. Are we having a safety car today? Is today the day? Maybe. 
This is a lot more interesting as a race with the rain, isn't it, than what we had in Monaco. For people who missed it, we did Monaco yesterday, and it was inters for like 60 laps, and then the last like 10 laps were on softs. There's a bit more variance here. I think with Pacher, we try the softs just to try and get up through the track but a little bit more. Make up a position or two. That's my fear thing. And also, if an early safety card does happen, they'll definitely last. And also, but if I put them both on softs, I might have to pit them the same lap. Whereas if one's on softs, one's on mediums, we could, and they're close, we'll delay what Kev by a lap. I think this is going to be fine. Buddha boy has redeemed a hydrate. Let me get my drink. I filled it up today, chat. I remembered. Professional, professional streamer remembers to fill his water bottle. You know, some people fill a water bottle for, uh, you know, football training or whatever. I fill mine up to stream. I'm an athlete. Chat has descended into an in-depth discussion on Grape Fanta. Does that, I didn't realise this was a thing people had such strong opinions on. What are people's thoughts on Grape Fanta? I'm an esports athlete. Chat, I've realised I'm never going to get verified on Twitter unless an esports org that is verified signs me up. So if there's any esports organisation people out there, you know, if you've got sponsors and you want to sponsor the hottest up-and-coming F1 manager streamer, and by hottest, I mean good looking. Look at me. I'm, I am a specimen of a human. Um, have my people reach your people or DM me on Twitter. Tweet me. Something like that. I'm not verified on Twitter chat. I have a dream that one day I'll have that tick. I, if someone watching at Twitter now is like, can help a brother out, but I can't pay you or anything. That's immoral. But um, I'd, I'd, I'd ASMR streams exclusively for you if you work at Twitter. I don't know. Is, that, is this how it works? Is this how people get verified? I don't know. Great Fanta is incredible. Great Fanta is the best. Great Fanta is nasty. I'm glad we're all, you know, united in our thoughts on Great Fanta. Okay, chat. Predictions done. I actually didn't see how it ended. Are people backing a safety now car here? Good weather for the race, and that will be welcome news for the Never team. had Great Fanta. I haven't either. Sounds like everyone else has. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets Well, how can you make it the engine gearbox don't break so often? You can use the more worn well, out ones race, in practice, but usually you will so be expected to take an extra one up. of everything at some point during the season. The best thing to do is try and plan it so you use them all at the same time. This is it. We're moments away now. Right, chat. We want a good start. We want a good start. Away we go. Teo at the back. I'm losing places early on. We're tumbling. We're falling. We're like Humpty Dumpty falling down a hill. Oh my god, we're actually gonna get done by all our rivals. This is bad. At least K Mag's gone up a position. Pass with an overtake. I could really do with Russell here not having a good race. Lots of people are on softs around us. If the rain comes late, they're in trouble. Good to come on. All right, Kevin. Oh, it's Valtteri Bottas, dude. Valtteri Bottas is letting us by Valtteri. Thank you, Valtteri. Thanks, mate. Very kind of you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Valtteri, Valtteri, Valtteri. You're meant to be letting us by here. What are you doing, son? What are you doing, son? That wasn't very nice. All right, chat, believe believe Kevin push push Kevin push this chicane here into the wall of champions is very dodgy in game Teo up the inside Teo mm. um, you can't do that in real life but in this game you can so it's fine push Teo push you have the inside line for the second corner here. That's the one that matters. See you later, Lando. Oh, my word. Have a go. Have a go if you think you're hard enough, Kev. Oh, my word. Kevin Madison. I want to have your children. 
actually don't. Please don't send this to me. It'd be a bit weird. Okay, chat. It's a solid start. Nervous for the rain. Wait, Magnuson got Bottas. Oh, wait, no, Bottas. But Bottas isn't the Merc in front of us. Mer Bottas is in the Alpha Jack. What year is it? I just want a safety car. Just be fun. All right, Teo, this, this corner, you're going for it. Did I win a Grand Prix yet? We've won a few. We won the Spanish Grand Prix this year. We won three or four last year. Our car isn't actually that bad, but our car is best at high-speed cornering. It's so like Silverstone. Um, in Austria, we should be good too. Uh, Paul Ricard, we should be good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Push, yeah, J.O. Push! You are qualified, George Russell. You're faster than him. You're faster. My goat. My goat. Good job. He does actually need to manage his tyres a bit more now. We need to lift off. Lift off. Everything's fine. Yeah, we did do team orders in Spain. There was a bit of drama there when I swapped the cars. People didn't like that. Do we deploy here with Kevin? I shouldn't. But there is DRS and we're very close to Verstappen. Let's have a go, Kevin. Go no, 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 no. Don't defend. Deploy. Push. Energy. Copy. Do I clap my drivers off stream as well? No comment. The DRS is coming, but we've got more speed here. Oh, he dummies it out of Max Verstappen. But Verstappen has got a DRS. I think we're a bit too far back, Kevin. 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 Definitely it's the wall going over the curb like that in real life. But let's not question it. It's a video game. Were you up for the F2 race this morning? I was. I actually got, I got up a little bit late and I, all I saw was Sergeant in the wall. That was when I tuned into the race. <laughs> but considering he's our reserve driver in this game, it wasn't exactly what I wanted to see when I turned on my screen for the first time. I think we just need to be a little bit patient here. Charge up the batteries for a few laps. Use DRS to keep in our trains. To be fair, there is just one long train here right now. Like the fastest teams between ourselves, Alfa Romeo, Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari. Um, did I say Alpine? There's basically six teams which are pretty comparable to one another. On actual pace. If only flop chair was as good as Kevin. Why are we all going for Teo? I feel like the people who go for Teo just haven't been around for long enough. You know, you'll come to love him. The affection will, you know, it will grow for him. You'll come to appreciate him for his talents. Uh, Bashir's rating is 74. He was slow developing last year because... One of our... Sp you have, like, sponsor obligations in-game. And one of them involves sending your drivers to the sessions. And by default, Season 1, both drivers attend everything. Switch which limits up. their experience gain. So this year, I've just sent Kevin to all of it. So now Pacheco's getting a lot more experience. I'm anti-youth in 10 years. I like him. That's fair. If you're anti youth, why are you watching this stream? Safe fuel, safe fuel. Never, never, mind, never mind. Cringe. Did he just play with his hair chat? Cringe, cringe. Unsubbed. Uh, Alpine's just on YouTube, uh, Vino. Yeah, Alpine is the YouTube save game that we have, which, if you don't know, we have a YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash work the space. There's an Alpine Let's Play going on at the moment. I'm going to be recording an Alpine episode tomorrow. My aim is to get it out for the evening tomorrow, but it might come out Tuesday.
This is just one long train waiting for the rain around lap 22. The question is going to be, how much does it rain? Actually, we're going to push for one more lap. Tires are good, fuel is good, battery's good. Life's good. Jack, you haven't uploaded in two days if you retired. I've not retired yet, chat. I've not retired yet, I promise. Can we watch Mick for one lap, please? Let me just sort out Bashir's battery for a lap, then we'll go and see what Mick's up to. I need to save the tyres a little bit, but for now we are good pushing on them to then save later, especially because we're just charging up the battery at the moment. The second dri driver, do they get rehired? They do. Mick Schumacher was our for well, obviously Mick Schumacher was our former driver. He was a free agent for half a season, but then he got signed by Williams. More charge off, please. Okay, Tyre's just got to stay with this train. Which he can do comfortably. This is fine. Tire wear on tail is a bit intense, but we have enough margin for the inters. Okay. This is pretty packed up, isn't it? What's the gap to leader? We're up 1.3 seconds behind the leaders. If someone locks up in this train, lots of cars are going off there. Uh, you do get regens, Vino, although they're called new gens in this game. I guess they're called new gens in Football Manager, but no one actually listens to that, do they? No saving required. Copy that. Do everything you can, mate. Copy. I kind of want Kevin to have a go here. But Energy if you need it. I, prob I probably, sh I probably shouldn't. I probably should. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. I thought the engineer said no sleeping required. Well, he's not allowed to sleep either. That is on the list of things that he's not allowed to do. We're in an okay spot. Isn't it update day tomorrow? Uh, I don't expect there to be an update date tomorrow, but if there is, I'd be pleasantly surprised. I don't think we've really been told what the upload update schedule is for this game. But the patch last week came out on Thursday? Chat, was the patch on Thursday last week or Wednesday? All the days are blurred into one because I just play this every day. How was the off-season? We were... Well, we didn't change our drivers. We had a very, very slow start to this season, and the board expectation is a top three finish. So it is going to be a little bit tricky, but we're doing okay at the moment. It was on Thursday. Yeah, I imagine we'll probably get updates on Thursday for the game, chat. I wouldn't expect updates on a Monday, because... You don't, you, you, it's very unlikely that a patch was ready to go and they wouldn't put it out over the weekend if that was the case, if that makes sense. Like, you kind of need a working day before a patch goes live. And equally, I don't really expect updates on Fridays because if you're a game developer and you push out an update on a Friday and there's like a catastrophic bug in the code that wasn't caught, lift off. someone's working a weekend to fix it and no one wants to work the weekend. So I think we probably expect updates on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. I think there was a patch for the game on Tuesday when it was in a pre-release state before the official release on the review code that I had. So I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday be the days I expect an update. The copy past this chat. I know nothing. I know nothing about the situation. I mean, it's close between this pack of cars. 
Uh, this is the first race today, Cameron. Luca, bro, I'm not sure they're your army. But you can be the leader if you wish. How's Bichet doing in terms of progress? He's been developing a lot more this year than last year. He won his first race at Barcelona yesterday. I maybe swapped the drivers around to give him the win. But he had some heroics in that drive to actually bail Magnussen out after Magnussen spun. Imagine a new gen called Reese High. No, thank you. How many places have we just lost? Kevin! Oh, Kevin! Kevin! Let's take a closer look. Kevin! He's on Kevin Magnuson. Kevin! That lockup could have cost. But it's realistic. He keeps going and he brushes against the wall a little bit. And that's in Kevin Magnuson. Right, Kevin. It, you've got to push here, mate. We've got to catch the back of the train. The good news here is that the gap to leader is only seven seconds because it's just a long DRS train. Kevin, you've got to catch the train. Teo. Teo's actually doing fine. Teo's good. Chat, we're replacing Kevin at the end of the season. I know he got fifth in the Drivers' Championship last year, but that was my genius, not his. It was in spite of his issues, not with his issues, you know? Like, the, we could have won everything last year. I'm not getting Mick in. Mick in, Mick in. Mick's got a career challenge. Mick's living his life. He's racing Guang Yu Zhou. He can't even get past... He can't even get past there. He doesn't... He, Mick doesn't know how to read the situation, chat. How many races left this season? This is race 9 of 22. I don't really like to swap drivers mid-season. Like, you can swap drivers at any point. And I know we swap Mick after a few races. But in general, I feel like in this game, it's like almost a bit... Un be a bit unrealistic just to sack a driver after Canada. Like, that would never happen in real life. Like, in the summer break, you might see a change, but even that's exceedingly rare. Yeah, I agree, the Dim Donut. I wish there was, like, pre-contracts more in this game, so, like, in the summer, I can negotiate who's going to come in for me. Magnuson set the new fastest lap chat. Tell you what, when he's not hitting people, he is actually quick. He's almost caught up with the train, but his battery is going to be dead soon. But because we put him on the mediums, he can push a bit harder on them to catch. If Magnussen was more consistent, he'd actually be really good. <laughs> the issue is he's not consistent. Save fuel. The rain's going to be interesting, though. Oh, oh, he's already... He's back in the DRS train, chat. What a man. That's actually kind of impressive that he caught them up there. Uh, Pichet's rating 74 now, but that was a little while ago, and I feel like he's almost getting a development point every race. He consistently hits walls. You know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> I wish they'd had a couple of tracks you could vote in game to add or replace circuits. That'd be cool, George. I wonder if there'd be issues with licensing for that. But then Codemasters F122 game has added... Is it Portimao they've added? What track did they add recently? Like, they're adding some old, like, tracks that got, have been on the, the rotation recently. But they're not in career mode, are they? If I'm not mistaken. Up into K-Mag getting 99 overtaken. I think he's at 80. He's, I think he's at 85. Teo, you need to catch up, mate. Yeah. There is rain coming. For people coming in, there is going to be heavy rain. Heavy rain around lap 21. Uh, we've been using Sergeant in practice. Pacheco is going to be in range here, right, with DRS. 
I think the delta's broken there. Yeah, it was. Sometimes the delta gets... Uh, they're not the delta. The interval gets stuck. I've noticed. It's really weird. Charge on, charge on. Yeah, Sherlock uh, Hemlock. Let's go kill Sherlock Holmes. No, it's Sherlock Hemlock. Mix back. He got past Joe, everyone. He's done it. My goat. Oh, my word. Magnuson lost so much time by putting him on harvest. Sorry, Kevin. You can push on these mediums, mate. Just don't crash again. Thank you. As soon as we try and harvest at ERS, we lose time badly. Shout off. I can't harvest and keep up with the Alpines. Lift off, lift the off. only good news is the whole pack concertinas because of this train that Hamilton's at the front of. And the Mercedes is not the fastest car. Another driver locked up. Who's had a moment? Who's that? Who is it? Bottas. <laughs> Fuck you, Valtteri. I've sworn the wrong way there, I realise. I'm a good sportsman, really, chat. Now we see that Alonso had a bad influence on me. Who would do that? Not my drivers. Wait, is Kevin Magnussen going to come out in front of him? Get the data. Get the data. Oh, Magnussen came out in front. You know what? I'll do a bit of swearing. For, I'll do Valtteri Bottas's like audio for him. That's probably what he said during that instant where he ran wide. Does any Finnish viewers, I'm really sorry that I've just sworn a load in your native tongue. But new Finnish viewers, they sat there thinking, so lol, WTF Got barbecue, it. he speaks Finnish? A little bit. Um, these intervals keep getting broken. Although Pacher is just slow. You know what? Having Russell in front of us isn't a bad thing. I'm okay with that. Does your swear bleep button only work for FM? It only works in English. The race position gained for a Mercedes. Okay, this is fine. We just get the train going. Although Magnuson's not in the train. Kevin, push. Use energy. I can't imagine Bottas swearing. I don't know why. I feel like he's got quite a softly spoken voice. Just joined. Where did we quali? Uh, where did we quali, <laughs> chat? P14? Is Pichet that far back? No, P11. P11, P7 or 8. I think. Pass with an overtake there. Someone's going to link me a video of Bottas swearing, and it's really going to ruin things for me. It's going to be like when you hear your parents swear, you know, and it just doesn't feel right. Safe fuel, safe fuel. We can push a little bit. Ferret, 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 ferret. You only have three ferrets, so I added a few because it's fun. Thank you for the 18 months. Still one of my favourite usernames on Twitch. I reckon, chat, if I was going to get a pet, I'd get a pet ferret. And then I'd race it. You know, I'd get tubes set up around my room. Have people seen ferret racing before? There was a farm near me where I lived and they used to do ferret racing. Is this a, is this a weird thing where... That was like really niche to where I am and ferret racing isn't like a normal international sport. Please tell me other people have seen ferret racing in their lifetime. It's very, it's a great sport. Big fan of ferret racing as a sport. We've lost DRS here. But the rain's coming. Don't hit each other. For the love of God, don't hit each other. For sure, Kevin is faster than you. Mercedes moved up a place. Teo, it's James. Jack, but is it Teo? It's James. Please let him by. He is faster than you. Ferret racing stream coming soon, maybe. Uh, Bottas locked up and went wide where Kevin Magnussen did. Jack looks like a ferret owner. Is that a compliment or an insult? Chat, chat, should that be a compliment being told I look like a ferret owner? It's like the other day where someone came into my stream and said it, I look like someone who has asthma. What does that mean? Why, why is Albon in the is pit? A new race has he had a moment? Ass. Is his nose damaged? You okay, bro? There's rain coming, fam. What are you doing? You're on mediums. They're putting him on hards. Okay, they've lost the plot. Chat, maybe they're throwing to make it so Max wins the race like in real life. 
Maybe. Maybe. Could be. More rain coming. Rain's coming. My weather guy's saying it's raining, and when has our weather guy ever lied? No saving required. Be. This pack has definitely concertinaing up. I think we're kind of getting toes off Russell, and he's kind of giving us a little helping hand along. I look like someone who has asthma. It really has stuck with me as a comment. Never thought I'd hear Jack say fam. I say fam all the time, fam a lamb. Um, I'm Please stop me. I know all the cool kid lingo. You get me. Blood. It's blood. I don't. Blood didn't feel. You know, fam, I felt okay saying blood has sent tingles down my spine. Of shouldn't have said that. Chat. Am I allowed? Can I use the term blood, or is that going to make blood uncool for the people who use it? I'll stop. Ch chat. You know what? I'm going to stop. Use it. You want me to unironically use blood all the time? When's the rain coming? Moderate rain in five minutes. That's five laps. It's coming sooner than predicted. We can push hard on these tyres. Holy fab's redeemed the hydrate. Thank you, Holy Fab. Now I can stay hydrated. What's that thing your sister gets called? My sister gets called Spanad. I know, it's a really loving nickname for my sister. My sister's name's Anna. And my dad used to call her Spanner all the time when we were little kids. And at some point, me and my brother started calling her Spanad. And she used to get really annoyed by it and really upset by it. And our mum used to hate it, so it got used more. But now I just use Spanhead as a generic insult on people at times. But Shay just got Russelden. Okay. Stroll and Ricardo in the pit. Are they pitting for... Why are they pitting for hards? That is not good AI, is it? I think their AI is going, we can go hards to the end. When really it should be going, shit, there's rain. We need to save. If the guys at the front want to go on the hards, that'd be good. Jack goes to the kebab shop and refers to the owner as boss man. Actually, no, they call me they call me boss man. I call them my main man. You know. My sister's name's Anna, but I never thought of that one. You're welcome. Now you can just call her Spanhead all the time. Right, but yeah, you're gonna harvest here just behind our teammate. Don't pass him. We don't we don't need to pass. You can save your fault fuel and your tires a little bit. You know what? Fuck it. Fight, lads. Fight. Fight! Save fuel and follow that. Well, they've pit for hards. They've pit for hards. Chat, the AI is actively throwing in the rain. Unless it's not going to rain? I mean, what if it just doesn't rain enough? What if my entire strategy is around rain that isn't hard? So there's rain. Oh, there's rain. There's pissing rain. I think I'm going on to Inters. Inters this lap. Is it a lap too soon, do we think? Probably not. The thing is, what if, what if it goes to full wet? The thing is, the prediction is it's going to dry. It could get more wet, but I think we because it's a short shower, I think it's worth going on to the inters than just staying on them. Push more if you can. Okay, guys in front of us are pitted. Oh, oh, oh. What's everyone coming out on? Inters. If they put Ocon on hards, they've put Ocon on hards. What are they putting along? They've put Ocon on hards and Alonso on Inters. What is happening? 
Hamilton's on hards. Verstappen's on inters. Magnus is on inters. Perez is on... It's like they didn't put both... The, why is Verstappen being first been put on inters, but Perez has been put on hards? Nothing makes sense. Oh, wait. He didn't pit. He didn't pit. I take it all back. Get him, Teo. Chat, this is great for us. So, Verstappen... Oh, Leclerc's, Leclerc is done for. Unless it keeps raining and it's a wet track. In which case, we're done for. That won't happen. Please stop raining. I'm praying moderate rain for another five minutes. Chat, it's going to get wet. It might get full wet. They might have pulled a blinder. Now, because it's... <laughs> Because it's going to rain moderately, but then dry, do I really want to go onto the wet when it's marginal? Is that a new race position for Haas? They've just paid for inters. I think I stay on the inters. I don't think it's going to stay wet for long enough to justify stopping twice. The track is now considered wet. They're pitting for wet. Chat, they're pitting for wet. I'm going to I'm going to pit Pacheco but keep Magnussen out. I think we split the strategy. Risk it. Okay, chat I'm risking it. I trust you guys. It's drying. Chat it's drying. This could be huge. Chat you're geniuses. You're geniuses. I love you all. We're running P1 and P2 and the track's drying. <laughs> Hamilton's on wets behind, but the track is you can't push. kind of close. Although the wets in this game, even on this kind of track, are usually pretty fast. So Hamilton might still close this gap. Oh my god, they're all pitting again. Oh, Oh, what's happening? Is Danny still on... No, that's Norris. Why is Norris on hard still, chat? They've forgotten about Lando. And Russell's on hards as well. They've just... It's like they didn't get pitted because their teammates were in the pits for the Inters. And then the next lap around, their teammates were in the pits again. And put on wet so they didn't pit again. Oh, this is great for us. Great driving. I think what's happened there is, so the front runners for those teams pitted for inters. The AI goes, we shouldn't double stack, so keeps them out on the on the slick tyre. Then the guys who pitted for the inters lap their teammate because they're still on the slicks from the lap before. But now the AI goes, crap, the track's wet. So it pulls the guys on the inters into the pits. And then the guys in the hard tyres are going along. It's like, well, there's teammates in the pits were staying out again. What is happening? I mean, Carlos Sainz has made three stops and he's running in 10th. No one knows what's happening. How's he in the points with three stops after 23 laps? I have many, many questions. And lift off. Good news, everyone. They're all pitting now to get their inters on. They did go in. Yeah, they've gone inters. So half the track's on wet, half the track's on inters. The track is drying again. Is that the rain done? Is that the rain done? I think the rain's done. I think we can get aggressive on these inters because the track is going to dry fairly quick. Hot push, hot push. Please don't lock up and bin it. Don't crash now. These laps are quick for us on this track. Hamilton's a bit slower. Obviously, we were harvesting and saving a little bit the previous lap, so we were getting caught up on. But this is fine. This is fine, everyone. 
There's an eight-stop strategy in Montreal, but for who, Chris Kamara? <laughs> Still moderate rain in a minute before it dries. So the game reckons the track will be dry by lap 33? Hards to the end or mediums to the end? Hards. Cards to the end from lap 33 slash 34. Okay. How's Pichet doing his drive? He's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. I think Hamilton might have pushed there to try and close the gap on us, and now we're fine. Because we were just taking it sl slow with Pichet. Who's Who are we about to lap? With lap, lap, stroll. We're mixing 14th chat. He's getting a nosebleed. Mick is in 40. It's a, I'm very... I'm so happy for him. I'm tearing up. I'm tearing... I'm having a moment. Anyone else having a moment? Who said they would buy me a kebab if I won this race? Because I'm starting to think about my order. No more rain. The rain's done. It's really weird. So on this view, like, it says there's still drizzle coming up. But sometimes, like, this bit here is different to the bit above. This is good for us. Just got to make sure we pit the, these at the right time. Hey, Dan, how are you, you going? <laughs> Blame me for watching the F1. How, what did you think of it, Dan, as, like, I guess somebody who's not really followed the sport that much? Like, could you understand, like, stuff based off this game and watching it? It was pretty interesting with all the different strategies today. Like the actual racing at Zandvoort is always a bit iffy with the bigger cars. But there was enough different stuff going on with strategies. I think it was kind of interesting just to watch from that point of view. Kevin! Kevin, it's a red flag! Kevin! Kevin! I wanted a kebab, Kevin! I wanted a kebab! I wanted a kebab! He's hit the wall of champions! I wanted a kebab! Dear me! They won't have been expecting that! I wanted a kebab! The team are Wait, if it's a red flag, can he get the car going? He's out. He's out of the race. We've still got Tao chat. We get to pay out on the prediction. Oh. What's the water? There's going to be no water on the track in 20 minutes on the restart. The track. I need to screenshot this and tweet out. This is a P. Chat, we were running in P1 and 2. We had a massive gap and now it's all just reset. I was planning my kebab order. I was planning my kebab order. <laughs> I was planning my kebab order. <laughs> We're just going on hard here, aren't we? I'm just tweeting out the stream chat. Kevin! We had such a good gap as well. We had such a good gap. I'm so sad, chat. I'm so, has anyone ever seen that happen with, like... It was going so well. Adam, thank you for the 100 bits. What, Magnuson's favourite retro game? Crash Bandicoot. Brilliant. Right, there's a red flag. So in a red flag situation, you're allowed to change the tyres on your cars. We are going hards to the end. I said the track was going to be dry in 20 minutes. Should we just change the front wing because we can? Oh, yeah, mods. Can we pay out on the safety car and red flag thing? Chat, we were on for such a comfortable one-two. Such a comfortable one-two. 
I said I might not sack Kevin in the summer. Am I allowed to change my mind? Am I allowed to change my mind? You know what? We're not we're not gonna change the wing for it. Chat, we were that was such an easy one two. Definitely a race win. Will we have a safety car or a red flag? Yes. It's gonna be in Kevin Magnuson who causes it. Kevin has cost us so many points this season. Alright, I'm going on to the dry tires here. Do we just sit here for 20 minutes in real time? Is that the plan now? Kevin had the fastest lap chat. All drivers have taken their positions again. Wait, they're still on inters. Chat is still raining. The game said it wasn't gonna be wet. And it's lights out. And away we go. Chat, the game said it wasn't going to be wet. You all saw that, right? The rain hasn't... We've just had 20 minutes of a red flag. Why has time not gone forward? We've just... There's been a red flag for 20 minutes and time hasn't passed. It's a known issue. What do you mean it's a known pissing issue? Chat, is it going to get overtaken by everyone? This is going to be the saddest restart ever. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out places. Worn out places. Hmm. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. We're not gonna finish P1, cause the game bugged on me. McLaren, gain a position. Chat, I don't condone save scumming, but I have just been messed up by the game. Now the track is drying. So as long as we stay a pit stop within them... P14. P14! Mick still not got past us, chat. Mick is showing mercy. It's a race position Mick is showing mercy. Oh, we've ruined Mick's race. Sorry, Mick. Sorry. Now, chat, the track is drying. P15 at the moment. The track's drying. It's going to be fun. When, when everyone else pits and the track's dry, no, no, rain. no rain. No rain. Good. This is what. This is where we, they're all going to pit, and, and the track's going to dry, and we're going to be fine because we don't have to stop. We are a pit stop behind already, but don't let that distract you. Work the hard tires. I've used all the battery there. Get me out of this race. I hate Canada. I love Canada. Canada is one of my favourite places in the world. The track is now dry. Right, Teo, this is your moment. Now, Teo, push. 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 DRS enabled. Teo, you're going to unlap yourself here, son. Come on, Teo. <laughs> Cha, believe. I believe. Adam, thank you for gifting us up to Disaster Class. This is actually the saddest I've ever felt. So what I want to know is, chat, I wasn't going crazy, was I, where it said the... I like, in, when, 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 when there was the red flag, it did definitely say there was going to be zero millimetres of water on the track, right? And then when we were looking at changing tyre in the bottom right, it did then say that the water was at the level it was when the red flag happened. But I just assume that's because the 20 minutes hadn't passed. Oh, the fuel. The fuel chat. Oh, we could overtake Mick. We could get Mick here.
I do feel like I've just been fucked by the game there. That's uh, the professional term. No fuel range. No, 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 no. That's fine. Just get me to the end of the race. Right, Pacher, please overtake Mick. Overtake Mick so that the chat shuts up. Are they all going to run mediums to the end, or are they going to pit again? I don't even know. Tricker Tom, thank you for the two gifted. Ethan Holmes and Fisher, you can now raise some Fadukas. Thank you, mate. Chat, we're not going to restart. We're, we're, we play a legitimate playthrough here. When we get f***ed, we get f***ed. It's fine. They're not going to pit again, are they? They're just going to try and make the mediums last. Fastest lap. Have that, you losers. Is that There's points on. Points are possible. He's going fastest every pissing lap. They are all 100% saving their tyres. Yeah, you are right. The weather bugging out is a bit silly. I feel like he didn't do that at uh, Austria when we had rain. But maybe I'm wrong. That Austria last year, we had the red flag under rain. I feel like that didn't happen. If I imagine if I get fired for that one. Can someone, like, crash and cause a safety car, please? I don't want to wish ill on anyone, but if someone could crash. I'm so sad. The worst thing is, the Kevin crash, like, you know, I shouldn't have asked him to push if you were, if you want to be hindsight Harry. The weather thing I just didn't know was a thing that weather didn't advance under the red flag. Because logically, if the race is paused for 20 minutes and it's about to end raining in four minutes, someone's crashed. There's a safety car. There's a safety car. Softs to the end. Softs to the end. If we get lapped, though, we're in trouble. Bloody hell, chat. There's a set. Who had a crash? Who crashed? I think that was a crash. Stroll. Lance Stroll. Now. Thank you. Now let's have a look. It's Lance Stroll. What's he done? They've lost control. That's unfortunate. As long as we don't get lapped, we're fine. Please don't get lapped. Please don't get lapped. Please don't get lapped. Please don't get lapped. We didn't get lapped. Oh, but we can't unlap. Our oh, no, we can unlap the safety car. Oh, this is good. Now we just have to, we have to catch the train, though. Push, Pacher, push! Safety car ending this lap. We're on the wrong side. Push, Teo, push. Oh, they've gone without him, chat. They've gone without him. It's just a great big shame. He's got no oh. battery. <laughs> I had to pit again. I had to pit again. We wouldn't have been able to overtake the cars. There's been another crash. Someone else has crashed. Red flag. Chat, there's a red flag. It's on. It's on. There's, there's a chance. There's a chance we get to change tyres for two laps. Let's take a look at the We've got a double red flag. What happened? Believe. Believe. What do you mean? There's a lap left. The race ends. Why did it red? Why? Is there a rule to do with red flags on the last two laps that I don't know about? Oh, the two-hour rule. A race can't last more than two. <laughs> so wait, 
They have, they have the two-hour rule saved into the game, but they don't have the ability for whether to progress under a red flag program. That would have been so exciting. We would have been on fresh softs for like two laps. Okay, chat, we do need to do a poll here, I think. Do we restart that race? Based on the fact that, well, there was a bug that basically cost us the race. I'm going to do a poll. And people can vote. Restart, redo race, question mark. Yes. No. If it was my own personal save game, I probably would, if I'm being honest. But at the same time, I want to respect the wills of the chat. Considering a bug with the weather basically caused Pasher to go from first on the grid to 20th. I'll do a vote. You're in the league because of a bug as well. I mean, that was more to do with the AI not knowing when to pit versus a bug that is like an actual issue. It's a very close vote, chat. It's a bit like Brexit. It was a legendary race for the history books, but I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons. Chat's voting. It's close. I will say it's close. It's not quite 52% for... Oh, no, it is actually 52%. You know what, chat? I think we just have to stomach this result. Fuck the will of the people. Um, we've just lost loads of ground on everyone. There was two red flags. Who were the people who crashed at the end? The people who crashed didn't get DNF'd. Huh? Who was it? I didn't even see who crashed. Signs with five stops finished fifth. Do they count back at the end though? If the red flag runs over the time. Oh, Norris had 0% tyres. Hmm. I think he might have been involved. Magnuson. Right, chat. Yes has won on the vote, but it's so small that I feel like for the sake of narrative building, this, this race has to remain in the history books. I'm so angry with Kevin, though. Oh, Lee, look. Sergeant God. Good point. I'm so it's, I'm sad. Honor the chat. I feel like it's too close to restart, especially because I wouldn't probably wouldn't restart. Also, chat, I don't really want to do that race because the rain I don't think is random. Like the rain is set, so I now know exactly what lap the rain happens on. Like which would probably impact how I'd use the tires. Plus, the next race up is Silverstone, which is actually our car's best track. So, I kind of want to just do Silverstone. We should be very, very good at this track. But Brexit means Brexit. What the f Brilliant, chat. Uh, chat, could I really sack Kevin now? I don't really have the money to bring anyone in. Do I really sack Kevin off the back of one result? Lando Norris is 89 rated though. We could just ask Lando. Rosit, thank you for something with the tier one. Thing is, Lando's very expensive. I've seen people report on Reddit that if you go into debt, it really increases the odds on you getting fired. I think you'd be better off letting Terry drive both cars at the same time. Kevin Manderson. How many points has Kevin Manderson cost us this season? He hit the wall from P6 in Jeddah. In Baku, he fell from 5th to 6th. In that race, he crashed from the lead. 
Where else has he crashed, chat? I feel like there's another time that I'm just not remembering. I feel like, chat, we have to be patient. Maybe in the summer... How long is it till the summer break? Is it three races to the summer break? Oh, uh, oh no, no, it's four races. I think summer break... We, we give them till the summer break, right? We give, I, let's, let's show patience and belief in Kevin Magnussen. There's no walls at Silverstone for him to hit. At least, not that are right near the track. I mean, he hits a wall there, it's quite the achievement. I'm so upset with that crash chat. He took Tao's potential, true. Tell you what we'll do, chat. We'll we'll scout Lando. No, 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 no. Detail. Why can I not scout him? Scouts are available. No, why? Why? Is it because I scouted him earlier? Lando is very good. Buyout's 12 million. I can't afford it, chat. Now, you know, I, I believe in him. Could be completely misguided. Also, we can develop some new parts for the new period. Chat, should we just build a new floor again? I feel like the floor is the best part just to upgrade. It just takes forever. We're going to put half our time into a floor for the end of the season. The floor was definitely a big upgrade when we got it. Oh, we could become great at medium speed cornering. Or we could go more on the high speed cornering. I think that could be the play. We get quite a lot of money at a time. A lot of our money has been going on the facilities, but I could definitely start saving for a driver after these upgrades. Put focus on back to everything. I don't like to do that, Sam, because the game's not very balanced when it comes to not using presets. I think we go low speed. And low speed gives us the best upgrade on what we've got. And then for engineers... If I put six on them, it'll be done in 58 days. So that'll be before the Belgian Grand Prix. So that'll be for... In fact, we don't need to put that many on. Although the underfloor takes a while to build. But we could emergency build it. If we can have the new floor done for Belgium, that's probably more important. 58 days. So we can get it done... Was it 74 to Zandvoort? Yeah, 74 days. So if I put three engineers on it, we could rush it. Could rush it 38 days. No, it's just done for hungry and that's it. That's, it's not worth it. We'll put it on normal for free. Only costs a million. It's really not that expensive. Uh, Liam, mate, thank you so much for subbing with the tier one. I appreciate you. Okay. Uh, and then chassis. No, no, actually, uh, we don't. If we're faster elsewhere, we don't need to worry about the dirty cornering. Right, chat? Uh, I'd like to improve our cooling, though. I do have an obsession, I think, chat, with. Um, with. Uh, what do you call it? With floors. I set up that project chat so it'll be done before Zanvort, not before Spa. Andy Pitt, mate, thank you for some of the Prime as well. Chat, the love has been mad on stream lately. Uh, yeah, we go with that. And then design focus. Why does this make everything so much worse? A side pod's just for calling in game. Because I don't feel like calling matters. Uh, if I put it on race performance, it helps a bit with acceleration and engine cooling. But not that much. 
You know what? F side pods. All my homies hate side pods. Hey, Drabin, uh, what have you missed today on my word? We've had two red flags. Got no points at Canada. Kevin made me angry. That's what you've missed. I think that's a good summary. The cool, you get way better upgrades on cooling by upgrading the suspension versus side pods. At least on brake cooling. I, I'm so angry about that last race chat. Am I allowed to be angry about that? Let's get this upgrade done for France in 32 days. What is intense? Oh, it'll help improve future designs of this part. I mean, that sounds good. Let's do that. Cost more, but probably worth it. I did ask him to push in the rain, but that was to build up a gap and because the tyres had life to give. I'm so upset. I wanted a kebab. Someone had told me if I won that race, I got a kebab as well. And about 30 seconds before he crashed, I was talking about the kebab I was going to have. I'm going to put the rest of the hours here into a low downforce rear wing, I think, for high-speed cornering for the Spa. Actually, is that even worth it? I mind you, there's Monza as well. I'm so upset, chat. Am I, am I allowed to be salty? I think we go high speed performance to help with the acceleration with DRS. And then 61 days, but we can put four guys on it. 47 days. When that's when's that gonna be done for? I'll be done for spa there. That's fine. And um, we'll put it intense is very expensive on rear wings, but I feel like it must be worth it if it's expensive, right? Concentrate on the celebrations before you secured the victory. She is a little fan. You should have learned your lesson by now. Look, Kevin Madison slipped into the wall. Leave me be. I'm fragile, chat. I'm fragile. There's actually a bit of a gap between weekends now. We're running low on suspensions. I wonder, I wonder why we have no suspensions, Kevin. I wonder why that is. Well, we get six million a week, even when we're not racing. It's quite nice. Poor gearbox condition. I wonder why his gearbox. I wonder why his gearbox is fucked. Everyone. Any ideas why his gearbox might be fucked? It's not like he slams his rear of his car into a wall, is it? I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god, his gearbox really did get wrecked in that session. I kind of want to use the two en the two gearboxes that are unused so we are ready to take an engine penalty at some point in the future. I feel like, chat, sometimes, you know, advice, adversity hits you and you've got to push back and handle it with dignity. And I think I've done well. I do need to demand more out of K-Mag and throw a bottle at him. I think that could help. We should be really good here, by the way. Like, we have the fastest high-speed cornering in clean air. Maybe our overall speed isn't amazing, but with the Ferrari engine, it should be good. Should be good. Qualifying position is sixth. Yeah, we can do that. Reach Q2. Yeah, both drivers can do that. I believe. I think. Can you buy another constructor and have them discover their tyres aren't fixed at key moments? I wish I could, Aiko. I wish I could. We're here in Ferrari have asked this a few times not to put tires on properly. 
We were running P1 and 2, chat. We were running P1 and 2. Logan, maybe you get warmed up, mate. Maybe you get warmed up, Logan. I might. We've got four races to the summer break. I am actually considering firing Kevin midway through the season. I said earlier, I said literally one race ago about how we don't really like sacking people during the season. Doesn't really happen in real life. Kenji Yama's in the summer break, and it might have to happen here if he crashes again. Okay, chat, here's the deal. If Kevin Magnussen DNFs in another race, or like has a moment that costs us a large amount of points, I'm talking like going from fifth to out the points, then I am going to get rid of him. This is his last chance. He's on a short leash. Oh, the setup knowledge is amazing for us. Chat, if he does anything bad again, I'm I'm gonna kick off. Radio check. Right, let's send both cars out early, get clean laps, and then not worry about going out again this session. Because our car should be fast enough. If he wins this race, he really does give me a dilemma, doesn't he? Lando, Lando's in the way. I think Magnussen got a good pass there though. Hmm. I don't know how much Max Verstappen got held up, but that might be good enough. Do I need to go back out here? I think we'll be okay. The Williams and the Aston Martin are absolute sh boxes. Plus, if we don't send them out again, minimizes the risk of a crash. So, you know, it's probably in our interest. I'm so upset with him. Ah, we should be fine here. We ain't going out again, chat. I ain't got time to watch two laps. We're a big time team now. We just sit out the rest of the session. I want us right behind Russell there. The checkered flag is now out. Imagine if, uh, if Magnuson falls down here, chat. I'm going to order food <laughs> uh, um that's that is on me I'll be honest that is on me I can't even blame him Radio check, radio oh. check. Okay, Teo. My chat don't think you're very good at qualifying, mate. Prove them wrong. Chat, that is the worst that is the worst thing I've done in this game in terms of actual blunder. I actually did it just so I could order food. That's my confession. You've got it on tape. Oh, Pacher got blocked by Verstappen and someone else. Who's had a moment? There's a yellow flag. Like we've had a spin. Oh, Ricardo's had a spin. Get him in a Ferrari now. Right. Who should go first, me or K-Mag? That's the real question. I could have just ordered food. That's true, but I get justification now, you know? Right, three minutes. We're in the send out button. Oh, I've timed it perfectly. Right, Teo. The chat's mocking me. If you don't make it through this session, it's a bloody disaster. Can anyone point me to Jack Stream? Thought it was here, but I've just looked and I think I've stumbled into a Ferrari strategy meeting. Right, Bonotto wants to give me a job. I'll take it. What happened with Magnussen? We don't talk about it, Ghost. We, we don't talk about it. We had two red flags in Canada and the race ran over time. So just to explain that, I didn't really explain that. In Formula One, there's a rule that after the check it well, after the, the as I say, after the checkered flag falls. No, after the lights are out and the race starts, the race has to be completed in two hours. And because a red flag involves an extensive pause of the race, two of them in one race, you run over the two hours. Uh Pasha has a symbol because he's on the danger zone and not making it through. He'll make it through here, though, won't he? Right? Right, chat? Right, has he had a good lap here? He went slower in Sector 1. That's concerning. 
Make a lap. Make a lap. If he drops out, though, chat, I'm... <laughs> Just... <sighs> Everything's fine. Here's the thing. If Magnuson had been around, chat, Teo wouldn't have qualified right, there. So, really, all we've done is make sure Teo makes it further in the session by throwing with Kevin Magnuson. Okay, Pacher's not hit the traffic there. Good lap, Teo. Chat, I know what I'm doing in this game. Uh, I kind of want a set of softs for the race that are fresh. I'm not sure if he's actually going to go much quicker than that, to be honest with you guys. But you can have a go. I think it's Kevin's fault. Kevin should have just gone quicker, chat, in Q1. I thought this track would be better for us because of our high-speed cornering. But actually, our lower overall top speed accelerations is not looking that good here. I mean, P7 would be pretty good if we could get it. He's gone green in sector one. Come on, Teo. Push my son. I didn't send him into traffic, Chaz. The traffic came out after I'd already sent him out. That isn't me sending him into traffic. Is it possible to put on hard in the intention of getting in the way of another driver's qualification? Um, you're not in real life. You can't block another driver in quali. You will get penalised with it and possibly drop down the grid. Did he go fast? He did go faster. I mean, if he stays out of Russell, that would actually be okay. Let's hope for a dream chat. Hands together. Ninth. 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 It's race day and final preparation. Right, chat prediction. Can Kevin get in the points? That has to be the prediction, right? Can Kevin redeem himself? Let's get it set up. Start prediction. Uh, can Kev get points? Can he do it? Yes or no? Predictions live chat. Could we go soft hards? Or med medium hards? Me me chat discuss medium hards. Strategy D, that's quite a high number. I'm thinking we go hard mediums on Kev and medium hards on Pusher. That way we cover our asses for a safety car in two slightly different windows. And also, the hards are a slower race tyre. Not by as much as they should be, but they are in-game. So having Kevu starting further back on those means he can try to overcut people. Whereas Teo, we're going to ask to get punchy and try and make some moves on the mediums early on. Our high-speed cornering in traffic is good. Um, I did save softs, but I don't think the softs are the way to go. I kind of saved softs thinking we'd be in a better spot than we are. Strategy D. We really are becoming Ferrari in this house. Uh, chat, there's 500,000 channel points on the line already. Get some more in there. Last race, we had two red flags. It can't happen again. I can't believe that. that I can't believe the screenshot that I've posted on Twitter of Magnus and Pichier getting red flagged from 1 2. Okay. 
I believe in Kevin. I believe in Kevin. And P96, mate, thank you for some with the Prime. And also, Sable Wolf, did you redeem a hydrate that I missed? Apologies, I was probably having a breakdown at the time. That doesn't sound like me. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race... Will Kevin get points? I believe... Then we have Kevin Magnuson. My go. Come on, Kevin. Of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars Michelle is the Stig, isn't he? Is high, oh. and the drivers are ready for I this. wish there was a director cam you could use in this game, where like it just picks out the action and follows that. And it's it always sounds a bit weird for me that this start bit go. is just following your cars. All right, Teo. Teo, 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 Teo. You've lost a place already, Teo. Apparently, there's a... I think turn five here can sometimes be a bit weird on lap one. So, let, let's see if turn five has the weird thing happen. Uh, it seemed okay from we'll that angle. Five. Okay, it was fine. Oh, maybe not. This is good. Come on. <laughs> Chat, they're struggling. They're struggling. Man Minus it's 18th! Norris is on the hards. They might be going along too. Right, chat. He is, he, he is hard throwing for chat. Kevin, chat has believed in you. Chat has backed you, Kevin. You've got to do something for them. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. No, don't. Do better. Oh, Pache got Russell, though. Now, just focus on the hat. <sighs> Look at him. Round the outside. Round the outside. Come on, Teo. Bottas next up the road. I'm hoping that our car's high-speed cornering is going to help in the racing. Setting us up for overtakes. Kev, lots of people have backed you here, mate. You owe it to them, I feel like. Oh, my word. Bottas took a weird line there. It's like he wanted us to go by. Cheers, Valtteri. Can we get him? Can we get him? Can we... We're going to try. Round the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside we go. Now we've got the inside line. Teo. Teo. Squeeze, Teo. Squeeze. Squeeze like you're doing a big poo. There we go. Great Good move. Job. P7. What an image. I really know how to get the most out of my drivers with my motivational words, chat. We're doing great. Everything's fine. There's no DRS and Mick Schumacher is holding everyone up. Mick! Energy if you need it. Go with that. I can't get by. Mick Schumacher is ruining it. If you get one to, I'll buy you a large kebab and a drink. It's not happening. Could it be any race today? I don't want to seem negative. I just I don't think it's viable here unless we can really make the one stop work. Kev was really good yesterday, weren't he? Remember that? That was good. DRS enabled. He had one race, one race in a terrible season. Look, less hate. Are you ready to watch Kevin Magnuson do a mega move here, chat? Are you ready for this? This corner here, he's going to get all three of these cars. Yeah, to be fair, he did also go off in Barcelona, didn't he? Well, he didn't even win Barcelona. Kevin, push. Push. Mick's going to hold them up and you're going to just slingshot around the outside. Oh, my word. We're going motor racing. Outside line here is not bad. Carry pace out into this next section. Ricardo's doing a dance. Oh, no, chat. Chat, just don't go up the inside here. You'll get turned into, and then you're both going to crash out. Pass with an overtake. 
We love Kevin Magnussen, really. It's a love-hate relationship. If I sack him midway through the season, he won't be on the grid. If I sack him at the end, someone might pick him up. Oh, Kevin. And Mick's doing us a favour. Mick Schumer. Mick, thank you, mate. Chat, round of applause for Mick there. He blocked in Norris and we managed to make the move on both of them. Let's try and clear Mick now while Mick holds them up. Bottas is more than a second behind us. This is good. This is okay. Magnuson saluting Mick as he went past. <laughs> Imagine if I had a more consistent driver chat. It would probably actually be quite good. Oh, my Mick is still holding up Lando. Love you, Mick. I think Lando might be one stopping. Yeah, take it easy. Copy. Sonoda might be two. I'm very interested to see when the guys in the mediums pit. They pit before lap 20, they are two stopping. They've not pitted by lap 20, they're all one stopping. One stop seemed optimal, but I've taken a bit of a gamble. Sorry, two stops seemed optimal, one stop was a bit of a gamble, but I think it could work. But Cher's having a sniff around here, he's thinking. I don't really hate just being stuck behind Perez and Gasly. When we harvest our battery, if we clear them, great. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. Oh, we've got DRS off Albon as well here. There's a yellow in sector two. Oh, Danny Rick spun chat. Magnussen fastest lap. Sounds like a spin. How's the championship going? I don't want to talk about it. I think are we four, we're fourth in the constructors, but the board want third. And not scoring points last race was an issue. I don't mind harvesting behind this Alpha Tari for a little bit. This is a, this is an okay start after a terrible start. Did you get the upgrade that gives you more engineers? I don't think I did yet. Oh, wait, wait, did I? No, I don't think I did. But at the moment, like, we've not really a position to use it anyway. That's the kind of thing that I might get towards the end of the year. I kind of just want to save money for a little bit so I know I have money for drivers. The race leaders are fighting wheel to wheel up here. In fact, Leclerc just pulled away because of their squabbling. Okay. She has a nicely charged battery. Should we attempt to just push here? Should we have a go? Trying to clear these two guys? In fact, wait a little bit. Wait until this, this section here. What drivers do I want? I'm not sure, really. I think Lando out, would be quite out. fun. He would have said, like, Gasly or Ocon. But... I'm kind of thinking that I will sign Gasly for Alpine in my YouTube Let's Play and try and make a French team with Ocon. So I don't really want to sign either of those two. And I don't really want to have Ocon here because I've already got him at Alpine. You know? It's nice to have a bit of variety. What's my plan if I get sacked? Uh, no idea. We won't get sacked. It's going to be fine. Might have a chance here for the overtake. The tricky thing is that Perez has DRS too. Rocher's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's thought about it. He's still thinking about it. Bloody Alteo. The TV is also available. True. 
Oh, they fucked up each other's lines there. There might be a chance here, Teo. Or, or there might not be. You know, if you don't want to go for it, that's also fair. Use overtake button. Right, Kevin, are you ready for a bit of a push? No saving required. Go for that. Could get in Hulkenberg. It's true. The cars do some weird wobbly stuff on my word. Ghastly just brake checked us. That's not legal. I can't believe I defended Kevin the off-season. I can't believe I didn't replace him. To be fair, we didn't really have the money to replace him anyway. New race position for Haas. I think Helga's quite good in the game. I can't really just get in Wonder Kid's eyes up because we're not performing well. Right, Bashir, you've got a lap to hammer home and try and catch the guys three seconds up the road. Good job. He said it's a fifth. He's done pretty well. Pass with an overtake there. Magnussen's got a Good six job. second gap to Vettel. Bashir just set the fastest lap there. Pass with an overtake. We're doing good. Uh, no, I'm not thinking. I don't know why I'd replace. Why would I replace Teo Titchith? But uh, you got to remember, Teo's the youngest driver on the grid chat. Like he's only going to get better with time. When his first race this year, and he's not crashed this year yet. I don't want to jinx it. Last year he was not very consistent, but this year he's been a lot, lot better for us. Uh, not able to break the DRS on Perez. When's Fuel in back? I don't know. Light term, I'm afraid to say. I'll probably do a fuel near stream at some point next week. Might be helping Perez catch up this lot looking at it. I did not mean to leave Kevin in deploy for that long. We can push more. Copy. Perez wants to go in front of us here. Be kind of nice. Sergio? Uh, je le peux overtake moi, s'il vous plaît. Merci, merci, merci. Mena, Ale, Kitos, Huva. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, Teo, 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 Teo. Just harvest the battery. Just chill your beans. Save fuel and follow that. I think we'll see what drivers are available near the end. When's the Pentagon? No idea. Probably at some point on FM23. I'm having too much fun playing this game chat to play Football Manager at the moment. It's a bit of a problem. I mean, it's a problem in the sense that my job is playing Football Manager. It's not a problem in the sense of there's lots of you watching this. And I, I think you guys get the second-hand enjoyment that I'm getting from playing this. Uh, you know what? Ghastly overtaking us there really isn't the worst thing in the world right now. There's still a lot to play for. My question is, are all these guys going to try the one-stop? Or are they two-stopping? That's a position gained for Alpha Tower. Like I said earlier, if these guys all what if these guys all stop before lap 20, we're in a really great spot here with Pichere. Sure, just isn't good enough yet for any for me. Anyone under 84 doesn't get in the car. I mean, here's the issue: Magnuson's not even 84 rated. I'm Hass. We don't have a load of money to spend, sadly. Wait, Albon got pa back past us. When did this happen? When did this happen? I wasn't paying attention, apparently. Doing a good job. Keep pushing. What ratings, Alba? I think 81 or 82. Uh, do I think we'll ever get graphics like these where you can have a first-person view of a player? Nah. I don't know why you'd want a first-person view of a player 
in FM. But there's loads of licensing issues with football management, which mean they can't show players super close. And also, it's way easier to make graphics for a game like this. Like, humans are infinitely more difficult to animate fluidly in a sandbox environment like Football Manager compared to a car. But my face kind of covers it, but if you just look at the human animations in the car, they're not that great. Hey, the average Ted C. Dude, thank you so much for the 27 months. I appreciate it, mate. I need Pashare to get back in DRS on these guys. Even if it kills our battery to do it. Mod push, mod push. I'm kind of tempted to just get a tow off Albon here, but my concern is that if no one on these mediums pits, then we're playing for absolutely nothing with Magnussen. Besides that, there is just one big train behind Perez. I did not mean to hit that. I mean, we're, we're part of the train too. At this point. Shot shot, shot shot. We've broken DRS to Bottas if we stay this close, but with these guys breaking, it's all just going to concertina. Uh, late arrival today. Results so far. I don't want to talk about them. We didn't get any points in Canada. There was two red flags. The race ended because we went over the time allowed. And Magnussen might have been one of the red flagged cars. Why is Teo's fuel low? Because I've just been pushing him hard. Uh, we're one-stopping here. Uh, what am I reading? Oh, Pacher's just gone fastest. Pacher can go fast when we ask him to. He was harvesting that lap as well. Yeah, last race, we don't talk about last race. I'm still fragile. The shares look good. I see. Let's have a look. Now just focus on the hat. Get me a kebab. Get me a fucking kebab. Get me a kebab. Deliveroo. 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 Chat, what am I getting from Deliveroo? I'm ordering food. I need to stress eat. I need to stress eat. What am I getting? Nando's. KFC? KFC sounds good. Is he back on track? He's in 12th. Oh, for... We were running... We were running in sick. What's up, Chat, I don't want to watch the game anymore. I don't want to watch the game anymore. I kind of just want KFC. Is that boring? I can get 80 pieces of popcorn chicken for a tenner. 80 pieces of popcorn chicken. I'm just going to turn into a chicken. Nicely done. That's actually a bargain. That's a new race position for Haas. Right, popcorn chicken. Oh, I need to up the order. Hmm. Wicked Zinger meal. Chat fort Zinger meal. I don't know what I want. Maybe I want something else. Maybe I don't want KFC. What will happen sooner? My cars need to pit or I decide what food I want. 
What about two sets of 80 popcorn chicken? You could be on to something, chat. Oh, an hour bond's <sighs> Chat, I'm very fragile. Stay cool, man. You're doing a good job. I'm very fragile. Alpha Tower regained a place. The only silver lining is that they are all bunched up. We want to lap pit, pit lap 24 with Pusher. So we can get a bit more aggressive. Oh, chat. Chat, I feel so sad. All right, K-Mag, you've cleared Albon. Now push. If we can get our drivers together, we can maybe use them. Also, all the guys who I said, I need them to pit if they're not one-stopping. I need them to pit in the next five laps or we're in trouble. Do you reckon when things go wrong at Ferrari, Bonotto logs on to Deliveroo and goes, can I get KFC delivered to the pit wall? He definitely does that. New fastest lap for Kevin Magnussen. My goat. We might actually catch this train. Magnuson's lapping now almost two seconds faster than Vettel. That's the real reason he left the pit wall a couple of races back. Chat, you could be on to something. You are killing it tonight. Spat out my nose twice. Is that? I'm going to add that to my review section on my website. Great streamer made me spit out my nose twice. I'll go for that. You know what? That'll do me as a review. That might be the nicest review someone's ever given of my stream. We are just kind of vibing now in our own race. Uh, I just feel like maybe a hunt. Oh, they, they pitted. They pitted. They are two stopping. There's no way they're going onto hards here and running to the end. Leclerc's behind us. What's Leclerc gone on to? Leclerc has gone on to the hards. The, if they actually make these hards last, it'll be the most mental thing I've ever seen. My data says it's not possible. If Leclerc wants to go past Pacher here, we could then just use him to give us a tow for a bit. Um... Chat, if I get KFC, I just get a boneless bucket. That is too much for one person, isn't it? That's like the family meal. Dipping bonus feast is 1,850 calories. If I eat it, then I can go on the exercise bike for a race later and burn it off. How sad am I? I'm quite sad at the moment. You can get a bucket for one. Yeah, but I don't want a bucket for one. Do I look like the kind of person who eats for one? It's okay, chat. It's only 1,800 calories. Although that's just the chicken. You still have to add all the sides. Bonus bucket is great the next day. True. True. True to be fair. Chat, if I order it, it's basically like six days worth of meals if I ration it. As if you can do anything after eating a bucket. I'll tell you what, chat, I'm going to order this, and then just to spite Tobias, I'm going to get on my exercise by con stream and pedal whilst we play later. Right, large beans. Two large beans. And then regular fries. Actually, I don't want two large beans. I want... They've not got any corn on the cob in stock. There's no corn on the cob. What's the point then? All right, two regular... Fr you know what? Instead of fries, actually fries are better to eat on stream. Oh, Leclerc's got past us, right. You'd have to, we'd have to panic about it. 
We, we can chill here. If we can make these mediums last, I will run long on these behind Leclerc. Just DRS train him. Um, right. Pepsi Max. I'm so upset. D don't double the fries, chat. What should I have instead of the fries, though? There's not got any corn on the cob. It's either southern fried rice or mashed potatoes. They're the options. None of them are great, to be honest. I'll level with you. The rice isn't actually good to eat on stream. I don't like mashed potatoes. Is this a controversial take, chat? I don't like mashed potatoes. Skin on potatoes is the best bit. Why would you want to get rid of the skin off potatoes? Like, if I'm going to have potatoes, why mash it? Why not have a baked potato or a jacket potato or a roast potato? Like, you just... The skin on a potato is the best bit. Why would you remove that? I'd like my sub refunded. You sociopath. You've only just realised. Chat, mashed potato. It's like the people who have mushy peas instead of regular peas. Are you a child? Do you need your food mushed up like you're a two-year-old without teeth? I'm very passionate on this topic. Can you tell? Can you tell, chat? I'm very passionate on my topic of mashed food products. Chat, you, you have made me reconsider the chips, though. Oh, my God. I nearly added the popcorn bucket still on. Right. Dipping boneless feast, eight pieces. I'll have large beans. I could have salad. <laughs> Not having salad. Um, double beans. You know what, chat? You've made me feel gu guilty. I'm going to have some southern fried rice. And no, not having mash. Yeah, no, I'll have some. I'll have some. Fri I will have some fries. Right, I should order this, or it won't be here before the race is over. Um, I have to add five more pounds for free delivery. No, thank you. Although, is there anything good here? Not really. No. No, there's no. Although, I could try the vegan burger. Vegan burger review on stream? Is it worth... Okay, chat. Serious situa discussion here. In this situation, the, the, you're being told you need £5 for delivery. Do you just accept the fact you're going to pay £3 for delivery? Or do you just put in a couple of drinks just to pop up the price to hit the threshold, knowing you can have the drinks whenever? Dr do people have the drinks? I think maybe the drinks is the play just stock up on drinks, right? Just hit the minimum order. The issue is Pepsi only, uh, KFC only sell Pepsi. So I'm going to be getting two extra bottles of Pepsi that I don't really like. Coke Zero is better than Pepsi Max. I'll just get, I'll just get. Are there are other sides I could get instead. Uh, you know what? We get loads of sides of the thing. I'll just get, I'll just get bottles of Pepsi. All right, I've hit the delivery limit, chat. We're good. Magnuson's in the points! Right, can we just trail Verstappen now forever? If we can just get a toe off Verstappen, this would actually be really good. Well, this is the equivalent to me turning up at the Tour de France and then trailing them, you know, just using their slipstream to go fast, even though I'm not fast myself. That is us in this race. Uh, da, 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 order, Keep place so order. So if KFC's closed in the time I've been up in an iron, I think KFC closed at nine. Yeah, chat. Take it easy. I've got one minute. We're not pitting this lap. My KFC's not here yet. Okay, chat. I need to open the door behind me so I can hear when the delivery arrives. Everyone's pitting, but I think they're pitting now. 
to uh, to one stop. Unless they put on softs. Now, they're going hard to the end. The KFC's on order, chat. I may manage to get it in time by a second. Well, a minute. But a second sounds more dramatic, doesn't it? Right, I can now track it on my phone. Chat, they better accept my order or I'm kicking off. I actually don't know if they close at nine, I should say. They've got my order, chat. It was accepted. We're good. Hamilton's pitting from the lead on mediums. They're just going to go hard to the end. Everyone's one-stopping. So I think our best bet with Pichero is just to follow behind Leclerc here. Ferrari, advance the race position. And then Kevin... If you just do the same. Could I go hard soft on Kevin Magnussen? Is that is that possible? Or create a strategy, B. Why not? They accepted the order, chat. They accepted the order. My, luck, my day's been saved. Right, what we really want now is a safety car. So if we could just get our sister team to not put tyres on properly. That would really help me out. A safety car here and we're in heaven. Why would a KFC when you want a kebab? I'm not a massive kebab lover. I feel like kebabs are very hit and miss. I feel like if you're on a drunken night out, kebab at the end of it, good. But a lot of the time, kebab being ordered home, it's just a bit disappointing by comparison. Chat, is that a fair take? I feel like my, my takes have been controversial today. So I'm scared to give any. Also, I once got really bad food poisoning ordering a kebab when I was in Turkey on holiday. So, that that is also, you know, maybe it makes me more tentative of kebabs. If there, look, if there was a good kebab place near me, maybe it would be fine. But I don't think such a good such an institution exists. Okay, we did just get the DRS there. All right, je le peux une safety car, s'il vous plaît. Merci. So you can push a bit more. I actually think we're in an okay spot here. So if you. Although, if I don't get DRS here, it'll be a problem. To be fair, chat, we should just be glad that I'm diversifying my diet away from yoghurt. You know, that is, the, that is the big takeaway here. What part of England am I in? I'm in West Sussex. I miss living in London, chat, where there was just good takeaway of every cuisine you could imagine. I used to live in North London, and the food was... Amazing. Uh, you have to use two different tyre shrimp, so unfortunately you can't use medium, medium. Jack, you have the offer to get a superpower. The superpower is you can jump 1% higher if you consume an entire tomato ketchup bottle. Do you take it? I'm about to make a confession here, chat. But as a child, I used to eat tomato ketchup. 
Like, I'd go into McDonald's and order chips, and then I would just fill up, you know, like the little pots you get, like the paper pots in McDonald's. I just fill them up with ketchup and just eat it. Like shots. So, yeah, I, I, think, I think I could consume a bottle of tomato ketchup to jump it 1% higher. Someone else has said, same here. So, look, I'm not, I'm not a complete freak, chat. There's dozens of us. <laughs> Magnuson was right to crash. What's wrong with me? I mean, my parents have asked the same thing. I think I was dropped to my head at birth. I think it, I think it would explain plenty, chat, to be fair. If you eat 10 bottles, you get 10%. I don't know. How is jumping 1% higher a superpower? I mean, that is actually probably the, the better question. Teo made these tyres last like an absolute unit, considering his moment that he had. Right, we're pitting this okay. lap for hards. And K-Mag just getting a lovely DRS off Hamilton and Max. Box is there, box, box. Box, 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 box. Thoughts on mustard? Hmm. I don't love mustard, if I'm honest. Like, it's not... If it's there, I might have it as an option. But it's not like a go-to for me normally. Like, it's not the kind of thing... Like, if someone served me a hot dog with a mustard in it, I'm not going to be like, I'm not touching that mustard, you know? How many calories are there in the bottom of bottle of ketchup? I'll be honest, I've never checked. Do you reckon that is on the label? How many calories there are in the entire bottle? I think our actual strategy with our drivers has probably been as good as we could hope for considering the uh, situation. Just realise, Teo's strategy does not show the heart that he's got on to. I guess it'll update in a second once he puts them on. Not sure where he's going to come out here. 112 calories per 100 grams. How many grams is a bottle of ketchup, though? Oh, Pashare might have got the buggy fastest lap chat. At Silverstone, the pit entry is so quick. That you cross the start finish line high up so you actually can set a fastest lap whilst pitting. Teo Pacher is my goat. Chat, maybe I'll have to eat a bottle of tomato ketchup on stream. <laughs> it's not something I need to say. We're not doing that. That's a silly idea and it won't happen. Chris Miles. I think Chris wants the, the bottle of catch up consume mate thank you very much for subbing with the tier one welcome aboard the question is chat do i get the superpower if i eat the ketchup tell you what magnuson has made these uh, tires last so long oh yeah bashir can push Where did Pacher come out? Ninth. It's not ideal. Nine seconds behind Gasly. Although that's better than we were where we pitted. We got the we definitely gained time on Alonso and Russell there. So that's good. Although we have no battery because I left it in deploy like an idiot. Charge on, charge on. You idiot, Jack. What did I order for KFC? A bonus bucket. Yeah, the thing that's designed for whole families, chat. What push, what push. What have I actually eaten today? A yogurt. I need to sort out my eating pattern, chat. That's something I do actually need to do next week. Shut on, shut on. Streaming late nights has ruined my eating pattern as well as my sleeping pattern. To the point where I'm now eating like one or two meals a day. Well, I'm in Canada. I don't want to talk about Canada. It's 
Do you reckon softs are the play with Kevin? Or mediums, chat? He might have just lost DRS there. I don't know, I think he got it. Did he get it? No. Sad. It's still a lot to play for. Yellow flag sector two. Who had a moment? Oh, a Ferrari just Who had a moment? Yellow head. That's a spin! Oh, Ricardo again. Ricardo spun like three times today. Is this game good on PS5 or better on PC? I think the PC version is probably better. It looks like there might be the ability to, to develop mods, but obviously it comes down to personal preference. I kind of want to keep Magnuson out as long as I can here, just trailing these guys. Oh, delivery update, chat. Delivery update. The order's on its way. Bloody hell, this is exciting. Can I use a lift off a bit? I had to save battery on Pesher for a bit. Kevin, you got to stay in DRS. If you can. If you need it, cover that. He didn't get it, did he? He didn't get it. Sarge, Sarge, Sarge. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah, I'm coming. I was gone for 10 minutes. Did anything happen? I had an emotional breakdown and ordered KFC. That might have been 20 minutes ago, I'll be honest. It all kind of blurs into one. What if I pit Magnuson on the last lap? Like, so he changes tyre in the pit lane. Although, because our, our pit box is beyond the start-finish line, we probably can't do that. <coughs> do I think it's worth doing research? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, I think the research is worth doing in-game. TBH. I just realised these three cars in front of us are fighting for second, third, and fourth. I mean, we've not pitted yet, so we are just frauding our way here, but we'll act like we belong. Push, Kevin, push. They'll come to us. Did he get DRS? He didn't. Oh, Kevin. I think we've got two more laps, and then we go soft. Use energy. You got me. Uh, soft. To the end, 28 laps. Yeah, that's fine. I might delay it by a bit if we're in DRS range by the time that we get to the uh, pit entrance. Look, chat, for safety guard happens now, Kevin Magnuson. I mean, he probably comes out next to Pacher, but it could be double points. It's a bit of a big but I cannot lie. Uh, all right, where's this order? I'm not getting like a, you know, sometimes you get like the little tracky map thing. I'm not getting that. Save fuel. <laughs> we think we can lean on the tires more. Yellow flag set to three. Who's had a moment? Safety car. Safety car, safety car would be great right now. Look at that! Sonoda around fight. wide. That doesn't help me. Alright, I think we delayed pitting by one lap.
That's the play. Use this tow, charge at battery if we can. We sure should get points. Um, what's the weather saying? Clear skies, no rain. Where was Magnuson before the sp sp um stops? Are you doing all the races at times on speed or do I speed them up? I do occasionally speed them up. But I kind of just like what well, I just kind of like uh playing them at regular speed. I feel like if I speed it up, I can't chat with you guys in chat because everything happens too quick. Like, I've seen some streamers who play the game, and obviously, like, play the game how you want, to be clear, but, like, they, they, they're they playing at, like, 100 miles an hour. They don't check with chat. You can't really discuss anything. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the fact that with this game, I can just chill out and play at my own speed. Hey, and gaming, how's it going? Oh, Magnuson might not be in the DRS here. Maybe he will be. They're all fucking up each of his lines. He is. Perfect. Okay, that extra lap was definitely worth it. Come on. Coffee. Why have I sacked Mickey? Is rubbish in game. That was a mega stint by Magnuson. Still got Russell behind us, but he's not been able to make a move. Where's Kevin going to come out? Oh, it's so long at Silverstone. It's so long. I think he's going to come out near Pesher. Still want to fire K-Mag? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, he's lost us like 50 points this year on his own. He's a way back here. Now the guys that we were just on board with. But you can definitely push on these softs. Safe fuel, safe fuel. Copy. What's the gap? Five seconds? No saving required. Copy. I could get Pesher to try and back these guys up if I don't think I'm going to catch Ghastly. Let's try and get both drivers in the points chat. Right, so Bashir is going to try and hold up these guys. And we're going to hope that K-Mag can catch them. It's like a comedic sketch here, isn't it? You've got, got the guys at the front, then Magnuson just chasing behind. Tell you what, de 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 uh, Defend absolutely shreds through your battery. Wow. Also, I am waiting on a KFC order, so, you know, we can't play too quickly here. Uh, Russell is actually pretty good in-game, Asturian. But this save game, he's not been great. But his actual stats are good in-game. Okay, Mag will catch up and plow into them all. If he takes out everyone but Pusher, I'm okay with that. Gas is on 64%. Where is he going to get to the end? What was the last lap times? 1-3-1. One, one. Oh, Magnuson pitted. So we don't get a good time reading. I wasn't paying attention to the gaps. I think he has closed the gap there, right? How's the blocking going? Oh, it's beautiful. In fact, Russell lost a spot to Alonso. Wait, Leclerc's pitting. Wait. Wait. What was his where? Chat, if they two stop, there's a chance. Gasly's pin. Oh my word. Oh my god. We just have to manage tyres. We don't even have to go aggressive now. We just have to chill. We just have to chill. Don't worry about holding up the guys behind. Faster! 
Magnuson's caught them anyway. What tire are they going on to? Mediums. In case they didn't have softs to put on. Full beans, Kevin! Full beans! Oh, chat. It's coming up Millhouse. Everything is coming up Millhouse. Save fuel. Actually, we weren't quite in DRS there. We good to How do I play this uh, this there. unbalanced game, Jeff? I, I just have fun with it. I can understand why people have issues with the problems like the issues in this game. But... Uh, I find this attitude of going into Sword Stream and going, how do you have fun? Like, just a, a bizarre attitude. It's like the equivalent of me going into Sword Stream chat and being like, stop having fun. Like, <laughs> it's just so weird. Like, find, find a hobby for your Sunday evening. Hey, Ollie's. I'm having fun. <laughs> Good job. Keep pushing. I have I have fun in this broken game chat. I'll, I'll try not to have fun. Sorry, everyone. Apologies. I wish I could drop an oil stick by me, although actually probably, that probably wouldn't be a good idea right now when it's a trade of our cars. Alonso is trying to have a go on Pusher. I mean, if these two want to take each other out, that would be nice. I've just realised Magnuson's in the points chat. Hit Magnuson for double wet. It's ignored by Delta Badge. True. It doesn't seem that broken. It the the issues this game have, like for some people, they will be deal breakers. I think for a lot of people, it won't be a problem. Like bat markers get in the way, which can be annoying, especially in quality, like the blue flags. Cars don't unlap themselves under safety car or in open racing, which can be a bit annoying. Um the tire, the performance difference between tires is kind of minimal. Like the soft, the soft should probably be quicker. Schumacher replay. locked up, chat. Right, watch this. Um, the performance difference between the cars, oh, uh, between the tires, up. isn't the big enough. Like the hards take to, like warm up too quickly and they're too fast. And the car oh, degradation doesn't have enough of an effect on performance. But the game at its core, in yeah, my opinion, is fun. Cut like I can still enjoy it. Uh, I need to be a bit careful with the softs on uh, Magnuson, but we can push on them. Car's fault, Mick is impervious. Fair. Where's the KFC chat? <gasps> I've got a tracking thing. Rajesh. Rajesh, bring me my chicken. They're like 10 minutes away, chat. Maybe, maybe sooner. We've got, got to keep an ear out. When the chicken arrives, chat, you're in charge, just so you guys know. Besides his inconsistencies this season, we're actually down to the car, Mo. I have zero understanding for sacking K-Mag. He's just not very good, Silent Bop. Like, he's lost me 50 points. And he's not getting younger. I mean, he's like 30 now. He's got a year left on his current contract. I could even look to promote Sergeant if our aims are lower. Good job. Rejection for K-Mag. True. Pass with an overtake there. Where's good on Pasher's tyres? Who spun? Sector 2. 
one of the Astons. I think it was Joe. Was it Joe spun? Someone it might have been. It was Stroll. I'd like to issue a public apology to Joe. I didn't repeat Canada in the end, Rodriguez. The game is so unpolished, and Mac is shit in this game. Mac is shit. I, I don't even know what you're right in the only end. Max is shit in this game. Max, Max Verstappen's good in this game, mate. But if you're not enjoying the game, I don't know why you're watching a stream of it and whining about it. If you want to help improve the game, submit bug reports. I agree. The Max in this game are really bad. They're overpriced. OSX is absolutely awful. Chat, the K it's on its way. I'm tracking the KFC live. I know we're battling Alpine and it's very important, but so is the KFC. I'm so upset about Magnussen. Well, no, it was Pacher, wasn't it, who went off? Although Pacher's almost recovered his position, which is decent. I wonder if Pacher pushing more could help build a gap for us to get past Alonso. The issue is Alonso's currently just got DRS all the time. So no, it hasn't crashed on realistic. True. Have I got gravy? I didn't get any gravy as a side. I can't really deploy on Pashar to build the gap. Alonso's on slightly worn hard, so we're on fresh soft that will get us to the end. Is this a back marker coming up? Oh, it's Mick. It's Mick. Mick. Mick, old buddy, old pal. If you want to block Alonso here, I'll love you forever. This is good. Come on. Mick, let us buy. Thank you, Mick. <gasps> Mick, block him. Mick, block him. Mick, you were meant to block him. You were meant to bring balance. Do everything you can, mate. Copy that. And clear. Right, clear, 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 clear. <gasps> Chat, the KFC's nearly here. I have to give them a code when they Good arrive. Someone doesn't it steal my order. Is that a new race position for Everything's us? fine. All right, now we just have to work together. Oh, do I tell them to fight or not fight? We need to lift off, lift off. Mm hmm. Magnuson's quicker, but swapping them is risky. I think we let them race. We, we let them go motor racing. I wouldn't mind Kevin harvesting a little bit. Chat is in charge of racing now, true. Okay, Kevin just breezed by. Okay. Seventh and eighth would be a massive recovery here. <gasps> Chat, they're about to be here any second. You, you are now all in charge until I return. If I don't return in four minutes, I assume I was brutally murdered. Fastest lap. Chat. Take I'm gonna I'm gonna lower that so we don't run out of fuel while I'm gone. It's all on so you now, chat. Cool. Cover that.
Was that a lockup on the track? Got chicken. Chat, how are we doing? Are we okay? This is fun. Nothing has changed. Has it just been the same for this whole time? Isn't I've got I've got the KFC chat. Look at the, there he is. I should wear the KFC hat while we eat this. I really am a sellout. Teo nearly overtook K Mag. Oh, he has overtaken him, lads. What are we doing here? Why have I let them fight? We la lapped Mick. Well, that's good. No saving required. How's Magnuson's tyres? Oh, we're gravy. Oh, right, I've got, got my KFC chat. Oh, this is going to be ripped. Let me do this further away. Do I get a plate for this or do I just eat it all out of the bits? Oh, beans. Love beans. Popcorn chicken. I re just to be clear, this is not a sponsored stream. But KFC do follow me on Twitter. And, you know, if, if they want to have a mutually... Oh, my chat. Why have they... Why have I got four pots of beans? I didn't order four pots of beans. I think they've given me extras because they were closing. So they probably had food they had to get rid of. To end it, you know, like at the end of the shift, so on them throw it out, they've just doubled up on stuff. What is happening? What's, it, what's in that? We'll find out together. Oh my word. Oh my god, the bucket that they put stuff in has fallen apart. 
This is not a good view to leave it on, is it, for you guys? There you go, chat. They've hit each other! I just wanted to enjoy my KFC! Let's see what happened there. All eyes on Kevin. I just wanted to enjoy my KFC! Kevin! Kevin locked up and hit Teo! That's the contact there! Oh, there's chaos on the track! I just wanted to enjoy my KFC. We were about to get double points. I'm sacking him, chat. I, we gave him an ultimatum. I can cry into my chicken. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm glad I've got... There's no fries, unless they're in here. There is fries. Um, no, nah, it wasn't Teo. Kevin Magnuson's got the... Wait, why did Pacher get the penalty for that? Or is that because he's got damage? Oh, my God. Should we just retire him? Minor ignore. So Magnuson's fine. Magnuson could still get points. Bashir is done for. Bashir got the time penalty. Kevin Magnuson locked up into him. Kevin Magnuson locked up into him. Oh wait, no, it was Bashir. It was Bashir. No, it was Kevin's fault. It was Kevin's fault. Blame Kevin. Kevin, it was Kevin's fault. Kevin should have been racing so close. Oh my God, is it's so, his tires might not make it to the end now. Oh, are you? This is. I need. I need. I need yeah, chicken. I need chicken. Get, let me go get a spoon. I need spoons for the beans, chat. For the beans. Kevin Mag... What if I don't pit them? He's got major damage, but he's actually going quite quick. Thing is, he's got a time penalty... Never mind, he has to pit. I'm retiring. Retire the car. Retire the car. I think we could have K-Mag hold up, but it's not going to work. He's got a five-second time penalty as well. Adam, thank you for gifting a sub to not sponsored. I'm going to eat my beans. Magnuson! Chat, Magnuson could still get the Believers points for scoring points. Kevin Magnuson's in the points, chat. I mean, to be fair, if Magnuson finishes ninth, Teo has only cost us one point. Magnuson has cost us 45. Everything's fine. I've got beans. One is too many. This is all fine. Bashir's got the time penalty, not K-Mag. Oh, was I 7th? Were we 7th and 9th? I thought we were 9th and 10th. I take it all back. It's a bloody disaster. It's okay, though. I've got beans. Oh, let's, let's have some rice chat. It was definitely Magnuson's fault. I think Eric's um, thingy hit him. Who was it? Was it Ericsson hit him? I think Ericsson hit him. I just dropped the spoon. Hamilton's going to win a race. Look at that. You can tell I've got proper KFC. We've got rice. Is that Mick? Or is it Sonoda? It must be Sonoda. We've already passed Mick. Thank you for the DRS, Yuki. Don't crash. Make sure your tyres are on, mate. 
I'm so upset with Pacher. But he's, he's a young child. He'll learn. As if they crashed, by the way. As if they crashed. What happened to Sonoda today? He had an issue with his differential. His diff in his tire in his front axle was busted. How the fuck do you put a spoon of rice in your mouth? Give it three bites and swallow. I'm not really chewing it. I'm just inhaling it. Do people chew rice? Be free to go. I am selling out for KFC who aren't even paying for this stream. Imagine if they crashed chat while I was gone and I came back and they crashed. These tyres are going to be... F we might lose a pace in Gasly on these tyres. The tyres, when we had the crash, they actually got damage. At least we've got KFC, right? Would I, be ra would I rather have one car running ninth and have KFC or be seventh and eighth without KFC? I know what I'd rather have, chat. I know what I'd rather have. More beans, chat? What do I have? Oh, yum yum dominoes, chat. What I'd rather have is freshly shaven balls. Thanks to Manscaped, who are sponsoring this stream, unlike KFC. If you want to do a little bit of grooming down below, maybe you need a bit of ball toner, check out Manscaped. If you use the code work the space at checkout, you get 20% off your order and free international shipping, and you're also helping support the stream. It's great, it's amazing, it's appreciated. If you have purchased anything from my, via Manscaped, send me a photo of it. The product's not your, not your, yeah. Um, and thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring the stream. Hashtag ad. Oh, Kevin's not making it to the end on these tyres, is he? Anyway, back to KFC. Um, chips. 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 I'm fine, chat. I'm not fine. KFC chips really aren't that special, are they? It's P10 for now. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. We're going to get him, mate. We're going to get him. Typical. Come on. Copy that. Did someone get some clips of this race? I feel like this stream's been very clippable so far. So if you have been making clips, it is appreciated. Um, if you didn't know, on the second channel, Work Extra Space, I do upload stream clips. And on the main YouTube channel, I'm going to start uploading like a weekly like montage of clips, I think. Um, in terms of it'll be maybe every week, every every two weeks, just uh, like clips that happened on the Work the Space stream this week. And as part of that, if you are the person who took a clip that gets used, you will get this featured will in the last. videos. Kevin, we're going to get him. Your tyres are done, but I believe in you. We get him here, chap. We get him here. 100%, it's done. Energy if you need it. That. He is on fresh mediums, but we get him. I should have rebranded to work the race. I mean, I was thinking of leave this space, but, you know. Doing a good job. Keep pushing. Oh, got, more, got more chips. The chips aren't that good, are they? I've knocked a bag on the floor. Was it empty? It was empty. Don't worry, chat. My desk isn't really big enough for all the KFC we ordered. I say we ordered, chat. You tell me what to buy.
Hush, Kevin. Hush. Hush, you've got DRS. This is your moment. Up the inside. The bag just blown on the floor again. I forgot I've got a fan on. You can get him. You can get him, Kevin. Oh, he's gone for the fake back. Kevin, you're on softs. Kevin, hush. Hush, Kevin. Please, Kevin. Please. He's not going to do it. Well, he has got points. So let's check a flag. Well done, man. Everybody enjoyed that. Well done. Great Pick performance. Up. Great perf I didn't really enjoy that. This is good. Come on. Did anyone enjoy that? I didn't. One point at your best track. Great weekend. Agreed. We got two points. We got fastest lap as well, chat. We got fastest lap as well. I can't believe that Teo crashed into the back of him. K Mag's going, chat. I'm sacking Kevin. I've decided. I don't care that he got fastest lap and made up six places. Hamilton won the race. Well done, Lewis. Mega drive. I just feel sad. We're not catching Mercedes, are we? Oh, we got a development point on Teo. I'm fine now. I'm fine. If K Mag was faster, Pichel wouldn't have been near him to crash into him. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, God. There's lots of angry messages. Oh, regulation votes. Oh, okay. They want to vote on changes to scoring, chat. Okay. So the points. It's basically a vote for do we want double points for last race? Mods, can we get a prediction on this? Double points for last race, yes or no? Everything else would stay the same. It's just last race, double points. Makes it more dramatic at the end. Also, new viewers have not seen my popcorn chicken talents. I know what you're thinking, Jack. You're a man of many talents. What could, what could this new talent that we've not heard possibly be? You get a popcorn chicken... If, if, by the way, if I balls this up, chat, we just pretend this never happened, okay? Okay. Do it with a hat on. Should we do another? That was an awful throw. It's two for two. Should we go for another? Should we go for four? Four? Five? Five? Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. How much longer do I do this for? It doesn't normally go on this long. What's the world record for most in a row? No! I caught it though. No wastage, chat. Back to the game. Back to the game. Thank you. Thank you. Clip that for the weekly recap. I always thought if I didn't make it as a YouTuber slash streamer, I would just make it as a popcorn chicken catcher. Yes is winning in the votes for double points last race. You've got a few seconds left to get in a vote, chat. That was bloody good, wasn't it? That was bloody good catching. Yes has won. We are going to vote in favour of this regulation change to add double points for the last race. In real life, I hate it. In game, it's quite fun, isn't it? Difficult race. No, let's not talk about that. 
We're still fourth. We're still fourth. Oh god, we need to build new noses, don't we? We need to make three new noses. How many noses did we break in one weekend? Adam, thank you for gifting us up to KFC KFC Gaming. Brilliant. Next race in four days. Uh, what emergency them? Why not? Don't need to emerge. You not see them all, but we'll just do it. Our season objective is high because last year we got third. Right, chat, we've got development points to use. Let me fit the missing part because we pro probably should have a nose on our car, right? Okay, chat, where are we putting the points? This is very important right now. Where are they going? Re <laughs> Reapers, thank you for gifting us up to Pokimane. That's incredibly generous of you. I'm sure she's well happy. I think reactions, right? I think reactions. I think we aim to get everything to 70, with adaptability being the last thing we push. Maybe reactions will stop us crashing. Stefan, thank you for subbing with the Prime as well. I'm taking off this hat. I feel like a tit. Oh. Adam, thank you for gifting us up to Elon Musk. I'm sure if we all send Elon Musk my video of me catching popcorn chicken, he'll love me. Oh, dear. Right, what are we doing with Sergeant's points? That's the next question. Reapers, thank you for gifting us up to Amaranth. I'm sure she's buzzing. I'm sure she's well happy. She now has a sub for a KFC streamer. I feel like we get control, smoothness, and cordering all up to 70. I think that's the aim. The lowest rated driver is Federico Malvesti. Or Malvestiti. I've never heard of this guy. Is he in Formula 3 chat? Does anyone know? I know he was driving for Jenza Motorsport last year. Well, this well last year in game. This year in real life. Who's realistic that we can sign? I think we might have to sign Lando Norris in the off-season. Oh, yeah, we should look at staff upgrades, shouldn't we? Oh, um, high-speed downforce. We love high-speed downforce. None for everyone else, sadly. I don't have the money to sign Lando now, unfortunately. We're quite good at the Red Bull ring. Rain on quali. Rain for quali. Rain for quali. Bunker S. Both cars in Q2. Yeah. Both cars in Q3. Winnable. Doable. How good are we at this track? We should be good. We should be good. Give Latifi a run. Absolutely not. Has anyone in this game seen Latifi get dropped from Williams but then come back to F1 with a different team? Can that happen? I hope that can happen. The battle is surely going to rage this weekend. Welcome to the Green Hills of Austria. I want Latifi back. First Grand Prix in 2014, and it's been spectacular ever since. He went to Williams from Williams to Haas in my season. I'll tell you what, maybe I'm a genius manager for not letting that happen. Right. Chat. The only thing I've got left is beans and then all of the chicken. But I'm not sure if I want all of the chicken now. I might go stick that in the fridge for later. How good's Hulkenberg? I think Hulkenberg's around 78 rated. Hello and thank I've you. I've got I've got all the Do you know what I said about all the pots of Three beans they sent chat? 
and qualify This is how many I've already eaten one pot of beans. They also sent all of this. Tomorrow's race How many beans? I'm going to be like 50% beans. Whether a driver normally finds themselves as a front runner or a back marker, any advantage. Am I sponsored by KFC? No, sadly not. Four small pots equals two large pots. Ah. We got given a grid penalty for the crash last race. What? I didn't even know that was a thing. So because he hit the teammate, I get punished again. I didn't even realise that was a thing. I just want to eat my KFC and drink my Pepsi in peace. And this is giving me penalties. I'm fine. I'm not having a breakdown. Radio check. I'm not happy. Radio is good. Green light. Green light. Uh, Mazepin, I don't think, is in the game. Although I think some people found him in the game files. But I, to be honest, I'm kind of happier not having Mazepin in my game. Oh, he didn't serve his time penalty because he retired. So he never served the time penalty in the actual race. I'm an idiot. I should have left him out, chat. He got gearbox damage in the crash that I didn't realise. Hmm. We'll see where he qualifies. It might be worth just taking the penalty and going back. How come Maz isn't it? Because it only has drivers who are contracted to F1, F2 or F3 teams in the game at the moment. I'm so angry. Are these times good? What if we're actually good here? Tell you what, very, very close field. Hmm. I mean, those first laps are way better than I thought they were going to be. But I'm going to run again just to... Because I want to see what our actual time is. Chat, I've got a galaxy brain strategy. I've got a galaxy. We are going to make sure Perez doesn't make it out this session. If we send our drivers out now. I might not have done this quick enough. By the time we do our... Fl uh, I've not done it quick enough. I was thinking I could do it so we intentionally block Perez. But it's not worked. Or has it worked? They're all going to be on their flying lap now, right? So if I, ta if I take over now... I was really in the lowest. So now, Perez is on his flying lap. No, he's not on his flying lap yet. I've timed it badly. My, pl my plan was we'd block him on his lap, but it didn't work. The checkered flag is now out. It would have been genius. Did he go by? Uh, he's done quite well there. It's a disaster. It's okay, chat. I've got beans. That was so big brain, my head exploded. But at least I've got beans. What about if I just drink the pot of beans? Bean sauce is quite nice, isn't it? I got a beanie note. You know what? I'm going to use a spoon. If my mum watched this stream. What would she say? Oh, there's meant to be rain this session. It is like a shot of beans, though, isn't it? Okay. The rain's not here for this session either. If the rain's here for the next session, that could be very fun. Right, back to eating beans. Back to eating beans. I'm on my pit wall. I've got my beans. Life's good, you know? Radio check. Radio's good. 
Okay, should be green now. Good luck, lads. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you eat, the more you cheat. The more you sit on the toilet seat. I think I've ruined the lines there. Repass, thank you for gifting a sub to Eric Ten Hag Official. I'm sure Eric's delighted. I'd be buzzing if I was Ten Hag and I was gifted a sub to me. Who wouldn't be? Is Albon going to block us here on these laps? Alex, be good. Be good. I think K Mag's going to get blocked here. Actually, no, we're okay. Cheers, Alex. Oh, we get a little bit of dra a little bit of a toe as well. Monster laps. How does it feel that the best manager in the world is subbed you on Twitch? You know what? I, I don't think Clates is subbed at the moment, but I feel very honoured. I think self-confidence does help with um, some attributes in game, Josh. I think when you, I think when you've done practice, there's like a bit you can mouse over, and it shows you like the gain that you're going to get for your drivers based on their setup confidence. But I'm not sure how significant it actually is. I don't know if I go out again here. I don't think we'll do a better lap than that. Although I guess we got fresh soft, so we should just put them on and go again. Major Moosely? Moose is Moosely a food? Is it a pasta or something? Major Moosely. You can see I'm very cultured. Thank you for gifting a sub to Antoine Griezmann. And Spurrite, thank you for gifting a sub to Clayt. Oh, now the best manager is subscribed to the channel. Oh, now I'm, now I'm happy. Moosely's oats. Uh, I don't know. It sounded like some food thing that my grandma ate. Is Moosely good chat? Should we have a Moosely eating stream at some point? Is it Moosely? Music Moosely? I don't know. I don't know. Do I look like someone who knows food? Don't answer that. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, I hate our pit position so much. I sent them out so early then. Moosely. Moosely? Going back to him. Beans. Beans are better than moosely or whatever it is you guys eat. Is Pacher going to improve here? Because if he doesn't, he's probably out. Teo. He's taking a penalty. Bad gearbox. Bad gearbox cost him. Do I swap the gearbox on Pacher? He's already going to serve a free place penalty. It's probably worth it, right? Also, chat, I should apologise. It's very unprofessional of me for me just to be eating KFC on stream. I'd like to issue a public apology to Pacher because I've let him down as his manager. Uh... The beans are really good. Right, is it actually going to rain this session? Yes, I want to lap early then. I want to lap early before it rains. Get out, Kevin! If no one else Radio goes 10. out, chat, we could be on pole. Radio's good. We could be on pole. Probably not, but we can dream, right? Can the rain come? Verstappen blocked us there. It's not raining. Now it rains. It's too late now that Verstappen's done his lap. Leclerc, Bottas, Perez, Gasly are all on their flying laps. Are they struggling? Oh, they are. They are. This is good. Oh, God. Bottas still went faster than us. 
Has it stopped raining now? No, it's still raining. I think that's the I think that is quality done. Unless it dries by the end. But even if it does, I don't think it's gonna dry enough. We might have got P4 here. So why, is that, why, why did I say anything? I don't think this track dries. Do you chat? I don't think this track dry dries. Where's Bashir? I don't want to talk about it. Chat, I'm going to go clear my desk of KFC. You're all in charge. Good luck, chat. Be a, be a better manager than me, chat. Be a better manager than me. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I hit pause in the game. I thought there'd been a I thought he'd crashed while I was gone. Chat, I have still got recipe chicken in front of me. Well, I figured that no one's gonna improve their times on the inter, so I thought if we put on dries and it dries enough, we might be able to improve. Oh, they're not gaining on us with inters there. Good time. Anderslaw, thank you for gifting us up to the UK government. Wait, bot we're going to be third. We're going to be third. Here we are, folks. We're Will I ever pro promote Logan? I mean, potentially. Okay. Here's the deal. We're changing gearboxes because the, the other one is busted. Where, where are we starting from? 14th. Is it boring to just go medium hard? I think that is optimal, unless I go hard mediums. I think... Hmm. I feel like going long first in is always optimal to try and clear traffic. Hard softs. You know what, chat? You're right. Do I do hard softs with both? Or is K-Mag might get caught up? I don't really want to start softs on K-Mag because by the time you have to pit on the softs, you won't have cleared the back marker, so you'll just be pitting into traffic. So I think we go medium hards on Kevin to give him the best chance of clearing the traffic behind. Chat, what do we do a prediction on air? What do... Meanwhile, I have kept the. I did keep all the recipe chicken on my desk because I'm a degenerate. What do we do a prediction on? Both drivers making the finish. Will Kevin Magnussen make a podium? You know what? That's the kind of positivity I like. Mods, can we do that? Will Magnussen get a podium? That's definitely the play. I think I think it's doable. I'm saying all of this, but I don't know if Spur Right is here. Spur Right, are we here? Or James? Oh, one of them's here. Spur Right's here. Thank you. You are the goat. Potentially goat mod. Unless James is here, in which case you two are both the goats or something. Chat, I've got recipe chicken. This is the this is the best bit. Hmm. Chicken's bloody good, in it? Hey, Noah, um, our drivers crashed into each other. But we did get two points despite it. And in Canada, there were two red flags. Kevin was one of the causes of a red flag. And um, it wasn't great in Canada. Was that quite... Uh, so when I bit into that chicken there, I realised it was quite loud. Uh, Kane Wags parts are okay. 
I got. I just got the regular. I got like, the bonus bucket at KFC. So it's just like it's the spice chicken. It's very good. Right, chat predi prediction. Nearly has five thousand channel. Five thousand? No, five hundred thousand channel points on the line. Let's get that to seven hundred thousand. If you're one of the people who's been winning all the safety car predictions, you got a few hundred thousand in your back pocket. Get on the line. Go on, pr prove that you've got some gonads. Has anyone got gonads? There are gonads out. I'll tell you what, the gonads are out. We've, we have hit 700,000 channel points on the prediction. Oh my word. We've hit 900,000. I think I saw there 940, was it 940, 920,000? The gonads have been shown. I'll take it all back, chat. People went big there at the end. Also, DRWW redeemed a hydrate. You know what? I was, I was about to have some of the Pepsi, but we'll do water. Okay, okay. Start race. Come on, lads. It's a bit of a cloudy day for the race, but the atmosphere, as ever... 889,000 channel points. Okay, it wasn't quite a mil. Let's Maybe a next time. Starting in third place. There we are. Third, third place. Good position third. Third. Pissing third. There's the other hat. There's the other hat. Teo, sad. to work hard if they want a podium finish. I won't run out of fuel, chat. We won't, that, that could never happen. It's the race we've all been waiting for. It's the Austrian Grand Prix. Wait, there's an Alfa on pole. Or set on the front row. Oh, Bottas has had a stormer there, hasn't he? Right. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. For me, Kevin. The Alphas on hearts. Interesting. We have P15 at the moment. Did Pichel lose a point now? Oh my god, they're going so McLaren slow through this corner. Get him back, Teo. Get him back! Don't let Danny Rick overtake you and bully you. Very good. Just because he's Australian and beat up a kangaroo once doesn't mean that you have to be scared of him. He got him back. Oh, my word. K-Mag. We've got to chase Hamilton. Hamilton won the last race. Lots of people are going to go long around per share. Oh, the camera. The camera. Thank you. Oh, my Oh my God. There's two of me. Hello, everyone. Pass with an overtake there. Magnussen's got Bottas. Ke Kevin, have a go. Have a go. We don't need DRS where we're going. We don't need DRS where we're going. Push, Kevin. Push. You gotta get angry. You gotta get mean. Yes, Kev. You got the right. You got the drive. He's in first. He's in first. You're in a good place. We're bloody massive. Actually, we kind of want to deploy here to try and clear Hamilton before for DRS is active next lap. There's a safety car. There's a fucking safety car. Is Teo out? We can take what happened? Now just focus on the hats. And there's the collision. I think Norris what hit us. Carnage. I think Norris hit us. <laughs> Norris hit us. Norris hit us. Look. Oh my god. Yeah, Teo is making it very difficult. It was K Mag's fault. Um, could I go hard to the end from here? Probably not. Medium soft. Medium soft isn't going to work. I've got to go into the hards. Wait, we started on hards. So that doesn't even work. Ah. Uh, I think we go soft, and then we make a call on if we go what soft hard or soft mediums. Safety car. Uh, uh. 
I'll be honest, it's not ideal, is it? There's contact! It's chaos on the track! Could I, I can't go double mediums. I've only got one set of mediums. But share has got a five-second time penalty. I'll just feel sad. Norris has retired. The nose will get changed. Oh, I'm so angry, chat. Has everything gone wrong that could go wrong today? If I could demote, de if I could demote Teo to reserve and bring in Norris in the summer, would I do it? To be fair, valid. The KFC could not have arrived. We were running a one-two in Canada chat. Oh, we served our time. Pe Wait, is that? Are we allowed to serve our time penalty like this? I feel like you're not allowed to serve a time penalty for a set for under, under safety car. Or is that actually a thing in real life? Okay, there's no we've we've served our penalty chat. I mean our penalty's done. That's good. Please don't pull in the safety car this lap. Okay, Pusher should catch the pack. I think I've got to push him or he might not get to them. Push, Tao, push! Safety car in this lap. Safety car in. Okay, chat. It's big here. Do we just try and... Do we deploy here on Kevin? Does Kevin deploy, do we think? We, I feel like we just have to try and break DRS. Okay. Start to push more in the high speed if you can. It's fine. Everything's fine. I feel like you can't serve a drive through under the safety car in real life. Like we did just there with Pusher. Off. Either way, either way, Bashir served this penalty. It's a fresh race. Can he get Mick into turn one? This is what we really care about, isn't it? Let's be honest. Can he get Mick done? Just remember, Bashir replaced Mick. I oh, sorry, it wasn't a drive through, it was a stop go. Time penalty. Well, I guess it's just a regular time penalty. Oh, Teo's got him. Pathetic. That's why I got rid of him. Yeah, I did it on Pearl because I wanted to overtake Mick. I mean, bizarrely, we've only lost four positions for all of that. Pass with an overtake. Turns out you can. That is mental. That can't be. That can't just be me who thinks that's a mental rule that you can. Your time penalty for causing a crash. You are allowed to serve under a safety car that you caused. Teo has got minor chassis damage and engine damage off the hit. That was not like that before. But he might have all that damage. He's still faster than a Williams. We probably have to think about Pusher's next strategy, don't we? I think it's going to be soft mediums. We have got a set of hards that we could use. Soft mediums to the end. Kevin broke DRS. He's two seconds ahead. And we just got neutral now. Everything's fine. Back to back to my KFC. Push a bit more. Got it. Is it yellow in sector two? What happened? Oh, Perez is out. Let's have a look. We're just watching the what happened to Perez? And 
This, yes, bit this orcs. is where they spun out. Bit, bit orcs, that, isn't it? And the team had such high hopes today. What Just tuned shame. in, brought the game today, and Mick and um, Mick took Danny Rick out first race. And you're McLaren manager. That is annoying. Oh, it can only get better now, right? It can only get better now. I mean, two and a half seconds ahead. Magnussen should win the race. DRS enabled. Watching you eat KFC wants me to have KFC. I need to get a KFC sponsorship. Kevin Mag... Uh, Kevin Magson. No, KFC, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to DM them a clip of me in KFC as my drivers crash. Hamilton lost two positions. Why would you, they pay you? They, they, you advertise to them for free, but you give us a discount code. Or oh, something, I don't know how it works. Is that a new race oh, Pacher's got stroll. Let's take a closer look. Now just focus on the hat. That's not a spot where you normally overtake. We love that. Uh, K Mag's battery's fine. Running in neutral, it hits 0% at a point where it gets reset. We're not losing any battery by having them in neutral here. Anytime we are losing is marginal. If, we, if I go on harvest, they just catch us. Which I, I whereabouts did actually whereabouts did Bashir overtake Chad? Because I thought he overtook on this straight here rather than up here. Might be mistaken. Bottas and signs are catching. Sad. No saving required. Chat, there is a poll going. What lap does K Mag lock up? 15% of you say he doesn't. Lots of people think between laps 21 and 40. And a lot of people want it to be in the last 10 laps. You guys just want to watch the world burn. No overtake. If we could you get into move. DRS range here on this corner, it'd be nice. So then I can start harvesting. Oh, I know the turn three to four straight is normal. I thought Pachero overtook on the uh, sector three bit. Hey, Zimoni, I'll be honest, season one, uh, season two going awful compared to season one. And I know what you sat there thinking, you sat there thinking, Chuck, Magluson's first, what's, what's happening? I don't want to talk about it. Believe me when I say it's not been going well. <laughs> uh, 1T Savvy. Mate, thank you so much for some of the tier one. Welcome aboard. Push, Teo, push. What are the regulation changes for this season? They changed how high-speed cornering worked. It was like a 30% reduction to high-speed cornering. 20% for medium speed and 10% for low speed. And our car last year's main strength was its high-speed cornering. So it was a pretty nasty thing. Oh my god, Signs has already got us. That DRS is strong. Wait and hope. Thank you for resubbing. Came for the Fram hate. Stay for Mick realising his potential. What if Mick is the real protagonist? Uh, protagonist. Protagonist. Words are hard. Uh, what's next seasons? I can't remember. I think it was to do with cooling. It 
It's okay, Chuck. KFC chickens cheer me up. Um, we didn't get the voting results for double points, did we, yet? We didn't actually get the voting yet through for if the double points of the last race will go through or not. Chat, I'm going to go put this all in the fridge for later so I can have KFC for breakfast. I really am living my best life. Good job. Pass with an overtake there. Oh, my word. Bottas has just done everyone. Typical. Typical. Agreed, Kevin. Agreed. Still a lot to play for, though, Kevin. Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. Bottas is trying to build a gap here while we're harvesting. I don't think he's going to manage it. Okay, bashir has got DRS. Charge on, charge on. Everything's fine, chat. Everything's fine. After watching too much ice, uh, eye racing, I always panic when you go up and leave. I, I, to be honest, I feel like I'm leaving. Like, it's like I'm leaving the oven on. When not when I <laughs> or the washing machine on, and going out when I when I leave the PC, anything could happen. I tell you what, Hamilton is holding up everyone here. Oh, Marwa, Kevin. Kevin, can we stop this senseless speed? Did someone just crash behind? I thought I heard the sound of tyres screeching, but I guess not. Right, let's see if we can keep this going. Oh, Pasher is the goat chat. Pasher is the goat. What's wrong with leaving the washing machine on? If the washing if you leave your washing machine on when you go out, um, I mean it's the it's the electronic device in households that starts the most house fires. Because a water and electricity. If something goes wrong with a washing machine and you're not around, it's not good. You absolute twat, Guang Yuzhou! You absolute twat! Oh my god! Teo's been he's, he's out! He's out! Oh, that's a crash. What just targets. happened? Let's see what happened there. What just happened? My reaction there was like I'd actually just been in a car crash, I realize. My actual reaction there was like that of someone who'd been in an actual car crash. Could I pit for hards to the end here? Hmm. Is it worth it? It might be worth it for the free stop and we'd come out in... F uh. I think I take the free pit stop. I think I do. We'll probably come out. Also, I'm not sure if these actually have an impact when the safety car's active if you're at the front. I feel like they do. We can push again. Ah. Oh. Chap, I feel like my reaction there was like I'd just been in the car crash where I called Guang Yuzhou a twat repeat. Wait. I, did, I forgot to hit the pit button. We're staying on the old strategy. No one else pitted, so it's fine. No, no one else pitted, chat, so it's fine. I changed the strategy but didn't hit the pit button.
The fact no one else pitted, though, means that we should be able to go way longer on these mediums with the safety cars. Here we are. Head's gone, chat. My head's gone. I can't pit next lap because now all the pack's closer together. Oh, that is so... That crash was so bad. Does anyone feel bad for Pacher there? Like, I know he ruined Norris's race previously. It was the fact he rejoined the track unsafely. Like, that for me is a worse crash. Like, the Norris one is a... He's, he's gone deep into a corner and punted him. Like, it's, you know, racing instant. Re-entering the track dangerously is like, that's, that's a worse crash. All that complaining I had about lack of safety cars this season. That's going to be another wing on as well. Yeah, you're right. It is. Okay. I think we try and drop these cars like we did under the last safety car. Safety car will be in this lap. Okay, that. Kevin. You know what to do. It's hammer time. Copy that. Energy Norris gave a big smoke when Fisher sure walked in. True. True. Did anyone else flinch a little bit with the uh, that crash? That made, me, that made me flinch a little bit when Joe came back. It was the fact that it was like a night... You know if you have a, cr cr a dream about like a car crash? And it's like a car just going through a junction, like running a red light. Like the way he came back onto the track, like you could kind of tell it was about to happen. Okay, push, 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 push. Uh, the crashes aren't that bad, Sonaldo, Sonaldo, usually in this game. The fact we've had two here, like is, a, is really unusual. I feel bad for Pacher. I feel like he got absolutely wrecked there. Through no fault of his own. Oh, he's just sat retired, chat. That's two front wings gone in one race, I realise. You know when I built all those emergency wings and I thought I'd built too many? Turns out I, turns out I built the right number. Could I take my last stint on softs? Nah. I don't think so. The only reason the mediums have lasted this long is because of two safety cars. It'll be it'll be too tight, I think. Hey, Kane's Oldman, dude. Thank you so much for 26 months. Thank you, dude. That is mad. We saw a lot of incidents here last time, didn't we? I think we've done enough right there. These tyres are really good life-wise. Uh, life Mick would have avoided the crash. Maybe he would have done. So Bottas is a little way behind her. Bottas is on hard, so he's going to go longer. He might go hard soft. Mick would have been 30 seconds back, so the crash never would have happened. True. True, actually. Oh, chat, I feel so sad. I feel like we can go a bit faster here with only one car. I've just got to keep an eye on if signs and... Bottas can tow each other into touching distance, which it looks like they're going to be able to do. They're working together. It's not fair. I think we can get a little bit aggressive on these mediums. What's it with Pacher? Pacher got hit on in this race. It wasn't Pacher's fault. 
uh, that they have caught behind. Which we kind of knew they would. Although Verstappen's now back in the play, in the fray. Flying a Theo out, <laughs> Teo out banner over the track right now. You don't have to do it, chat. You don't have to do it. Poo seems like an excellent abbreviation considering the last few races. Well, chat, you guys really have turned against Teo. It wasn't his fault he got hit by Guang Yuzhou. Also, do we have anyone like who can speak uh, like Mandarin or Cantonese here? Because I was discussing how to say Guang Yuzhou with someone recently, and I realized I'm not saying it very well there, but the sound for like Zhuo is like a really weird sound to make as an English native speaker, because it's just not a sound that we make in English language. But I feel like my pronunciation isn't too bad if it's Zhuo. Zhuo? Because it's a bit... Like, I know I used to work on Total War, and we had the Three Kingdoms games, and obviously there's Dong Zhuo. So it's like Guang Yuzhou. But I don't know how good a pronunciation that is. Is that, like, close enough? I d it isn't a Joe, though. Everyone says it's a J. It's not a J. I know that's what the English broadcasters say. But that isn't actually accurate, is my understanding. Joe, but with a tongue up. Joe. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't keep my tongue up. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to end up swallowing my own tongue. You know what? I'm not going to embarrass myself anymore on this stream. Uh, we don't want to be ahead for the DRS detection zone here. Where is the DRS detection zone here? I actually don't know. No idea. Yeah, it is your old Guan Yu as well. Good job. Keep pushing. How are you good, so good in season two? I mean, one of my drivers is out. Are we actually good? Would be my question. Joe is pronounced Pusher out. Brilliant. I'm P2 of Haas. That's true. But Alfa Romeo are P1 as Alfa Romeo. So maybe they should nerf Alfa Romeo. <laughs> well, the space, you admit that Teo is your son and you're boosting his career through nepotism. Disgusting behaviour from you. I mean, I'm just doing what happens in F1 all the time. Uh, is there any tips of being good at the game? I feel good like um, Underfloor is a, a very, very good upgrade to bring. If Bottas and Sainz want to hit, that'd be nice. Sainz is about to take the lead. I tell you what, there is not a big gap of the performance between the front five cars, is there? You've got five, five different teams running within a second of each other at the front. Ferrari, Who's just had a moment? Position. There was a yellow flag. Someone spun. Who spun? Who spun? Gas, Gasly. Now look at this. It's what happened, Teo? What a spin! I feel like we could get another safety car here. I feel like another safety car is on the menu. In this F1 manager universe, the front five teams are very close. Ah, oh, K Mag takes the lead. Look at this train, though. Everyone is trading positions. What happened to Teo? He got hit by Guan Yu Zhou. Oh, Zhou Guan Yu. Zhou Guan Yu. It's like that. Right, push Kevin. These cars are so closely matched. It's crazy. I don't know if this is the case in everyone's save games. So I was saying it last race as well. We had like seven teams in Q3 last race. They're driving closely, chat. 
Yeah, Alpine's been good in this save game as well. Like, running 8th, ninth. When you consider, like, where Gasly, Perez are, are running, considering they're teammates. They've got DRS on us here. Is, Bot is Bottas going to have a go here? Someone just locked up. Yellow flag set to free. I think it was Vettel. I think Vettel locked up first corner. Seems to have been a lock up. It says turn 10. It wasn't turn 10. It was turn 1. <laughs> Reapers. Thank you for giving this up to Mia Malkova. Brilliant. Reapers, you are far too generous. <laughs> We go on board with Hamilton, actually. Hamilton's getting dropped a little bit. I'm trying to pick the best car, car chat to actually watch all the action. I think this Verstappen's probably a good place to sit here to watch this. Oh, my word. Signs took that curb hard there. Still a lot to play for. Still a lot to play for. You've got DRS up the hill. Oh, God, there's bat markers, chat. Guang Yu Zhou is ahead. Oh, is Max really going to try this? Max? Max? Oh. Valtteri, it's James. You've, you've bottled that, haven't you, mate? Good job. Never heard of her. She's some kind of streamer. You should Google her. Great teacher, great secretary. All, all round great woman. Who ran wide? Ah! Oh, they've run wide. We can take a look now. Chat! 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 Who said between lap 20 and 40? Oh my god, Kevin! Oh, now Leclerc's gonna get us. We were on for a race win. We were on for a race win. Oh my god, there's a safety car. I've heard a crunch. I've heard a crunch. VSC. We're pitting. I heard a crunch behind us. Did anyone else hear that? We're pitting this lap under VSC. Who's that that just crashed? I just heard a crunch. Now watch this. Oh my god, that we were nearly in this. And there's the hit. And it's crystal clear who was in the wrong there. Was that obvious who was in the wrong there? I couldn't tell. All right, we pit this lap. Albon's been given the penalty. Yeah, take it easy. Oh, my word. That was really weird for our onboard. Like in the, the actual sound in this game is so good. But driving along there, I just heard the screech and then a crunch. I, I guess if you're watching with headphones, you could probably hear it. Is everyone going to pit now? Yeah. Mm. Now, Bottas hasn't. Bottas might be a bit... I imagine it's a VSC, so it's not... Right, chat, we really need a good pit, pit stop here. We really need a good pit stop. Please don't get held in position. Right, come on, team. Who did we have to let out there? Oh, we had to let out the Ferrari. Mercedes double stacked. They're right behind us. Leclerc stopped. Wasn't a good pit. We got held. We can 
push more. These heart was that were we gonna pit then anyway? Go, go, go. I think we were gonna pit then anyway. That actually came at a good time for us. Virtual safety car ending. The only issue is we've not got DRS to sign. Oh my god. Our drivers, chat. Our drivers. I mean, you could argue I'm the man who hires the driver, so is it on me? Verstappen's in a great spot now. Vettel's a little bit of a cork in the bottle for us, which is nice if you can hold up Russell. I mean, we're still running, what, P4 here? Because Bottas is going to have to pit. Uh, what do I think of the F2 slash F1? I talked about it a little bit already. Hi, Rob. I thought the races were pretty interesting. Zanvo is not usually the best circuit. Obviously, F2 is just a load of safety cars. Um, didn't enjoy watching the safety car restart with the three cars having to... Or oh, two cars having to retire off it. But in general, I thought the racing was pretty good for Zanvo, at least this weekend. Um, race is made interesting by the strategies. I think I'm going to have to sack K-Mag. Like, Bashir, we can give the benefit of the doubt to, chap, because he's 19. But Magnussen has cost us a lot of points. Drugo's going to win the title. Needs to be in F1. There's been lots of people who have won F2 and then not made it in F1 or not had a great career in F1. It was his third year in F2 as well. Uh, I think he might end up being a reserve driver for a team. But I don't think it's the... Of all the F2 winners I've seen, I feel like he's not someone who's super stood out. I feel like he's capitalised on a year actually where a lot of drivers have lacked consistency and made lots of mistakes. I came back, Magnussen was first, he went wide. I'm fine. We've got Stroll holding us up here. If there was no safety car, Lewis would have won. But there, there was a safety car. There would have been a safety car anyway, because Bottas's engine still would have gone boom. And when you run a one-stop strategy, you know that you're susceptible to a safety car. I'm not sure this whole argument of Hamilton got fucked by the safety car. It's like that is the risk that you take with that strategy. Yeah, Drugger might end up going to Alpha Tauri. Like, they've pretty much confirmed, right, that they want Colton Herter now. Like, if he gets the... If they can get the exemption on the super license. Oh, we really have to get the Aston here. Yeah, we pitted under VSC. The interesting thing about the Russell Pitt situation is, chat, I don't think they would have done that with uh, Valtteri Bottas. Someone just run wide again in Sector 3. Who's had a moment now? Every There's so many incidents at this track. They've gone wide. Bottas. To How wide did he go? Now we see Valtteri Bottas. Oh, wow. He went, he went really wide. That's going to lose him time. Come on. Uh, Chris Medlin's pretty good, usually high, Rob, for breaking news on Twitter when it comes to driver moves and stuff. I was surprised that they let Russell make that call on the softs. Like I said, I don't think that would have happened last year. And with Valtteri in the team. But I think there's a bit of a changing of the guard going on at Merck. I guess the other thing is it's a bit of a difference make when your driver's not like driving for the championship, right? You don't have to prioritise one over the other in the same way. I 
Put it on driver talent. Who do people see as the best in F2? Drogovic should look really good. Like, Drogovic looks like he could be a bit of a late bloomer. Like, he's not part of any junior driver program. Oh, my God. There is a bat... Guang Yu Zhou. Guang Yu fucking Zhou. It's weird, though. This year in F2, there's not been any super standout drivers. Like, a lot of the Red Bull Academy drop. I think it's quite telling that Red Bull are going for Herta instead of one of their academy drivers, because their academy drivers just haven't done well in F2. Uh, only Sainz, Hamilton, and Verstappen ahead of us have pitted. So we are actually in quite a good spot, but I need to clear this Aston. Which we've done finally. Thank you. Reapers, thank you for gifting us up to Johnny Sins. Reapers, you really are just gifting subs out to people who are going to truly appreciate them. <laughs> Is Perez gone next year? No. No, sorry. Uh, Colton Hurt is going to go and drive for Alf uh, Tauri. With Gasly moving on to Alpine. That seems to be the consensus. Sorry, I realise I probably explained that badly there. That's a new fastest lap, K-Mag. You don't rate Hauger. I don't think Hauger's bad. I don't think he's standout. Like, there's lots of drivers in F2 this year. I think I've looked good on, like, in glimpses. But I think it's quite telling... The gap between Drogovic, uh, like Pacher, and Sargent, and Duan. Hey, Lou Reed, dude, thank you so much for the recent with the tier one. I appreciate it. There's been lots of drivers who have looked very good in F2 and then struggled when they come to F1. Like, it's only really the, the drivers who look stand out in F2. You really make it in F1 a lot of the time. I'm actually really... I've been pleasantly surprised with Guang Yu Zhou. Because I know they announced his signing Alpha when he was like first in the championship. But he did struggle after that news broke. And like, you know, the move was secured. But he's looked, he's looked okay. I thought he might look a little bit out of his depth. Especially with Bottas as a teammate. But I actually think he's looked pretty good this year. Why do people want her to when he's in IndyCar? Indi people have this weird perception that IndyCar is like a step below F1 and only the best drivers are in F1 when that is far flung from reality. Hurt is a quick driver, but also I think an American driver on the grid from a marketing point of view is not a bad thing at all. From a commercial point of view, especially in the same way you've got like obviously Zhou from China. Um, you know, in, in a grid that has a lot of British drivers all of a sudden, I think it is good to have drivers from around the world. And having an American driver is pretty decent. Yeah, Joe's impressed me. People think that anything that's not from Europe is actual trash. Yeah, I feel like people don't get... I, I did think about watching IndyCar today. I think they're, were they racing at Portland today? I think it's like the penultimate race of the season. I, before I streamed, I was like, do I want to watch IndyCar instead? I'll probably catch the last races of the season in it. Okay, that's a big move for us. Danny Rick has held up Hamilton. Chance for us is to now try and catch signs before he clears the next bit of traffic ahead. We're now running in a net P3 in this race, which is good. What happened in the previous races today? Canada was a write-off. We were running in P1 and 2. Um, Magnussen hit the wall and red flag to the race. I got told the track was going to be dry with Pacher, so I put him on slicks, and then the track was still wet at the red flag restart. 
Then there was a second red flag with two laps to go, which meant the track, the race ran over two hours. So the race ended early on like count back rather than actual laps completed. Uh, then at Silverstone, our drivers hit each other. The chair had to, to retire. Kevin Magnussen came 10th, but did get fastest lap. And this is the third race today. It's been quite it's been quite an eventful eventful day of races, I feel like. Not being able to drop Magnuson here. And Sainz is gonna get away from Alonso unless I can close him yeah, down quickly. Oh yeah, and in this race here, Teo hit Norris to retire Norris, and then Guan Yu Zhou hit Pacher in a completely separate incident for a second safety car. To uh, <laughs> to take Pacher out. So Pacher's had two crashes in one race this race. Um, IndyCar released in the UK is on Sky Sports a lot of the time. They often have it on Sky Sports F1, but their YouTube highlights at IndyCar are pretty good. Like, even if you just want to see what Hurt is all about and kind of see a bit more of the series, maybe see a bit of Grosjean. Like, IndyCar's YouTube presence is decent. Danny Rick is going quite good at the moment. Maybe I'll just stay behind him. If Danny Rick can, has slingshotted off us to get DRS on the guys in front, that's actually good. We can, we can work with Ricardo here to close the gap on the guys in front. Maybe. This is good. Yeah, Joe, Joe, to be fair, Joe did have a stop. He, after he caused the crash of Pichet, he did have to serve, a, like, a, uh, what you call it, a, a time penalty. I assume he got five seconds for it. There was uh, nothing. Uh, there's a lot of cra crashes since the underfloor. You know what, Don? You could be on to it. Maybe our underfloor is causing crashes. Maybe it's just not a safe underfloor. Get the X Files music playing. I don't mind. Actually, I do mind Hamilton taking us. I, say, I don't mind Ricardo overtaking us. Hamilton overtaking us is bad here. We can actually stay aggressive on these tyres. There's loads of life in them because of the VSC. We were so evenly matched, weren't we, at the front with the Alfa Romeo and signs before. There's basically ourselves, Red Bull, Alfa Romeo and Ferrari and Mercedes. And the five teams are so evenly matched this season. Hey, Big Peace Maurice, how's it going? What are my predictions of the next season's driver lineup changes? Obviously, Vettel's retiring. Alonso goes to Aston. Um, Gasly takes the seat at Alpine to drive alongside Ocon. Uh, Herta will drive for Alpha Tauri and replacement for Gasly. If they can't get that, I think they'll probably go for Drugovic. I think Mick might be able to save his job at Haas in the remaining races if he can qualify as well as he did today and not have a load of pit stop errors from his own team. Uh, obviously, Piastri goes in, and I think Danny Rick's probably not got a drive this year, next year. I think that Drugovic could end up going to Alfa Tauri. I know he's not a Red Bull Junior driver, but none of the junior drivers this year have looked particularly good in F2. Are you looking at Owasa? Uh, obviously, uh, Lawson. They've not looked good enough. They've not looked to that caliber. And Drogovic would come in with a lot of Brazilian money. There's a bit of South American marketability there as far as Red Bull are concerned. As like a stopgap solution, I could see him going there as an alternative to Herta. Her I mean, Herta's not obviously a driver who's come through the Red Bull Driver Academy, at least in Europe and through the European Formula Series in the same way. Good job. See a video from today where Danny Rick is talking to Perez about taking a year off and coming back for 2024. I don't know if there'll be a drive for him on the grid in 2024. Pass with an overtake. But no, I've not seen that clip. A few of you guys are saying about it. Oh my word. Kevin Magnussen is on a stormer. 
If we could work with signs to close the gap to Verstappen, the other guys in front haven't pitted. Gasly, Perez, Bottas have all got a pit. They are all going to come out, like, bottom, bottom 10, outside the top 10. Actually, maybe not, but certainly behind Alonso, I think. Although Alonso's running 20... Alonso's at 24%. Where has Alonso had an incident, chat? Did Alonso have an incident? Oh, he did get hit during the VSC, didn't he? That tyre wears mad on him. Has he got a flat spot? Can you see a flat spot anywhere, chat? <laughs> Put it in super slow-mo. Let's have a look. I could see a world where Danny Rick ends up going to Haas. But I don't know. It's a weird one for Haas because they've got Magnussen on a long-term contract. Obviously, mixes up at the end of this year. I don't know if there's like an obvious driver for them to take on over Mick. Especially with Mick performing better than Magnussen at the moment. Oh, I'll check out the video after the stream, Wispy. I feel like there's been way more caught recently of drivers like... Oh my god, there's been another... Who's gone off there? Gasly. Gasly Let's might be out. Look at this. It's Pierre Have you noticed how if you're a spectator driver who goes off, it resets them onto the track? I don't want to ruin the illusion for people there. A lot of the time, the cars just get reset onto the track. And they use a replay to cover it up. It's kind of a smart way of doing it to minimize the amount of collisions that happen with cars rejoining. Probably ruin the game for a lot of you now. So if you see our highlight and a car comes to a complete stop, it's because they get teleported back onto the track when the replay plays. Hamilton's outside of DRS here. I wonder if ourselves and signs can work together to clear him. Sorry, Sarno. I've ruined the game for you there. Game ruined and installing. Sorry, chat. Chat, sorry. This is okay. We can just get towed along and pull away from Hamilton if we're smart. Still a lot to play for. That's it. I'm telling Reddit. Chat, don't tell Reddit. Chat, don't tell Reddit. Fuck. Don't. Whatever you do, do not go on the F1 Manager subreddit and tell them something that they haven't already realised. Santa Claus is real. I want that confirmed right now. We've just screwed ourselves up. Doing a good job. Keep pushing. I'd love it if in this game they could have a database of drivers. Like, obviously, F2 and F3 are in the game right now. But I don't know how hard they'd have to negotiate to get, like, IndyCar in. And also, given the fact they've negotiated with Formula 1 to be able to make this game. I can't see a world where F1 and FOM would be happy with drivers from other series being in. Okay. Uh, Bottas pitted. Perez still hasn't pitted? But it would it'd be sick if this game, instead of just being F1 manager, could just become the ultimate, like, motorsport manager game. Where so many different race, race classifications exist that you could manage in. It will never happen because of the licensing stuff. But it'd be so good. There's another yellow flag. Who went wide? Who was it? Mick? Albon. Uh, you can't play F2. And the, the junior... Well, the, the Formula Series, Formula 2, Formula 3 aren't simulated fully in-game. Like, the drivers exist, but it's not like you can, like, view the standings and track player, uh, drivers' development in it or anything. Wait, is that Verstappen just up the road? That's the race leader there. Perez is just pitted. Wait a second. Has Verstappen got a problem? Why was he going so slowly? Your audio is cutting, mate. I don't think it is, Grey. Chat, is the audio okay? Do I need to panic? I'm panicking, chat. It's like when people say, Mike, muted. Like, oh my gosh. What's happened? Oh, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, good, Grey. Oh, good. <laughs> Audio's fine, but panic anyway. Brilliant. You guys really know how to relax me. 
Oh, my word. We've got a three-way battle at the front. Hamilton might catch up as well. I want to harvest battery, really. Audio is fine, but the camera... Sorry. I'll fix the camera for you. Is this better? I'll fix the camera. Sorry. I know the camera was a problem before. Who's run wide now? Why is everyone running wide here? Is that better now, chat? Good. We fixed it. Who's running wide there? Oh, Bottas. Shall we watch him? Let's take a closer Valtteri. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. Clo you want me to go closer, chat? You want me to go closer? Uh, how's this? Hello, everyone. Is this okay? Probably not. Bit, that's a bit intense even for me. That might have been too much, I feel, chat. I'm probably going to be banned now. Mr. Bot Spot Shaving probably did. I actually haven't shaved in a little bit. Chat, I can't grow a beard. Someone tagged me in a post today on Twitter. It was like, tag a streamer who has a great beard and tag a streamer who should have a beard. I was tagged as should have a beard. If I grow a beard, it doesn't grow evenly. And it's like four different colours of hair. So it just looks like I've got food stuck in my beard. Like during lockdown, I experimented. During, during lockdown, I tried it out. You know, I thought it's like a good test environment when I'm not leaving the house. And it just looked like I had bolognese sauce in my beard all the time. Who was tagged in Great Beard? I think it was uh, Loki Doki. FM streamers of our beard team out of place. It's a good job I'm an F1 manager streamer then, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Pacher got taken out by Joe. Why do 90% of FM streamers support Liverpool? It's a big conspiracy. We meet in a meeting, all the FM streamers, at midnight every Sunday, at the last Sunday of every month. And we discuss how we're going to get rid of all the non-Liverpool fans and make sure they don't grow their channels. True story. Sheeny's redeemed a hydrate. Thank you, mate. I signed George Russell for McLaren in my save. It's been a disappointment. I feel like Russell and Lando is quite a fun team. Is this just going to be a three-way battle for the rest of the race? We're all kind of towing each other away from Hamilton, which is nice. I feel like someone's going to crash. I've just got this fear that Magnussen could lock up here in a lap or two and just take out everyone. This is good to come up. We got Joe coming up. Bunker S. Joe, uh, Russell has 70 defender on this game. Not very good for how expensive he is. That's one of those weird ones where I feel like he just has low defending because he's never really had to do much defending before this season. It's not like as a Williams driver, you're defending a lot. Who's locked up? One of the Astons. I think I mean, it was Stroll. He did. Oh, what happened here? So There's not even anyone near him. That lock -up could have cost them dearly. Did he get on the track okay? Oh my lord. That's going to be a big when Hamilton retires, who do I think will replace him? That is the golden question, isn't it? Nick DeVries. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, Stoffel Van Dort. No, no. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I could see who... Uh, this might be controversial. Hear me out, chat. This could be too far. But Mercedes-powered team with a young, talented driver. Can you, can you think of who I'm thinking of? I don't think Lando goes. Lando's just signed a new deal. I could see, I could, I could see a world 
where Alexander Albon moves to Merck. If I'm being honest. Someone else has locked up. There's a yellow in Sector 1. Vettel's got a penalty. What happened? There's been a multiple car crash again. Is anyone going to finish this race? Contact and several cars involved. Let's take a look at the replay. I could right, see... This. What was this? Turn 1. Oh, Mick's been taken out. Mick's been taken out by Vettel. He actually has the line of Schumacher crashed. That's class. <laughs> the fact that I have a line specifically for when Mick Schumacher crashes. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Chat, he's not out. He's not out. He's still going very slowly. I think he's got a puncture. We are coming up to him as well. The fact there's an actual voice line of Schumacher crashed is just hilarious to me. Oh, he's about to get in the way. Mick, get out of the way of the leaders, Mick. Mick! Mick! Sorry, Mick. I'm sorry, mate. Good luck getting back to the pit. How did I pay Vettel to do that? A lot. Oh, Vettel's in the pits as well, chat. We've seen a lot of shunts on this track, haven't we? You won, Jack. Enjoy the money. I hope it makes you happy. Dear Lord, what a sad little life, Jack. You've ruined my racing career completely so that you could have the money. And now I hope you can spend it on lessons in grace and decorum. I hope I did that, uh, that performance justice, chat. I kind of want to just harvest battery here behind these guys. And then have a go at pushing beyond them. We think we can lean on the tires. Oh my god, chat, this is a stressful race. There's been so many crashes and incidents and people going wide. For like for the, like the start of this season, the first eight races, nothing happened on track. We've had two red flags. Two safety cars. Our drone drivers crash into each other. One of our drivers have to retire after causing a crash. The same driver caused a retirement. One of our drivers caused the red flag in the first one. Everything's happening. Reapers, thank you for gifting a sub to Valtteri Bottas. I love it. Chad, do you think Chadwick... Uh, do you think Chadwick be an F1 or not for females? I think F1 is a sport that will have female drivers in the future and of course has had female test drivers in the past but I don't think Jamie Chadwick is going to be the next thoughts on today's race I thought it was pretty good line board to us like Zanvort's not usually a particularly interesting track for actual racing but the split strategies were interesting it was interesting to see the hards be an actual valid race tyre that's not happened that much this season Bit of a shame about the VSC and the safety car, but that's the risk you run when you do a one-stopper and pit early for that one-stopper. Um, yeah, on the whole, it's, it exceeded my expectations. The stand behind cars like that use up less fuel. There's another flag. I think it was a McLaren, the Ram Y. Maybe a Dan. Well, it'd have to be Danny Rick. Oh, we've had a spin. Oh, was Danny Rick having a spin. If these guys want to hold each other up, we'll just save battery. Okay, I say that. The battery's charged. Did I watch Man You Arsenal? I did. Yeah, take it easy. The Red Bull Sonoda strap was a disgrace. It wasn't a strat. I already talked about this earlier on in my stream. If anyone genuinely thinks that Alpha Tauri were working in cahoots with Red Bull, I really question how much you understand what you're watching when you watch F1. There's so many reasons why it, is, it wasn't a conspiracy. It isn't a conspiracy. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I talked about it at the start of the stream. So just go back to the start of the stream. You want to hear me explain in detail why, funnily enough, it is not a big conspiracy.
That's not to say what Alpha Terry did wasn't stupid, but it's not some mad conspiracy chat. I watched more of the F1 than the footy. I'm on Horner's payroll, true chat. Like, there was a differential issue that they didn't see on the, the data straight away, the engineers, but for a drive would make it feel like there was an issue with one of the tyres. Like, firstly, Sonoda pulled over before the team told him to pull over. It was Sonoda who made the call. If you watch the incident with radios, which you can find on YouTube... Sonoda radios in saying that he thinks the tyre's not been put on properly and pulls over. So if you genuinely believe that somehow Alpha Tauri were trying to make a safety car happen to benefit Verstappen, like you're basically up. saying that Sonoda was the one who called it. But then again, how would Sonoda know that a VSC would be benefic beneficial to Verstappen at that exact moment, given the fact that well, Sonoda's driving in a race. Sonoda doesn't know the gaps between all the teams. Sonoda, as a driver, doesn't know what's going to be, be beneficial to Verstappen and his strategy. He probably doesn't even know the Mercs are on a one-stopper. And if he does, it's because it's been radioed to him, in which case there would be like a paper trail because all of that stuff is tracked. So unless you're trying to tell me that Yuki pits for hard, then looks at the timing board and goes, Ah, I should pull over and cause a VSC for Max Verstappen. And then does it himself without any team orders. Like, it'd be the most giga brain thing ever, but when you're driving in an F1 car, and if you've ever done karting or ever done any kind of racing, you'll know you don't know what everyone else's strategies are. You, gen you focus on the people you are racing and not what's going on at the front. You're certainly not doing calculations on the time needed for the person in front to pull over and stuff. Yeah, signs did get the time from the back marker there, chat. We can deploy, though. I did save battery when the two were fighting. So we should be able to close him. We'll work with Verstappen here. Verstappen will probably DRS us one, and then we'll DRS him the other. They passed Yuki a note when he came into the pit. If that was the case, chat, why didn't he just stay pulled over where he was to trigger a VSC? It's almost as if he pulled over thinking, I don't think the tyre's on correctly. Radioed in. The team go, Yuki, the tyre's on correctly. We can't see anything wrong. But he's like, I can feel something wrong. He drives slowly back to the pit. The team still only have his word for it that they don't think, that he doesn't think the tyre's on. So they think, well, we'll put him on softs now because we can get some data on the softs to help out with uh, Pierre's strategy later because Pierre Gasly would later go on to the softs. Then as he's exiting the pit exit... They go, shit, we can see there is a problem, Yuki. It's with the differential. Pull over where it's safe. And someone's going to now tell me, Jack, why would he not just pull over in the pit exit? That is because the one place where as a driver you never pull over and block is the pit exit, folks. Because if, you, if you're blocking the, blocking the pit exit, especially at somewhere like Zandvoort where it is a tiny bit narrower, it means the safety car or medical car can't get out if they need to. It's one of the least safe spots a car can ever stop on a track is blocking the exit of the pits. Because it, 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 pl it plays havoc with safety, which is why Yuki then has to drive out and find the next best place to stop. Doing a good job, that's going to help you. Where do you find the radio to YouTube? People re-upload them because they're on F1 TV. Like, if you have F1 TV, you can switch driver perspectives and stuff, and people tend to record the POVs. I really want to try and pull away from signs here with the deploy that I've got, but I know if I try that, there's a pretty good chance he and Verstappen will just close the gap back up with DRS. Jack, is this your dog, mate? It's not Scream. It's an old mascot of the stream. So about a decade ago when I first started streaming, webcams weren't like the usual thing or anything. So instead of having a webcam, I used to have a picture of cute animals I'd put in the bottom corner of my stream when things went wrong in Football Manager. Typical. It was like an emotional support pet. Cool, but it was a picture of a dog. Um, 
And that dog that you see there was the dog that was in the bottom corner of my screen where I started to get really, really lucky in a football manager save game. And as a result of that, he became a mascot of the stream, named after a player we had in Football Manager at the time called Connor Curry. So the dog is called Curry Dog. It's probably old now, chat. Might not even be alive anymore, which is a bit sad to think about, but he lives on in our hearts. <laughs> hey, Pictor, I appreciate the kind words. The thing is, as well, chat, the lap that Yuki pulled over, the lap before that, Verstappen had set his fastest lap in 20 laps. Like, given the race pace that he had after the pit stop where he was on softs and Hamilton was on mediums, I feel like he probably would have just closed the five-second gap that would have been had he pitted under normal circumstances anyway. I think if he's on mediums to the end and Hamilton is on the hards that he pitted for on that lap, was it like in the 20s? For the one stopper, I think Verstappen probably gets him anyway. I think Verstappen was holding quite a lot in the tank, which is one of the reasons why when when Verstappen got blocked by Vettel, Red Bull didn't feel like they had to pit Verstappen. You know when Hamilton got held back for like three seconds because of Vettel coming out, and there was basically a window where Verstappen could pit and still come out ahead of Hamilton. I think Red Bull knew they had a lot of pace still in their car. Hissy Fit, thank you for some of the tier one. I enjoyed your contributions to the chat. Yeah, I think it was yesterday, Hissy Fit. I appreciate the love. Is Magnussen really going to get a podium here? I want to believe he can get it. It's a question of where he's going to get it. I have got to be careful on the where, actually. It wouldn't be a bad thing to get behind these guys for a bit and just conserve tyres. Because that wear is bad. I want to check something. Oh, okay. If we run on our current trajectory, we're still going to be way safer than I realised. I said all of that and then they both passed us. It's like the game new. Hey, too good not to sub. I appreciate that, mate. Just sped to uh, run earlier bits of this stream. What the hell is happening? It's been, it's been a chaotic day. There's been red flags, three, uh, two safety cars in this race. Boucher's been involved in two crashes in this one, and there's just this three-way battle at the front. Meanwhile, Hamilton and Leclerc are also scrapping it out. So much is happening. Yeah, chat, I appreciate you guys all vibing. Like, with the F1 manager stuff, like, the streams have been amazing. Like, for people who don't know, I've been streaming, like, F football manager for years. But, like, F1 is kind of my, my second sport, I suppose. If you've got football, F1, and ice hockey. They are the three sports that I am just in love with. Um, And so it's been really cool because I thought with these streams, when F1 manager came out, I wasn't sure how popular it was going to be. We did some streams when the game first came out, but in the back of my mind, I'm sat thinking, you know, this is probably just, it's a new game. I'll ride on a little bit of a wave with it and, you know, it'll die out a quick death in a week or two. And whilst, you know what, I'm kind of braced for the fact that interest in this game will kind of die down with time. Um, it's been really, really cool to see people consistently coming back. Like the fact we've got almost 1,800 of you guys watching now on a Sunday night is really, really mad. Um, I, I'm still enjoying this game quite a lot, despite all its flaws. And I feel like we're building a cool little F1 community here, which is great to see. And thank you for being part of it. It's been wicked. I bet you 25 subs, the Leafs will go out in the first round again. Look, the Leafs are great. Would I pit here? No, I wouldn't pit here if there was a safety car. The Leafs are going to do great next year, Repas, I believe. Oh, Leclerc ran, ran wide. That's good. Hamilton now won't have DRS to catch us. Because these two are working together to catch the front three. That's good. Space Brownie, thank you for subbing with the Prime. I <laughs> appreciate the love. First time chatter as well from you. I appreciate the luck. Yeah, chat, I appreciate many of you just stick me on in the background whilst you do stuff. Be that work, be that um, homework, I suppose. Be that just playing F1 manager yourself. Thank you for being part of this community in any little way that you are. Even if it is just lurking away, you are just as much a part of it as everyone else. Uh, what do I think is the biggest issue in this game? Uh, the tires. The, the tires and blocking. 
I'd like to, to I'd like to see a bigger performance difference between the different compounds of tires. Push a bit more. Hey, Oliver Allen, welcome to the chat. People are just now like, oh my god, he's, he's talking about first time chats. This is my time to sneak in. <laughs> welcome on in, if you are one of those people. Leclerc is conspiring to f me out my channel points. Maybe he is, Spagyama. Maybe he is. Yeah, unlapping is bad as well. Clearing back markers and then cars just unable to unlap themselves and unlapping themselves under the safety cars. The thing is, despite all the issues I have with this game, I think if you don't take it too seriously, you could have a lot of fun with it. It might sound really weird, but like there was a point in my life where I used to really try hard in Football Manager. Like I'd always play Football Manager 100% seriously. And actually, I realized over time, I enjoyed Football Manager way more when you just embrace the chaos. You just embrace all the madness that's going on. Um, and kind of, you don't take it too seriously. Because I think the second you take it too seriously, then all the little things do irk you more. I lurk here until I fall asleep. I hope I don't wake you up when I lose the plot and start screaming. Need cars to DNF from technical issues. I agree, Anna Cross. I'd like to see it where you can like take maybe risks with part development. So like if you rush a part, there's like a higher chance of it failing. Or if you build an emergency part, maybe there's a higher chance of it failing. And then like with engine wear and gearboxes have a bit more chance of failure with them. Chat, this is going to come down to the last lap, I feel like. Who locked up? Who locked up? Sector 1, someone locked up. Oh, per Verstappen. Verstappen went off. It's us and, it's us and signs. Oh, if Sainz doesn't have DRS, is it worth trying to push him? We got DRS here. This is our time to push. We got DRS in that turn. Push, 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 push. We have to get a second ahead before the next DRS zone. This is the time to push. XL Solar redeemed a hydrate. Let me get more of the water. I've actually fallen asleep to, asleep to this stream three nights in a row. The car seems to soothe me. <laughs> I love that. Wait, I didn't put it in deploy. I thought it was in deploy chat. I've made an error. Uh... How many more races today? I think I've got one more race in me after this chat, if you guys have. We not, might not be a second ahead because I didn't deploy. Oh, Jack, you idiot, right? Cut our losses. Cut our losses. Signs will get us here. We're going to aim to get him in the next DRS zone, out the next corner. He can have the lead there. Come to us. We'll get him here Copy that. and then try and clear him. We still got lots of charge. Welcome to Verstappen. He locked up going into turn one. Sorry, chat. I forgot to hit the highlight on it. I wish there was a way in this game you could like go back and watch key events. Good job. Uh, we've been pushing our fuel quite a lot, George, because there's been two safety cars and a VSC this race. Yeah, tire fuel's, uh, fuel's not marginal at all. There's a bat marker here. The bat mark is going to give signs DRS if I try and clear him. Hmm, I've got to make a call here. We're not pulling away fast enough for me to deploy and risk burning through all our battery. This is just a DRS battle where he gets us in the DRS range, then we get him in the next. Bat markers might decide this, although we're going to have DRS here, right? Seven laps to go. Oh, we weren't in DRS range of the bat marker. I don't want him to get the DRS off the bat marker. Use energy. Gobby. Push now. Gobby. We'll get DRS here and he might get stuck behind the bat marker. Oh my word. It's getting racy, folks. Stress. Where to watch NHL when it's on? I think if you search NHL 66 on Google, you'll find help. I have to sleep on the sofa at home at the moment, so I fell asleep to you most nights. You woke me, in a, uh, woke me up a couple of nights about shouting, no, 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 K-Mag. Had to find my glasses, put on the TV screen and find out what the clown had done to you. What bottle is that? I have no idea. I got it off Google, off Amazon. Chat, we have no battery. I took a gamble. It's not worked. I need signs back ahead of us. 
There's a yellow flag set to free. Who's had a moment? Is it Verstappen again? I think Verstappen's just had another moment. I think we've had a he has. Let's take a closer look. What now happened? He oh, he's done, he's done the Guang Yu Zhou and Bottas wide turn. Six to go. All right, I don't mind us being behind Kill signs me. here. As long as he doesn't catch the Williams of a DRS. Is this Mick? Oh, it's Mick! Mick, old buddy, old pal. Welcome. P2 is pretty much guaranteed. It's just a case of can we get the race win. Mick! Mick, please get out of our way. Mick. 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 I'm fine. I've handled that well. Okay, we should get DRS here. Back on harvest. We don't need to overtake her. Tires might be a little bit marginal here. I've been pushing them hard. We don't have to overtake. Five to go. Uh, Rob, I just bought the, the bottle that I'm drinking from, the Hydrate bottle. I just literally bought off Amazon. It's just a random bottle. I don't know where I got it from now. It was so long ago. We don't have to overtake him this lap. We don't have to overtake him. We just have to harvest the battery for a lap. And lean on the tyres a bit more to maintain the gap to the next DRS section. Have I won a race in our career as of now? Yeah, we won, we won Barcelona this year. And we won four or three races last year. I think it was three races last year. But we have a chance to win a second race this season this year. Magnussen hasn't won a race yet this year. Chat, remember when Magnussen went off during this race? Uh, what season is this? This is season two, Oleb. We were running one and two in Canada, and then Magnussen hit the wall and caused a red flag. Do I think this game's a bit easy? Uh, I think it could be harder. They, they tweaked some stuff um, already. They tweaked some stuff in the last patch, which made it so the parts are less kind of broken when you develop them, which is definitely up the development curve. And to be honest, this season we're getting spanked. This year we're not doing very well. As much as it looks like we're doing well in this actual race, like in general, we've been poor this year. Doing a good job. Keep pushing. The underfloor upgrades are worth like a long wait for as well. From my experience, if you if you want any tips, chat. I think if you're developing an underfloor, if you show patience with it, it can give you pretty big performance jumps versus other parts three laps left chat three laps left i think it depends flute like if if you stick to presets the uh i, f I found the development like battle is way closer you like, on the development thing, you can drag all the sliders to the right to get a load of performance, and it does cost more money and take longer. But the trade-off just isn't worth it. Like, the performance gains you get mean it's still really, really strong. I found by sticking to the presets, the game is a lot more challenging. Yeah, Villa True fan, I'm, I think we're going to replace Magnuson this year. It's just a case of who I replace him with. I think in general, chat, if you just sit and drag all the sliders to the right, you can just r build really overpowered parts and win quickly with anyone. I think if you st stick with the presets, the game's a lot funner. Oh, Russell just spun out. Russell just spun out. No one's ever spun out there before. What happened to Teo? Um, Guan Yu Zhou went off the track, or Zhou Guan Yu went off the track, re-entered unsafely, and took him out. Still a lot to play for. There's one lap left after this chat. Ferrari, advance the race position.
position. I can stay on deploy for the rest of this race now. This is going to be a difficult overtake. We want to be behind. We're going to overtake him on the straight. He's going to overtake us up the hill, and then we're going to overtake him in that corner that we just went through. Oh, my word. That is not a place to overtake. Hey, Phil, dude. Thank you for swimming for six months. Uh, I have seen that stuff pre-Lunatic. I had a look into it a little bit, but the way the AI handles those changes means that they just do really dumb strategy calls a lot of the time. So I, uh, I don't really want to touch that stuff, but the fact that Reddit's been able to make changes to the kind of database tables using Cheat Engine makes me hope that it wouldn't be that much effort for the devs to tweak those values, tweak the AI accordingly, and solve all the tire issues. What do I mean by the presets? When you develop a part, Rob, you can select presets for where the sliders go. Sign's going to be able to get the move done here. I don't think he can. I think that's just done. I think this is going to be a race win chat. The battery's dead, though. That's concerning. But it's difficult to overtake in this last bit. Adam Man United, thank you for swimming with the Prime. Kevin, don't crash last corner. Please, thank you. Massive Kevin! He's got no battery here. We're fine, though. I think. I hope. Come on! Ah. Oh. That was massive by Kev. He was leading under both safety cars. Had to fight back as well after that. Um, unfortunate kind of uh, stop time. Still want to sack him, chat. Still want to sack him. He did cause a crash. Imagine how many more races we would win if he didn't crash into people. <laughs> There's a little bit of micromanagement needed there to be like ahead of signs at the right time. Oh, I wonder what Pichet could have done from 14th on the one-stopper if it hadn't happened, or if that race hadn't happened as it did. How many people got rich off back in Magnussen? Oh, chat, we get the podium. One sec. Bloody hell. A truly oh. Podium here. I've, got, I've not got a bottle of champagne, but I've got, a, I've got an F1 manager bottle. Come on. I'll, just pretend, I'll be like the guy, you know, from the, the team who stands next to the podium and holds something. Well, the Dane had a very impressive They've done well there. Really when the Come on, Kevin! Come on, my son! Oh. Come on! I hate the fact that because it's copyright, we can't have the music play, chat. So, there's no music. They just have to really awkwardly just dance and doing stuff. What a performance. My name is Hero Pronounced Hero. I'll try and remember that, Hero, but I can't guarantee it, mate. There's a lot of people whose names I'd have to remember if I remembered everyone in chat's names. What a performance. My goat. My goat. Chat, I didn't play the F1 flute theme. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, my God. We're so far behind Mercedes. The board expectation this year is third. Surely they won't sack me. Oh, Pacher's race. What, what, what's he going to say about Pacher's race? Good. Apparently he had a good performance in the race. A good performance in the race. A good... Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> okay, wh whatever you say. I'm fine. How many noses did we break there? Also, Kevin Magnuson's overtaking chat, just for those wondering. So the only thing we've upgraded on him. Up to 89. Oh, F1 in school's invitation. Chat, they've asked for us back again. Every year they come and go, do you want to get involved in F1 with schools? Do you want to help children? You know? 
inspire the next generation of young engineers. And I say the same thing every single year. Fuck them kids. I'm not sending my engineers to nothing. We've got, we've got cut parts to develop and cars to design. Uh, oh, double points the last race got voted for. To, to the double points has been opened for. Uh, Magnuson is sixth in the drivers, Pesher ninth. And in teams, we're in fourth. Chat, it's a quote. It's a quote. It's not a sus clip if you know the quote. Oh, Paul Ricard next. We won at this track. We've won at... Oh, I've got a new suspension coming as well. Bloody hell. It's all very, very exciting. That comes into place next season, I believe. It'd be mental if it came in this season. They go, by the way, last race of this year, we're doubling the points. Oh, God. Loads of stuff is low on stock. Okay, we have... Build... A new side pod. That doesn't need to be done right away. Is there any other parts that we're lacking? Also, this hat is itchy. I mean, it's because there's a label on the back. Uh, do I have enough of everything else? I only have two chassis and two front wings. We really have burnt through parts, haven't we, with all the crashes lately? Right. Two chassis done in 17 days. That's too long. Uh, we're not going to need two chassis in one weekend, are we? I think if we rush them, that'll be fine. Uh, you can't create your own team in this game. Chat, my hair's been ruined. My, my hair. My hair. It's, it's, it's all over, chat. Uh, and front wings. We need more front wings. We really have just broken everything. Oh yeah, the bloody engines. I bet I bet Pusher's engines are absolutely done after that. They are. I think we'll take a new engine as well at this track. This is a track that we can do well at with our car, I think. So taking new engines would both make sense. ARS is fine for both. Uh gearboxes are fine for both. We'll be fine. When can you throw resources at next year? I think it's after the winter break. I've not got any slots available to actually check. I think it's after the winter break. See you later, Wewit. I hope I said your name correctly, Wewit. Thank you, mate, for hanging out today. Can you get more engines? You can buy extra ones, but they cost you grid places to actually use. Give me my new suspension. Can we actually develop the new suspension? Manufacture suspension. What's the performance difference? Top speed off DRS is big. And high speed quartering is first in dirty air. And brake cooling is better. Okay. Hmm. I might emergency build four of these. It's only a million to emergency build. I say only a million. Not cheap. But for that performance gain, pro prob's worth it. Where does that leave our actual car's performance now? Oh, chat, look at that. We look competent. Damn, message ignored, lol. I even highlighted it. Sorry, I was looking at some stuff, Eustace. Um, would I be interested in doing any FM23 career mode content? Probably not. Career mode's never really been my jam. I actually play a lot of Ultimate Team. But career mode's never really been my thing. Did I say winter break? I meant summer break. Maybe it's a winter break in Australia. Our car is not terrible. Considering we've got more parts going on as well. We've got a new underfloor project that's quite a big one. We put more engineers onto it. I as well put the other engineers on Twitch to get it done a bit quicker. Because we've used up all our wind tunnel time until the next reset period. OK, 
Okay, backup wings have been made. Beautiful. We should be good here. I've said that before, haven't I? I, ha I have said that before. Am I managing has an Alpine merch? No comment, Your Honour. Maybe, though. How do you buy a new engine? At the bottom of your list of engines, there's like a plus button that you can just hit to buy one. I wish there was a development graph in this game. If you played like the Cody's F1 game, you know, like the graph that just kind of gives you an overall view of stuff. Like, if you could do that for car overall performance, but maybe also buy each like metric. I think that'd be quite nice. My has stuff is meant to arrive tomorrow, but it had to get shipped from the USA. Every other F1 team does their merch through F1 and has to do theirs all on their own. And as a result, I've been waiting for it to get delivered for ages. All right, chat. Bet on the setup confidence percentage that our staff managed to get done. Are you ready? Or oh, oh, sixth and seventh? Chat. Are we actually good? Are we at? Are we at seventy foot? They're bloody brilliant. We're going to do good. This is a good weekend. We never... We, I don't think we've ever had two drivers in the top five. On, like, actual speed. I just want to get out early. If we can set fast enough time. I know we got messed up by it in... Sil uh, well, at Silverstone. But I feel like this session we should be able to send out the drivers... As long as we don't get blocked, which we're not going to, these times will be good enough. These times will just be good enough. Fuel near return. I don't know when, Adam. At some point. Tires overheating. What do you mean? What do you mean? Times are good there for us. I don't think we'll go out. I don't think we need to go out. Who am I going to sign next season? I don't know. I need to have a think about it. I think we do need to upgrade Magnuson. I think some of it comes down to who's available. By like McLaren are really struggling. Norris is only going to have one year left on his contract. We should be okay. So I feel like we'll be able to have our pick if we do okay. My plan is to save a lot more money now. Danny Rick could be a fun redemption arc. He keep oh, I forgot to move the camera. Thank you. I feel like whoever reminds me to remove move the camera back should like be given a sweetie or a coconut or a sticker or something for being helpful. Okay. We share 10th, Magnuson 6th. Happy days. That's a that's a good starting sign. For share the weak link, I mean, he's the youngest driver on the grid with the highest potential. He's part of the project, you know, it's a long term plan with Pesher. Are we about to get blocked on our laps here? We might be okay. If we hit them on the back straight, the DRS zone, it's fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Can drivers regress in the game? They can't, but I think that's a licensing thing. How close is Magnussen behind? Uh, the Red Bull might block Magnussen here. Okay, they cleared the traffic. That's really, really good. That's two more clean laps in the bag. It's weird, right? Because I didn't expect us to be challenging at the front so much when I signed Pesher. Like, the reality is we're Haas. Like, I, we're currently fourth in the constructors. So it's like, it's difficult to complain and say we're underachieving right now. I feel like it's that thing where we're kind of where you'd expect us to be. So I don't feel like I have to replace drivers. 
But if I was going to replace one, obviously, like, looking at taking, like, a more short-term look, for share is the one to obviously move on. Yeah, I mean, our board thinks we should be finishing... Was it top three? Chat, is my window open? I think my window's open. Give me a moment. I wonder how many moths have come into my flat during the stream today. Magnuson faster than Leclerc. Things we love to see. We've got pace, folks. Oh, I got Pacher out at the perfect time. too. I'm getting better at this now. Why not get Bottas, Bottas instead of K-Mag? I'd rather get in a younger... Like, Lando Norris has 87 overall chat, and he's like 23. I think Norris might be who I'd go for, especially because in this universe, McLaren are really bad. I mean, like, Danny Rick's not even made it out the session, out of Q1. Could, could say it's realistic, but considering we're like a year and a half in the future, Norris is a really, really good driver in a shitbox. So I feel like he'd be a logical replacement for Kevin Magnussen. Uh, Pichet didn't win a race in season one, but he won Barcelona this season. Chat, my hair has been ruined. I bought a new hairdryer this week, chat. I've been using like an older hairdryer. But I don't know if anyone has this. I went to the hairdressers this week. They did my hair and they were just like using the hairdryer to shape it at the end. And I was like, man, my hairdryer is really bad. I don't know if I get a hairdryer like that's good. I'll be able to make my hair look as good as the hairdresser makes it look. So I bought the new hairdryer. Turns out it doesn't, doesn't work like that. Yeah, actually, you know, it turns out if you're paid professionally to make hair look nice, you're usually pretty good at shaping it. So uh, I have the I have the hairdryer, but it's uh, it it it's you know it turns out it doesn't just magically make it look good. I have no hair feels for that man. <laughs> I should get a refund on the hairdryer. Is Pacher going to make it through here? Ocon's still got to cross the line. Esteban Ocon running P11 right now. He's going to need to make up three tenths on his previous lap to pip Pierre Gasly to make it into Q3 here. Hamilton also about to cross the line in just a moment. We're going to see how these are going to finish. Hamilton locks down fifth. Magnussen sixth. But Ocon can't go faster. Pierre Gasly scrapes through for the Alfa Romeo team. And with that, it is the usual five suspects in Q3. The five teams you expect to see there, Ferrari, Red Bull, Mercedes, Alfa Romeo and Haas. Of course, the latter of those two teams, new on the scene when it comes to leading the bunch, but looking as class above the remainder of the pack. Oh, wow. Anyone else just feel really immersed now? They should let me do the commentary in the game instead of Crofty. Maybe it'd be better. Also, I really hate Paul Ricard as a track. Ready to check, ready to check. Like, it should be quite cool, you know. It's got, like, the blue wavy lines. It's, it's like an optical illusion, but it just doesn't look very good. Oh, Pierre, don't block us. Don't do it to me, Pierre. Don't do it to me, Pierre. Pierre? You... Nobber. You absolute nobber. What a nobber. I'm fine. I've handled that well. Uh, Mavesin, thank you very much for some of the prime. Welcome aboard. Thank you, mate. It's just a very... It's just like your drive... This track is like you're driving around a parking lot, isn't it? I don't get me wrong, I have an appreciation for the design and how, like, customizable it is. But it's just like a pool of concrete that just has, like, lines painted on it. It's like, a, you know, like at school when you're a little kid, do you have, like, roads painted, like, on the pavement so you could, like, play around as a kid? Do people know what I'm on about here? I don't feel like this was a thing exclusive to my childhood. It's like that. It's like the adult version of that. Adam, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Uh, confession time. Forgive me, Jack, for I've sinned. It took me two weeks of hearing the subsized sound to realise it was saying Viduka. I mean, that is fair. It is a bit of an old meme. Fair. 
Favourite motorsport track? Hmm. I quite like Brands Hatch. But Doddington used to be my local track uh, when I was young. Right, Magnuson had an awful lap because he got blocked. We need to go better here. I'd like to have at least one driver in the front three rows of the grid. And Baku or Spa? I'm getting lots of or or ors. I love Spa. But I... And I'd definitely take it over Baku. But I feel like ba Baku is such a weird track. I talked about it on stream like a week or two ago. I remember when Baku was first introduced and people hated it. And it kind of looked kind of dull on the face. He obviously had like the dumb long straight for the whole of Sector 3. Baku has had some pretty classic F1 moments on it. Like for one of the newer tracks. Like I feel like it's kind of earned... A lot of love for producing some really good, not necessarily like good racing, but good racers, if that makes sense. Like, there's so many memorable moments from Baku races, like the Red Bulls crashing into each other. Obviously, Max's incident like last year was semi memorable. What about a Haas binning it under a safety car? <laughs> Did Vel get a penalty for ignoring blue flags there? I think he got one penalty point. Baku was the break magic one yet. Yeah, left the magic on. Crashes don't good, make good races, IMO. But I, I'm not saying it. I feel, I still think Baku's had good races outside of the crashes. I know, mate. I think I'm in the minority. Here. I quite enjoy street circuits. Like, there's certain street circuits I don't enjoy, but I think some of the higher speed street circuits that have room for overtaking. And even Singapore. See, I like Singapore, so maybe I'm just a big hypocrite. But, like, there's some street circuits which are very good, in my opinion. I feel like Singapore just has such a sick spectacle with, like, the night race in a city. Can Magnuson go quicker here? Wow. Fourth. Tied Hamilton. Really, he should be behind Hamilton for setting his time afterwards. I think the game deals with fractions of a second. Pacher's out qualified Gasly. Perez is going to be one of the last to cross the line. Verstappen's going to be next. Can he go better? No. Can Leclerc go better? No. Can Sainz go better as he goes around the final corner here? Is currently running in P3. Could he sneak onto the front row? Could he get pole? No. He did go better. He didn't get fast enough. Russell crosses the line to go ahead of Magnussen alongside Hamilton. Sir. Magnussen down to sixth. Perez has improved. So sixth for ninth. Six nine chat. Nice. Nice. Lewis Hamilton and Verstappen taking penalties. I don't know how severe they are. That's decent. Right, what do we do for the prediction? What do we what do we do for the prediction? Oh, look at all the objectives. Tick them. Tick them. Safety car. We could do safety car. Or will Mick come last? <laughs> will Mick come last? Is that how is that how low I think of him? But Sherstein's seven. Magnuson's fourth after the penalties. Mick for Yuki is the real tr title battle. True. True. Um I think we go hard mediums, but that gives us a window to see out the hards for longer and weigh out a safety car if need be. I don't want to do the Merc and commit to a safety car. Uh, well, sorry, to a one stop with an early stop. Because if a safety car comes late in the race, you're ruined. Whereas if we start on the hards, we can go long on them. 
It's what we did last year to get the win here. I'll run, will Mick come last? I'd say, can Mick finish ahead of Yuki Spur, right? Just so if there's anyone who DNFs, that doesn't mean that Mick doesn't come last. Right, chat, are you Team Yuki or Team Mick? Which of the Williams cars is not going to finish last? Or near, you know, near last. Probably, probably last. But yeah, I think, I think we go aggressive on the hards. The hards give us an option to either see them out a bit longer, pit sooner for the mediums, or go long onto softs. Hello, I was wondering how long it takes for a driver to go up in ratings. Like, how long would it take for Pichel to go from 74 to 80? It depends, Gwen, because drivers have a potential multiplier. So the way drivers develop is they get experience points, and then based on their potential, that experience point that's, that they gained are multiplied. But in general, a driver, I think, will go up by about two or three ratings over the course of a season. Right, chat, the prediction is live. Will Mick... Finish ahead of Yuki. Can he do it? Will he? Won't he? If you don't know, I'm not going to repeat the question because I've just said it. It's in the chat. You can see it. I think it, in Mick, I, I think, would I back Mick here? I probably wouldn't. I don't think I would. I don't think I could. Who's put the most channel points on the line right now? Nunok has put 30,000 on yes and Dominic's put 25,000 on no. Oh my god. Someone has put 76,000 channel points on no Mick won't finish ahead of Yuki. Spitman, are you feeling okay? That is, it, that is, I mean, as a fellow Mick hater, someone's put, someone's put 50,000 on yes. Brat Zaro's gone. You know what? Mick's gonna, he's gonna finish ahead of Yuki. It's gonna happen. What happens if one of them retires? Well, then one will have finished ahead of the other. The hater energy. <laughs> Has anyone else gone bigger at the end? No. Right, chat. There, there is 750,000 channel points on this prediction so far. I don't think it's quite going to get as high as it did earlier when we got nearly 900,000. But that, give yourself a round of applause. It's a solid effort on the prediction. In fact, I, t I take it all back. I take it all back. We've broken 900,000 channel points there. There are more people caring about Mick and Yuki than how my driver's doing this race. A cloudy day. Please don't rain. We're there! We're there. Mum, get the camera. You can see me. Right. Go on, Kev. Mick is currently behind Sonoda chat. Can he get a move done? Oh, Yuki's doing very well. If, he, if Yuki clears Stroll, Mick could be in the mud. Oh, Mick's mudded, chat. Mick's mudded. He's been overtaken by Verstappen, who took an, an engine penalty. Oh, it's disastrous for the Mick in uh, chat. I'm going to protect you all by not showing you it. I'm going to protect you all by not showing you it, because I think it's quite upsetting viewing. Doing a good job. Magneton's up to fourth. I say up to fourth. That's where he started. He's going to have a go on George Russell. He's going to have a go on George Russell. So Hamilton's done at the back as well. Ah, Pacheco lost a spot. But it was to Perez. So I guess that's kind of fine. Alpine just advanced. Oh, Teo, Teo, have a go. Right. Right. The space to the right. Yes, you're going to... Yeah, yeah, that's the move. Free wide. Oh, my word. Oh my, no, Mikey, no, it's not right. We shouldn't be doing that. Oh, Magnuson got Russell. Now just focus on the hats. Oh, K-Mag. What a man. We're on hards here. What's everyone else on? Okay, lots of other people have gone on hards too. Interestingly, Bottas, who went last race on the hards, this race is on the mediums. Up at 5.30 for work. Well, the space is still streaming. I'll be here staying. I'll be staying here and going to work tired, I think. Don't do it, Keeney. I don't know what your job is, but just watch me at work instead. You know, like if you're, I don't know, if you're a wind turbine manager, 
Watch me on top of a wind turbine. If you work in a pet store, watch me whilst feeding the dogs. I don't know. If you're a teacher, maybe don't watch me whilst you teach. It's probably not productive for the class, but... Who cares about the youth of tomorrow? You know what? No, screw it. So if Kevin Magnuson can make it to P2, you can show the kids the stream. It's fine. If you're a surgeon... Oh, in that case... No, nah, if you're a surgeon, just get like a little, you know, little iPad holder and just watch you watch you do the surgery. Kevin, please don't lock up and go into the back of him. Thank you. Yeah, take it easy. Take it easy, Kevin. This is good for us. What if you're the new PM? Good job. Well, if you're the new PM, then... Nah, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. This is a politics-free stream. Oh, but Cher got Alonso. Show me it. Now, just focus on the oh, in the chicane. Teo Pacher, you naughty, naughty man. There's a yellow flag. There's a yellow flag. Please don't be Pacher. Okay, we're fine. It's not Pacher. It's Mick. Is it Mick? Chat, I think Mick's had a moment. There's a safety car. What happened? Is Mick okay? Chat, is Mick okay? Mix out! Mix out! The prediction's oh. over! <laughs> it's a disaster for the Mick believers! Mick is out of the race! <laughs> oh. oh! What's gonna happen? No, Mick! That's <laughs> the track. <laughs> <laughs> the Alfa Romeo's parts are ready to go back on. <laughs> we can pay out the prediction mods. <laughs> we can pay out the prediction. <laughs> it shouldn't be funny. The Alfa Romeo was logged up off the racing line and he just drove straight into the back of Bottas. Bottas is one of our big rivals. But if Yuki retires, he'd still be ahead because he's done more on lap count. Right? You've done more laps than you are closer to the finish of the race, therefore you finish ahead. That was such a good crash. <laughs> Not that there should be a good crash, but... The fact they're both out for that collision is refreshing. Energy's good. Energy's good. Things we love to hear. Leclerc's on mediums, but they're more worn than our hards. Do I reckon that we can just hammer time this? Do everything you can, mate. Got it. I'm going to tell both drivers to have a proper go first lap. Copy. Our high-speed cornering in dirty air is the best on the grid. And at this track, that could be good for building a gap. Can Mick finish ahead of you, key chat? The answer is no. And we knew the answer after four laps. Should we do another prediction on will there be another safety car? Mods, could you set that prediction up? Cheers for the 125.7k. Spitman's big up and Batzaro's just sadging in the chat. I've lost all the points. I'm sorry, Batzaro. Oh, this is a bit cheeky. The Ferrari's gone early here. We can't overtake to the start-finish line. Please don't overtake him. You're not even really meant to do that in... F1 anymore. You're not allowed to pull up alongside them. Oh, they are there for the take-in. It's like Lewis Hamilton v Max Verstappen all over again. What happened to Pacher's battery? Did he just deploy a load whilst in the queue because I said it to deploy earlier? What happened there? Push, Kevin. Push. Uh, Hamilton took a grid penalty to change engine parts. Same as Verstappen. Oh, Pacher and Magnus have made up places, chat. Things we love to see. You're doing a good job. Oh, this is... They are motor racing. Right, no DRS here. Oh, my word, Pacher's having a go. 
No, Teo. No, Teo. This is not right. Right. Can Magnuson pull ahead to break DRS before DRS is really able to... Oh, my word. Teo. Teo, 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 Teo. You're... Stop it. Stop it. Okay, 60k on no second safety car. Are we actually done the safety car prediction? The fact that Mick went wide at the exact same moment that the Alpha had gone wide is pretty unfortunate, isn't it? All 10 points on yes. Like, I respect anyone who goes all in with any amount. But 10 channel points going all in. Is it quite the same stakes? Okay, chat. Two seconds ahead of Leclerc. No DRS for another lap. This is good. This is good. Luke's redeemed a hydrate. We've had so many more safety cars today than... Like, for a bit of context here, chat. Before we went to Canada, no safety cars all season. We've had two red flags and three safety cars in, what, three races today? Um, I believe, Milardi, that um, most of the second drivers do have face guns, but I'm not sure they all do. So I might be able to tell you if Piastri does. I think someone said earlier that Piastri did. But I, I can't be certain. Canada was really rough today. Piastri doesn't. Oh, that's a shame. He has voice lines, right? Hey, Chris, how's it going? I mean, Pacher doesn't have any lines, chat. He's the Stig. If Pacher could get ahead of Sainz and Leclerc, it'd be so good for our strategy to hold them up to give Magnus in the margin. I mean, both our drivers are going to go long on hards anyway. Piastri just says copy. <laughs> I like the idea he says it under any circumstances. Piastri, push, push, copy. Piastri, there's been a crash, copy. It's like he's a Pokemon with the name Copy, so we can only say his name. Uh, will I be back tomorrow? I'm not 100% sure if I'll be definitely streaming tomorrow, Hero, but there's a pretty good chance I will be. I want to try and get an Alpine video chat recorded tomorrow for YouTube. So tomorrow's stream might hinge on how long it takes me to record that. Hey, 2 2 3, your best friend is a graduate of Frontier and works on animations. Oh, sick. I used to... So, people might... I've mentioned it a few times on stream. I used to work as a game developer. Before I decided that I wanted to talk over 2D footballers for a living, playing football manager, um, I used to work as a cinematic artist. So, I made video game trailers and kind of cutscenes for the Total War games, if people have ever played them. I used to, I worked on all the Total War Warhammer games. I used to work on a lot of the trailers for, well, the games and then the DLCs and stuff. I always find it interesting, having worked now in game dev for like a decade, when I play games, I'm trying to work out how they've done stuff and where, like, they might go with different bits. Obviously, every single game is made differently, but there's, like, certain things that you just kind of observe and learn, I guess, from being part of a development process. Are we going to do another race after this one? Probably not. Probably not. Did I work on Total War Rome 2? I didn't work on the initial release. I did work on it when the Sophia studio at Creative Assembly did a few DLCs a few years later. Um, I worked on those bits, but I jo I joined um, when Attila was first getting it. Attila Total War was first getting its DLCs released, but I pretty much came on and I joined the company when the first Total War Warhammer trailer was being made. So I kind of joined and then just mostly focused on the Warhammer side of things rather than historical. 
could use a lift off a bit. But really, really fun job. Like, loved it. Loved, w loved working in games. I don't know if I'd ever go back. But it was a really good experience. Have I checked out Immortal Empires? I... Okay, it's a funny story. I... I installed the update. I have all the DLCs for the Total War games because they very kindly give them to me because I worked on the games for a decade. Um, and I loaded up Immortal Empires and I spent like an hour trying to work out who I wanted to play as and then I just didn't make a decision and went to bed because it was like two in the morning. Has anyone ever been in that situation? You might have had it with F1 Manager where you can't decide what team you want to manage or Football Manager where you can't decide what team you want to manage. You kind of sit there like, oh, I want to do a new save. And then you actually open up and go, I don't know what I want to do. for the Like, you've not thought that far ahead. Save <laughs> Oh, chat, if I get Pasher ahead, are we using him to hold up? To make sure that we get K-Mag the win. Push, Teo, push. Oh, we got squeezed. It's not fair. They had it in Crusader Kings where you can't decide to Unimash. I feel like it's a universal problem, right? Just not knowing what character or thing to play as. Well, he's worked on games for a decade. How old is he? I'm 29. I think my Twitch bio says I'm 28, chat. I forgot to update it. I'm not catfishing you, I swear. It's kind of weird, like, I feel like I've done a lot with my life and not a lot with my life at the same time. In terms of, I've worked, like, you know, jobs and careers for an extended period. They're, like, in, like, an industry that's fairly competitive. And, yeah, I've not done nearly enough travelling. I need to do more travelling. <clears throat> I feel like getting, getting more actively involved in F1 gives me an excuse to go to weekends of racing as work trips you know for, for the tax man and all that G genius really maybe that's how i get into traveling more i'm gonna use teo to hold up the ferraris i've got him set to hold them back he might struggle a little bit with drs but even if you just buy i mean you can already see he's causing a bit of a train if we can get magnus and just up the road here it'd be pretty big more. I'm trying to draw, but I've got a cut on my index finger. That is annoying. <laughs> Have you got like a plaster or something you can put on it, Liv? All right, hold up, hold up. But look at this. It's the Teo train. It's back, everyone. That Ferrari might do us on the inside here. Or maybe it won't. Oh my god! We've caused a crash! I've caused a crash! I'm part of the problem! Up Russell's locked up and got into signs! What did I do? George Russell goes into the back of signs! Am I the baddie? Please, no safety car. If there's a safety car, everyone gets bunched back together. If every if there's a safety car, everyone gets bunched up, so this doesn't really work for me. There's no safety car. We're fine. Russell's running 18th. So, Russ, Russell, how's he get? George, George, is he okay? Oh, they've reset him on the track. He was he was a bit lost. I think I caused that. I think he's okay, chat. I think it was just the fact he's spinning on the point. I don't know where to go. Verstappen's up to fourth, by the way. He started at the back. All right, Teo, can, if you can hold up these guys, you're just buying K-Mag time. Russell got the penalty. Yeah, Russell locked up into the back of signs, but obviously they were bunched up like they were because of me. Hard I'm telling him to push hard just to try and hold back these guys on mediums, but I mean, Magnuson's six seconds up the road. Magnuson's vibing. Safe fuel, safe fuel. 
We've had a few chaotic races today, haven't we? Today's been a day of chaotic racing. Uh, we shouldn't need to conserve on K-Mag, I don't think. Can we have another lockup? Can we do it again? Not yet. Maybe next lap chat. Magnus is gaining so much time. The last time we did this strategy, K-Mag crashed. He did, but because we did this strategy, K-Mag had the space. The Pacher Project is also known as the Teo Train. You know, this is chapter two of the Pacher Project, the Teo Train. We use them as a cork in a bottle. We might not be quicker than all these cars, but if we can just hold them up lap after lap. Oh yeah, Mercedes haven't got anyone running in the points at the moment. That's a really good point. All right, Kevin, you've just got to not crash today and you've got to win. Look at the train. Is he going to stay ahead? He is still ahead. The other thing is, Pacher's going long on hards anyway. So if he holds down second, he is also running in second. This is a win-win. Fast forward it, absolutely not Avridi. Don't tell me how to play my video games. Because if one of them overtakes us, we're going to have to respond immediately. Okay, Mark, world champion. I mean, he did hit the wall of champions and get the session red flagged in Canada. But I do plan on replacing him. Oh, my God. The Ferrari just cut the... Did you, did you see that? Did you see that? Jack and 96, did you see that? He cut the chicane. That was an illegal manoeuvre. He cut the corner completely. It's rigged. We might be able to get them on the straight here and then go back to holding up. Oh my god. Teo. Teo. I'll take it. <laughs> You're doing so well. I think he went off there last year. I just got deja vu. Did anyone else just get deja vu? Focus. And that's a lock up. I've just got massive deja vu. I mean, that happened last year. No overtake. I mean, maybe we can catch the train. Charge on, charge on. If we catch the train, it's still not that bad. Because we held them up so badly. It's kind of fine. Everything's fine. Teo, you made us look like a bunch of f***ers. Oh, sorry. F***ing f***ers. Mick wouldn't be able to make that mistake because he already would have taken someone out previously. Road race. I'll tell you what, he is catching this train. It's really not that bad. The big thing for us is that Verstappen and Leclerc keep squabbling. Pacher locked up. What's that car before? Oh, what for holding them up? That was a we were. It was a legitimate sporting strategy holding them up. Mick would never make a mistake like this on lap thirteen because he would have been retired by lap three. True. Thank you, Liv. I knew they cheated. I'm bookmarking that. And I'm going to watch it while I go to bed at night and cry about how Leclerc illegally overtook us. I wonder how Valtteri's back is after Baku and now this. Yeah, back. He's not having a good time, is he? Pacheco's just set the fastest lap chat. He might have a. I didn't. You know, he might lock up every race, but he's quick. He is quick.
Teo is a speedy boy. Look, he's already at the back of this train. We did qualify P... Was it P3 or P4 we qualified on actual pace here? He doesn't know how to use the brakes, of course. He's quick. True. True TBH. I could really do a charging up off this train, clearing it, and getting ahead of Alonso, and then catching the second train, but I think that's going to be difficult. Teo makes more mistakes than Ferrari strategists. True, to be fair. I wish I could, like, fight that back somehow, but I just can't. Right, this is a few laps of Teo just charging behind. If he makes one or two moves, great, but I don't need him to. Leclerc and Verstappen are closing, but that's always going to happen because they've got they're helping each other with DRS. Uh, I probably need to harvest for another lap. Magnussen's still got a pretty good cushion. Surely Magnussen won't bottle it again, right? Hmm, about that. He's quite good at doing it when you least expect. I reckon Pacher's pace means that he's going to be able to get past these guys this next lap. Hamilton's catching the train as well that we're part of. I kind of need to clear it before he catches us. It's going to be a big lap for Teo, chat. I think that was an overtake fail. <clears throat> I didn't even see him try and overtake there. Did anyone? Oh, my word. These four are so slow. We are fast in a straight line against these teams, I feel like. Although they've all got DRS. Oh my word. Four wide? That doesn't work. That's not a thing. Okay, one car down. We might be able to hang it up the outside of Ricardo here. On this right-hander. Or the inside. Or the... In Good job. Okay, Tao. Okay. Is that a new race position for Haas? Magnussen's still six seconds ahead, which considering that Leclerc and Verstappen and, like, using DRS to pull each other along is decent. And what happened to Teo? He might have locked up. I don't want to blame my son, because, you know, that would be wrong. He's learning, he's young, but we all make mistakes. If I could get ahead of Vettel here, but stay behind Alonso so I can recharge for a lap, that would be perfect. Charge on, charge on. Please, Teo. I know I'm recharging you, son. But you can do it. What's Kev's battery looking like? Keb's vibing. The guys on mediums are going to have to pit soon, and they are going to come out in traffic. I think this probably is the, the last race of the evening, Spa Rep, to be honest, because I don't want to be too late to bed tonight. I want to try and get an Alpine video sorted for YouTube tomorrow. I think we can get both these guys done here. Push, Tayo, Push! Why is there a 40-year-old in our way? Get out of the way, Grandpa! Back to harvesting. Charge on, charge on. Teo getting f one ca team screams Eric Dunn taking World Cup to the World Cup age 16. Like, Teo, Teo, Teo World Cup. <laughs> Theo World Cup was a great player. Is a great player. Still is.
What editing software do I use? I use uh, Vegas Pro 18. It used to be called Sony Vegas. Now it's just called Vegas Pro. If you can't pronounce my name, it's Sugar Party in English. In English, let me get it's Suka Fisje. Is that is that good? I tried, probably unsuccessfully, but I really did try. Okay, the dinosaur's been cleared. Actually, one of the dinosaurs been cleared. We still got Vettel to clear. Harvest the rest of this lap. Get Alonso into the start finish. Try, try mine. Fax Annie. Did I do that okay? I've been pushing Teo hard on his tyres here to try and save his race a little bit. Magnussen still got the same cushion he had before. Try mine. Ang Angry Toast. The XH is pronounced J. So what is like F Vajani? Vajani? Is that good? I tried. Mate, you have Alpine hat merch, but not Has what? I mean, I'm managing Alpine for YouTube. I have got Has merch arriving from the USA. It's meant to come tomorrow, unless it's got lost by FedEx. So maybe next stream chat there will be Has merch on display. Good job. Okay, now the big thing is to drop Alonso out of DRS. Hey, Catch-22, how's it going? What did I get? I can't remember. I think it was just a few shirts. I didn't get any of the new hash shirts. They released a new line of shirts after I'd made my order. Now, given the fact I've been waiting like a week and a half for this current order, I don't feel like I need to order a load more yet. Where's the next stream after today? There might be one tomorrow night. If there's not one tomorrow night, definitely Tuesday. The Tuesday one, this Champions League football, isn't there? So it'll probably be a bit later, like 10 p.m. UK time. And we'll probably just do a race or two. Jack, do you watch your F1 races differently now you play this game? I found out today I watched the strats a lot more closely with depth. Um, maybe a little bit. I feel like I've always been a bit fascinated by the strategic side. Like, it's a bit wi Oh, Verstappen's just pitted on mediums. I feel like, for me, I've always been one who, someone who's just a bit obsessed by, like, you know, the, the finer details of sports. And kind of, I don't know, the strategic element has always been an aspect of F1 I've really enjoyed. For sure, I just set a stonker of a lap. He's still nine seconds away from Ocon, but he pulled ahead of Vettel by 1.8. Okay, Pichet's now into a part of this race, so he can just push without having to worry about what's around him. You live in the UK, damn, I'm sorry. Thank you for your condolences. I'm curious, was there anyone who maybe watched the race today who maybe wouldn't normally watch F1, maybe been playing this game, maybe just been watching this game with me playing it and you were just a bit curious? Could you, and if you were like that, could you understand a bit more what was happening at times? Today's race was actually unusually strategic in terms of teams did mix up their strategies way more through the race. Like, Alonso going onto the hards really early on and then them being fast and like that not really being accounted for by any of the teams was really different to what we've seen. Personally, the strategy part of F1 makes me want to die, in brackets, Ferrari. Ah. Why didn't Hamilton change the softs? Um, I think he wanted track position over Verstappen, but he didn't think that Russell would also ask for the pit. And also that Mercedes would actually pit him. I 
Today's a really bad day for Mercedes race-wise. This is our chance to chase them down for third in the constructors. Hamilton took a grid penalty. Russell crashed into the back of signs earlier. But Cher's setting decent lap times considering he's got no DRS with anyone around him. He's matching Magnussen's times. You think Alonso drove well today? I mean, Alonso's got points in like the last 10 races in a row. Like, I know he's not always finishing really high up the points, but like last race weekend, obviously, he was battling with Leclerc at the death. I feel like Alonso's season, and actually, to be fair, Alpine season as a whole is going a little under the radar. It's not really a thing that people are talking about all that much. Alpine are having a pretty good year. I realise there's a kind of irony, isn't there, to be wearing an Alpine shirt say, saying how great Alpine are doing. But, um... <laughs> not biased. I don't even really consider myself an Alpine fan. Stroll looked good as well. Stroll did look good. The Aston Martin looked good all weekend, though. It didn't look slow at Spa either, really. It's a bit unfortunate for Stroll. He couldn't set that third... Well, a time in the third quality session. Head into sleep uh, now. Sorry, I can't do the power of the head. All the best for the rest of the race. Thank you, Spur. I don't worry about it. Thank you for helping out today, mate. I have appreciated you vibing around in the streams lately. I felt I felt pretty bad for Mercedes with the VSC and safety I like. It wasn't a conspiracy, not a conspiracy, everyone. But obviously, when you do the one stopper, it was the one stopper was the only way that Mercedes were going to win the race. They didn't have the race pace over the Red Bulls. And with the hard tyre performing as well as it was, they were like in a really good position. But obviously, the gamble you take by doing the one stopper is that you know that it's going to be fucked if a team gets a safety car or VSC who's doing a two-stopper. It's like the downside when you weigh up whether or not you're going to go with that strategy. That is just a factor. Lend the Welsh, mate. Thank you for the six words just because we were there. Yeah! I don't think I did the yeah right. As a Finn once said, it is unfortunate. It's true. Yeah, Mick got shafted, didn't he, in the pit stops. I feel so bad for Mick because I think he did end up finishing one place ahead of Magnussen. But that 10... Was it 10 second pit stop? Like, Haas don't really get put under the same microscope as Ferrari because they're not fighting at the front. But Haas have not been good in the pits. And strategically, they've kind of had races where they could have been in it and they've not been because of the decisions they've made. I mean, the bizarre thing is, if even not for the Yuki situation, Bottas's engine still would have gone bang during the race anyway. Pacher shredded his tyres quickly here. Um, if I pit a lap or two sooner, it's probably better anyway, because it means we're not pitting Pacher and Magnussen same lap. What happened to Mick? He had a bad pit stop. Um, first stop, I think he lost fit, like 10 seconds. So he ended up just losing so much track position because they pitted him early. I mean, the second one was bad for Mick as well, but obviously that one didn't impact his race in the same way the first one did because the first one lost him so much track position. Still surprised how far off the tactical game Merck seems to be this year. I think the thing with Mercedes is they've had years of being the fastest car. It's a lot easier to make strategies when you are the fastest car. Like, there's a lot more options open to you a lot of the time. And the options that are there are kind of simpler decisions. Because I feel like Red Bull have had years and years and years, really, of being second to Mercedes. Where they've like had so many different situations where they've tried different strategies. And as a result of all those years of not being the fastest, it's put them in a position now where when they have the fastest car as well, they're able just to, you know, kind of bring it all together. Come F19, dude. Thank you so much for some of the tier one. Welcome aboard. I appreciate you, mate. Thank you. 
So the real house team is in real life, like you in this game, torpedoing left and right. Pretty much, yeah, they do like to crash in real life. I mean, Magnuson hit the wall, didn't he? Like, well, he, did he hit the wall? Do we count that as a hit for Magnuson in today's race? He scraped the barrier on turn three or turn four. The turns are weird at the start. I guess it's turn four, technically, but it was out of turn three. But yeah, I think in general, like, Red Bull's strategy is... Red Bull very rarely get their strategy wrong. It's kind of mad. Did they say what happened at Sainz's stop? I think he called for the stop too soon and they weren't ready for him. Although I'd, I'd hate... Would, chat, imagine being the Ferrari mechanic who forgot to bring that medium tyre. Do you reckon he's... Do you reckon he find a week's wages? Copy that. Have I heard about some of the monster tickets? I think I saw something on that. Isn't it a case of some of the grandstands aren't ready or something? Or, like, aren't safe? So they've had to, like, basically cancel a load of tickets for people who bought grandstand seats. I think Perez's seat is under threat this year since it's been poor since Monaco. I don't think so. I think it's, comparing Perez's race pace to Max Verstappen's is a tad... Unfair, maybe, because I think a lot of... You compare previous drivers in that seat, Gasly, Albon, Danny Rick, they've always struggled to match Max, Max's pace because they do... Ha Red Bull, you know, tailor their car to their number one driver. I mean, ultimately, Perez is set joint second in the driver standings. He's behind Leclerc on the same number of points. I don't think Perez is having a bad year, necessarily. And it's certainly not so bad it's going to cost them ultimately in the constructors. Like, having seen Red Bull go through Danny Rick, Albon, Gasly. You know, there's been plenty of drivers who have sat in that second Red Bull seat and, like, crumpled. And I don't think Checo, by comparison, is one of those. What's per share got? I'll pit window in a few laps. Apparently Carlos's stop it was the wrong tire in the blanket. Maybe Red Bull got someone to swap the tires in the blanket. Magnus is just vibing it. So is Pusher, really. Clear traffic. Some of the cars that pitted sooner are getting stuck in a bit of traffic behind us. After the dramatic start, it's been a bit more chilled out here. The Targan incident. Well, there was just Ferrari left it in the way, right? Well, there's not really anything to have an opinion on there. Like, it's just unsafe by Ferrari. And a good job no one got hurt. All right, Pacher's going to pit this next lap. He can push hard on these tyres now for the last two. Uh, mediums. I could go on softs and manage them, but I don't think it's worth it. Pacher had to push for a lot of traffic in this stint. Managed his tyres better towards the end of it. Missed last race. Did k man crash again? No, he won the race. Where did Pacher come out? 12th. Uh, where are we going to come out here? Estimated exit... They come out in first. Is the gap that big? Oh, God, everyone else pitted. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, mediums to the end. Box, box. That's fine. Box, box. find it weird that Kevin Magnuson replies with box, box when he gets told about boxing. Uh, thought to what Lando said about Danny Rick when they announced he was leaving early. I didn't... I haven't heard what he said. So unlocked up. Set, set yellow flag sector two. Stroll. Stroll. Lance. Rears are hot. Just push here, Kevin. Hot in lap. Then you're good to go for the rest. Oh my god, there's such a big gap here. Everyone's stuck behind Vettel. Vettel and Alonso are holding up Leclerc and Co. 
I wonder if I should have kept Pacher out more. Doesn't really matter. Magnussen should come out in first here. Oh, Kevin. Kevin, your race is done, son. Pack up your bags, everyone. Go home. Kevin Magnussen can't lose this race from here. Basically, he said he had no sympathy for him. I think that's kind of... Is it bad that I... I think that's almost fair. I think at the end of the day, you're racing against 19 other drivers for your careers. The second you start pausing and feeling sorry for people who might be losing their job because of how you perform... Was that a lock up on the track? I... I feel like that's going to impact your performance as an athlete. Okay, but Stappen managed to get through the train, but Alonso's still holding up the others for Pacher. Who's not stopped yet? Alonso and Vettel haven't stopped, so Pacher's running in net P7. But he's catching the pack. It's probably worth having a push lap or two to try and catch Ocon and then work together to try and clear the rest. So I think Danny Rip will have a seat next year. I don't think he will. And I think if, I saw there was like a, some ch people in chat were saying earlier, I've not seen it, but apparently there was a no clip of him chatting with a few of the drivers about the fact he was thinking about having a year out. I'm not convinced there's going to be a, uh, a job for him He takes a year out. Pacher's just set fastest lap, by the way. Absolute unit, Teo Pacher, on race day. Last year, he had like four fastest laps. Keep this approach. Good job so far. Like, I love Danny Rick. Danny Rick is one of my favourite drivers, chat, but he has not been at the races in a while. Kind of pains me to say it, but he's just he's not been good enough. He struggled at Red Bull in his latter time there at Renault. Wasn't very good at Renault. Wasn't bad at Renault, but see, he left under odd circumstances. Kind of a yeah, like Piastri left Alpine under odd circumstances, I suppose. The longer, longer Alonso and Vettel stay out and hold up Gasly, the better for us. Get a flag set to three. Who's had a moment? Oh, there's a Ocon had a spin. The replay. Now have a watch of this. Looks like Ocon. That's unfortunate. Uh, what do you think of Hamilton pissing on the team that gave him everything today? I'll be honest, if you've ever been involved in any kind of sport at like a reasonable level, when things don't go wrong, like you get you blame your teammates, you blame others, you get frustrated. And like say stuff in the heat of the moment. Like, we've all been in that situation where you have an argument with a mate and you say some stuff that you probably would not say to them unless you were really annoyed with them. I don't think it's that deep. Is it unprofessional for him to go on about his team on the radio? Maybe. Do I think the people who are part of that team really care what he says in that moment? No. Will people try and make a de big deal out of it and make it seem like this big thing? Probably. I don't think it's that big of a problem to be honest. Yeah, Teo's just having a very lonely race, isn't he, now? I mean, to be fair, so is Kevin Magnussen. Our drivers are kind of vibing away in their own little gaps. My only concern is, is Stappen going to catch us? I think we should be good. Okay, Alonso and Vettel have pitted this lap. Three seconds behind Gasly. Hamilton's six seconds behind us. This might be just it to the end chat. It's not a particularly exciting end to the race, but I think it's one of those ones where unless there's a safety car or something, we're fine. How's your house so quick? I put a lot of time, Liam, into underfloors. I think underfloors are very strong in this game as a part. They're like the part that takes the longest to develop and manufacture. But if you have a good one, it makes a significant difference. Chat, there's a really loud rainstorm outside my house. I was like, have I left the window open? But no, it's just rain against the window.
Share's two and a half seconds behind Ghastly. If I could close to Ghastly and then harvest for a few laps, that'd be ideal. We are gaining on Ghastly. What's the gain per lap? Wow. Half a second a lap. Should be in DRS in a lap and a half. Got to monitor the tyres slightly, but it's looking pretty good for him. Verstappen's not gaining on Magnus, and I've got to watch the fuel slightly. But I think we're okay. Yeah, if we can get points here, especially if Ocon could maybe finish ahead of Hamilton, this would be really good for our points. Okay, Bouchard's in DRS here. Bit of management now. We don't need to, we don't need to get past. Charge on, charge on. I kind of just want to stay behind Gasly, or at least use Gasly for DRS. Box for Inters. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, chat. I'm sorry. Uh, Daniel did actually do very, very well in his last year of Renault. P5 of the championship, best of the rest in two podiums. I guess I meant more so in the way in which he, he left Renault. Like his performance on the track were good, but I thought I feel like Danny has broke burnt, uh, like burnt a lot of bridges with the teams he's gone through in F1, and also maybe some of the ways he's conducted his business. Danny Rick and Hulkenberg driving that Renault though, what an era! I mean, Verstappen's not going to catch us. It's just a case of can Gasly and Pashem maybe catch Perez? Maybe. We are quick on this track. Just want this battery charged for Pashem. I don't get me wrong. I want to see Danny Rick on the grid. Like, I, I, I really like Danny Rick. I, I feel like he was pretty unfortunate with how things went down at Red Bull at the end. Obviously, in hindsight now, Red Bull probably made the right decision when it came to their driver choices, eventually. I'm talking more so about the fact they stuck with Verstappen and stuff. But at the same time, it's one of those ones where... I think his time in the sport might be coming to an end, and he certainly wouldn't be the first driver who's probably good enough to be on the F1 grid. He just finds himself out of a drive because of his age. Did they patch it so other drivers actually retire from crashes, etc.? Uh, I don't think so, but there's some races where you get a lot of retirements and some where you get none. Like last race, I had two retirements. This race, we've had two. In Canada, there was two red flags, and I think... Two cars DNF'd before the um, second red flag. And I think another two cars probably would have DNF'd off that. I think Albon could end up replacing uh, Lewis at Mercedes down the line. Which might sound mental. But driving for Williams now, a Mercedes-powered car. I think those ties to Red Bull are slowly getting cut. I think Albon's a very good driver. As of you, it's really difficult to compare him to Latifi, but the qualifying performances in general he's been getting out of that car so consistently are fucking impressive. My like points last week. And I think for Albon, there's not, I think for Mercedes, there's not that many drivers who are in F1 I think they would make a move for. And at the same time, I don't think Albon has a future in the Red Bull family in the same way that... Um... Oh my god, chat, it was a massive boom of lightning. Did you guys hear that? I saw the flash through my curtains. Okay, chat, just a word of warning. If I vanish, the thunderstorm took out my power. That was really loud. Because you, I don't... My mic cuts out the audio. So I don't know how well it cuts out the sound of thunder. That was a, I saw the flash and I was like... Is that thunder? Is that a new race position okay, but has got ghastly. I don't see Ocon go. I, I, I can't see. I don't think Ocon's. It might sound a bit harsh. I don't think Ocon's that amazing. 
Well, I think Ocon's quite an unexciting, but like solid driver. I don't want to put him in the same bracket as Giovinazzi. And it sounds awful to say, but he's not the kind of driver who, if he was not on the grid, I would notice. Like, is that, is that harsh? I just, I, I don't feel like going to, I don't feel like he's done enough with that Alpine versus Alonso to justify, say, getting the seat at Mercedes. Now, maybe you argue that, well, he's thrown against Fernando Alonso. I think Alonso's got a lot more out of that car this year. Save fuel and follow that. Okay, we're going to use Gasly for DRS and then try and break the, the gap on him. <laughs> Hi, Ben. How are you doing? Ahead of Alonso on points that's got it all, two uh, all but two races so far. I think Alonso's had a lot more bad luck. He ran a race last year. Lots of drivers have won a race. Daniel, Daniel Ricciardo ran a race. I don't know if people heard about that. Terrible you didn't see my question. Oh, it's leave to space, Ben. It's leave to space. Like, may, maybe it's harsh on Ocon chat. I think he's consistent, but I think that Alpine is just a very good car as well. Have I retired from FM streaming? Yeah, I'm done. I've, I've handed in my badge and I'm, I'm gone. Okay, we broke the DRS on uh, Gasly. Guitar life is good on K-Mag. No I could ask him to go more aggressive, but I don't think Verstappen's closing. Close by three temps a lap. But he's on hards. I think we're fine. Chat, the thunder outside my flat. I can just hear it rumbling. I've not seen any more flashes of the lightning. Yeah, man, it's just vibing. The streamer is not currently playing a game. They've quit it forever. True, chat. True. Thanks for the memories, football manager fans. But, you know, the era's over. I'm work the race now. Or leave to space. Or set the pace. Whatever, whatever you want to call me. Five laps left. Could could we have a push? Leclerc's only three seconds, uh, five seconds up the road. We could go for it. I don't think we can catch him, but we can try. Quit the space. That's also what I'm known about. He doesn't know nothing about strategy. I, I follow him for three days. He have no skill. He don't know how to read the situation. True. Is going on attack now a bad idea? What push, what push? Maybe slightly. I'm going to go an aggressive to the end, though. So did you quit or resign on accident? I quit by accident, I think. Box the space? Set the pace, terrible the pace, leave the space. There's lots of different ways you can go with it. Manage the pace. Now that's another one. I'll tell you what, P1, P5 here would be pretty decent. The fact that Verstappen's going to get second after starting at the back with an engine penalty. Very realistic, this game. Pepsi at 1am, disgrace. <laughs> Five to go. 
For sure, close the gap a little bit, but they've all got D well, these two have just got DRS off each of us. So they're just helping each other along. Three second gap to Ghastly, though, is decent. I want to go more aggressive with Magnuson because Verstappen's chasing, but I don't need to. The issue is Teo closed the gap, but used all his battery to do it. Oh, we could go for fastest lap with Kevin. That's a bad idea. The Fuchs! Welcome aboard. Thank you for subbing. He's going to hit the wall. I'll tell you what, if Magnuson hits the wall here, that would be an achievement, chat. Do we go for fastest lap with K-Mag? Is it worth it? Is it worth the risk? I mean, Pacher's currently got it. There's a yellow flag in Sector 3. What's happened? Nothing. Did someone run wide? I think Verstappen maybe ran wide. Oh, no. Nor Norris ran wide. I mean, he's running P13. We shouldn't risk it, chat. Chat's telling me not to do it. I'm going to listen to chat and be responsible. I'm desperate, chat, to get to the end of the race before this thunderstorm hits or knocks out my power because it's loud. Oh, Pacher got DRS off. Uh, was it Mick? Oh, no. No, it's no, no, no. Mick, Where's Mick? I wish you could click on these, them here and see where they are. If there's any consolation, chat, Mick retiring just meant that he didn't have to be last. I'll tell you what, if Ocon gets Hamilton, that'd be nice. If Sainz gets Hamilton, that'd be really nice. The more points that Mercedes lose out on today, the better. But yeah, I can't close that gap, I don't think. He's giving it a good go. Your Mick agenda has to stop. It's not an agenda. It's a, it's a lifestyle choice. I have to go early tomorrow. It's my first day of high school. Oh, J4M. Have a good time at high school, dude. Good luck with your day. I hope, it, I hope it's a good one. Oh, to be young again, chat. Who will replace Kev for season three? I've got my eye on Lando Norris and the struggling McLaren team. One year left on his contract. Cheaper buyout. Be free to go. It makes too much sense. Save fuel. But Cher's tyres might be a bit marginal at the end here. Actually, yeah, maybe they will be. I might push these a bit hard. For a gap, we're not going to close. We need to lift off, lift off. Thing is, Magnuson's about to win two races in a row. I need to start saving more money. We spent all our money on facilities this year, rather than saving it. I don't think we replace Kev mid-season chat. This is first day of high school. He's eleven. Not true, Ethan. In some areas of the world, you have middle school as well. You might only go to high school when you're 14 or 15. You should get a young developing driver who's aggressive at, at driving. Well, the thing is, Mr. Gilboy, if your driver is aggressive, they won't give your team, like, they won't obey team orders all the time. So I quite like Teo as my little bitch, who I can tell to, like, when we have a fast driver, let them have the, the places and stuff. So, in, in some ways, Teo being a bit submissive, not being aggressive, is kind of useful. Now, oh, back markers, please don't do anything wild. Can you guys hear the thunder in my mic? Uh, the thunder, the 
You can hear the thunder at the air shooter. Can you guys hear the the uh well, yeah, it's the thunder. Can you guys hear the thunder? Like, when I talk sometimes in the background, I can hear it through my headset. But I don't know how loud it is for you guys. Mick is too submissive for Jack. Yes, that's right, chap. Teo is my submissive French bitch. We all need one. I hear no thunder. Well, as long as not all of you hear it. Oh, you can hear it where you live. Oh, that's different. It's a bit stra- It's like very faint in the background. Ch chat, Teo's 19. Age is but a number. <laughs> it's getting a bit weird, but it's two in the morning, so it's fine. Yeah, she's one in the morning. I take it all back. It's not fine. We were watching G videos at 2 a.m. yesterday. We're not at that point yet. I'm on speaker, so maybe that's why. Maybe. Okay, this is the final lap of the race. Oh, God. Pasher's tyres, chat. Pasher's tyres. Teo. Teo, get aggressive on them. Just push to the end. You've got one lap to make them last. Gasly is behind you. Ocon got Hamilton. If Sainz gets Hamilton, it'd be so good for us. You can't push. Come on, Sainz. Last lap. Oh, Hamilton's got up the inside. Has he got DRS as well? He has. No! Esteban! If, like, Perez wants to lock up into the back of Leclerc here, that would be good. Just, just to, you know, back into the back of him. Just hit each other. What is this clean racing all about? Stop it. Is Gasly gaining on Pusher? No, we're fine. Right, back to the racing. If these two hit each other, Pusher's on the podium. By the way, Kevin Magnussen is about to cross the finish line to win back-to-back -back French Grand Prix. For Haas F1, a massive performance. Can Perez... It did pay off. It did pay off. And Magnuson takes home the win. Oh. Sainz has got Hamilton. Can Ocon get Hamilton at the end? Oh, chat. This is the this is big. If Ocon can pass Hamilton, it limits their points a lot. But Cher got fifth. That's really good for us. Any late moves at the line? Push Esteban! That's still a good race for us. Still a good... That's a really good race. Back-to-back -back wins for K-Mag. Kevin Magnussen is very good with safety cars, it feels like. When, he, when, he, when he's got clean area ahead of him, and we tell him it's go time, he is fast in this car. Podium hat. Get the podium. Where's the podium hat? Oh, chat. The best bit is, see it? That side, yeah, look, it says first. Wait, right, wrong side. Wrong. Is it this? It's one side. Oh, it's this. The chat says first. It's like in you. Do we play the flute song? Do people want the flute song? I don't feel like people want the flute song. I look very cool right now. You don't have to say it, chat. You want the music? Bloody hell, I'll get it for you, chat. Come on! What a moment. Give me a high, te high 10. Come on! Come on! Come on!
Come on, Kevin Magnussen. Oh, I've got my Pirelli first place hat chat. Come on. Biblical drive, mate. Well done. Just want to say thank you to my fans. Hold it that way. F1 manager. Thank, thank you. Come on. Actually, I would take the top off this and shake water around. That's probably not a good idea. Really. What a moment. What a moment. Great drive, everyone. Get in there! Sheeny's redeemed a hydrate. Good idea, Sheeny. Max Verstappen up 17 places. What is that? Didn't have the race pace to keep up with us, though, did he? Look at that. Teo Pichot set the fastest lap by, like, half a second. And the next fastest was Kevin Magnussen. Oh, things we love to see. Pay out the prediction. True. Chat, what was the prediction? I can't remember what we did. Will there be a second safety car? No. There nearly was one as well when Russell had his moment. Should you ever come into half a billion quid, would you buy Williams or any other team? Um, This might be really boring. I wouldn't really want to own an F1 team. But if I got half a billion pounds, I would just buy like a box at every Grand Prix circuit on the calendar every year. Is that more sensible, chat? Like if you got half a billion, I wouldn't want the stress of running the team. But if you put me in a situation where I can just go to every F1 race and just do like the executive experience everywhere, that sounds good to me. Did we close the gap much? Ugh. We're still 50 points behind them. Like, it's a 31-point swing, but we still want to do more weekends like that. I lost all my points for the fifth time this stream. Apologies. Predict better. Oh! C'était magnifique! Vive la France! Taille plus cher. Tu as très bon. Merci. Je suis... No, je parle très bon français. Oui, oui. I love him. What a driver. What a driver. My French is great, chat. All the French speakers out there are going, wow, he's actually really good. Def definitely what they're thinking. A win like this increases the board confidence. It shows I'll have job security and funding in the seasons to come. How is our confidence looking? Okay, race performance high. Two wins in a row. That's, that's perked them up. It's the wrong grammar. I tried. I tried. So we got fifth and first. Objectives. They love the objectives. Are we considered a podium contender now? Long-term objective is score 25% of... Score podiums in 25% of races for the season. Or six podiums. Well, that's actually going to might happen this year. That might save our job. I think we might not get fired even if we come fourth. Maybe. Just because they seem quite happy about everything else. I won we're not in debt, which is usually good. 22 million, by the way. So we've got a rear wing in 12 days. When's the next race? What's the last race, isn't it, before the break? I kind of want to save money. Uh, we've lost a little bit of our low speed cornering, but we're still getting the high speeds. And our top speed is still solid. I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to spend this money now. I feel like if I was going to do anything, I'd probably improve the design center. But it's 18 million. And it takes 105 days anyway. So it wouldn't be done before the end of the season. 
It's probably the kind of thing to do at the tail end of the season when we've got a bit more money st stored up. You know? Well, maybe it's worth doing now to help with research. Maybe. Maybe I do do it. Do I do it now? I'm doing it, chat. I'm doing it. You've taught me into it. You've convinced me. I've seen the light. I was blind, but now I can see. Maybe that was just because of this hat blocking my vision or the umbrella. Right, chat. I don't think I've got it in me to do the Hungaro ring. Wait, what's the weather forecast? Heavy rain. Heavy rain on Sunday. What a way. That's going to be fun to come back to next time. Let's save the game. Does anyone... Okay, I've not seen anyone mention this. Does anyone hate the saving system in this game with loads of slots? I'm so paranoid I'm accidentally going to overwrite a save game or delete a save game by mistake. Because of how it's done. Like, I just feel paranoid about it constantly. Like, it feels not great. It feels very constantly. There's so many aspects of this game where I don't... Like, the UI doesn't feel too bad for PC, considering it also has to work on console the same way. But the save game stuff just feels like... It feels quite... Mm, I don't want to say cons. I don't. I don't mean constantly in like a derogative way towards console games, but it's kind of how I imagine like you know single player console games to deal with save games. If you know what I mean. Right. Shall we raid over to someone? Where Where do we raid today? Where are we raiding, chat? Who Who is live right now? Who is playing? F1 manager. Let's take a peek. Uh, where, where do we go? Where do we? I want to pick wisely. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to go for someone who's not got many people watching them. Miller UK. Let's go to Miller UK. They've got one person watching them right now. Let's do it, chat. Let's give them a hug. Who, who, they're managing... Who they're managing Mc, McLaren? Raid. Let's set this up. Apparently it's a... Oh, they're a Manchester United fan. They're a Man United fan. Have I made an error here? Maybe not. As in, maybe I've not made an error. They're about to drive Baku in 11 days. So let's just go with, well done, Baku. As the copy pasta. Or the Mick copy pasta. Whatever copy pasta you want, chat. It can be talk about who Mick Schumacher is. You can put in Weldon Baku. Whatever you feel like doing. I'm going to look beyond the fact they're a Manchester United streamer who said nothing on their stream so far. We're going to give them the shock of their life. Right, chat. I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. We're going to raid it on over. Show Miller a load of love. Let's see if we can make right. someone else's evening. That's fucking dumb. Oh, he's just sworn. He's just sworn. He'll be fine. Maybe tell him no swearing. Family friendly stream and all that. Right, chat. Go show him some love. I'll see you soon. With love, with care. I'm going to hit this button. I've stolen Ben's outro. Bye.